Uh, yeah, taking a look here, folks. Um, we have already picked out what uh, cities we're going to start in. Uh, we haven't picked our, our starting Pokemon yet. Uh, you can just grab your card when I, I go over it. Uh, we have Alpha starting in Canalyph's uh, Village, uh, choosing between Piplup or Oshawott. And Alpha, the uh, starter deck that you would search through is right here, right, uh, here. right in front of you by the music player, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which Pokemon are you going to pick for your starter? Piplup. Oh, that's, that's easy. Okay. It's right on top. Right on top. No searching required. Um, and I'll put him on Canalave just just to beat it, expedite things. Doop. All right. Uh, yeah, like next up, quick. we have me taking Sunny Shore, and I can choose between Shinx and Pichu, and we're gonna be dumb. I'm I'm taking hey. Pichu. Raichu's pretty great. Uh, I am uh, next up. I am taking Eterna because uh, uh, I, I like the angry yelling face village sign. Duskull was a pretty great starter. I am actually going to go with Litwick. Yeah. <laughs> I like it better, and the fire type's actually pretty good. Pretty good against doing, Ultra think. Beasts, yeah. About half of them, so yeah. And last but not least, just so he doesn't rage for the first time playing this campaign, Jacob is taking <laughs> the Megalopolis and he's taking Porygon. Happy, happy, happy. Next time I'm taking it from you. That's fine. I get to do it this once and I am a happy camper. <laughs> All right. So Jacob is actually going to be starting here in the Distortion World. Um, and you don't... I, I will uh, say, uh, just because I know people might have questions about it, um, this was something uh, that Lev, the creator of this game, actually answered uh, in the uh, Discord channel for the game mm -hmm. uh, recently. Uh, if you are using the Distortion Gates to teleport, you do not have to fight the Pokemon. You can choose to, but you don't have to. That makes sense. Um, I believe it is that way because otherwise whoever's we'll in the distortion world at Ultra Megalopolis uh, is just unable to do anything. Is just trapped there eternally. Alright. Um, Hit the button, crunk. I mean, silent. Start <laughs> game. Alright. All right. Uh, where are all of you... Uh, Ultra Beasts. Okay, we've got Nihiligo up north. Oh, hey, look! Uh, Necrozma is right next to Jacob. Of course I... he I'm My talent is right freaking there! Okay, I'm right next to the Placephalon, which isn't great. Uh, yeah, Fermosa is down at the bottom near uh, Sinom. Guzzlord is oh, right there's Buzz War. There's Buzzwall. Guzzlord is right next to uh, Nesberg. So is uh, Cartana. Uh, Buzz so is just across yep. the mountain. I know. I'm going through them all, Jacob. Buzzwall is right across the mountains uh, from Nesberg. Found Stack uh, Tech in the. I, Jacob, I'm going through all of them. I'm sorry, I'm pointing well, out where they are so you can bring them up. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm already doing that. Let's to be fair, depending on your angle, it's not that doesn't pointing things out doesn't really work very well on tabletop sim. Uh Blacephalon is right above Eterna. Hi. We have <laughs> We have Celesteela and Stekataka uh just above Celestic. We have uh Nihilego. Uh out in the fucking ocean above Snow Point. Uh, we have. Someone pronounced that for me. Which one? Zerkatry. Zerkatry? Yeah. He's. Zerkatry. He's over near Stark. That's a weird place to put Zerkatry. Yeah. Would have thought he'd be over by Sunny Shore. Because, you know, power plant. So I guess that doesn't exist yet. 
or something? Yeah, I'm not sure. But that is where all of the, the Ultra Beasts are. Uh, all of the Galactic uh, Commander Tokens have been taken away. Uh, those are replaced by our ability to challenge the Late Guardians. Um, mm -hmm. That all have their own stipulations on what we have to do to be able to catch them or even damage them in the first place. That... Token over Temple of Sinnoh real quick. Uh, yeah, the Temple of Sinnoh is there. It yeah, has... but you... It has a Pokemon <coughs> on at it. Uh, mm -hmm. looks like it's... But not the... The encounter is, uh, Silvalli. Mm hmm I was gonna say, not the one you expect it to be. Yeah. It's, that's fine. Uh, okay, that's behaving strangely. What is? By the way, it did not automatically give us the three red, three blue, and three yellow that we should start with. It did not, so yeah, everyone take your Afrikoans. Uh, uh, mine is showing a number and zero at the same time. Uh, it's and not, it's not to me. Isn't responding. It is. To clicking. Yeah. Mine's being weird. Uh, mine is not. I see yours. That maybe it's just the game taking time on on. You need to click our uh, side. You need to click blue one more time because the noise is. I, I know alpha. It's not working. Like yeah, it is blue, inconsistent. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got. And it's now overlaid with the zero, same as everyone else's in my view. Same here in my view. That's super weird. Okay. Uh, it's going to be weird, but not not a deal breaker. Hopefully it just fixes itself at some point. I was going to say, I don't see any of what you're saying in my view. Yeah, it's got to be a local thing. I'm seeing it on all four boards, so it's probably something to do with the fact that I'm on a laptop. Not on Ethernet, not on my better computer. Oh, Alpha. Uh, fun thing. Okay. So, you've already figured out how to add. Right-click to subtract. That's automated, and it's great. Oh, that's cool. Um, that's awesome. And another thing, the Pokeball at the bottom, you can flip it to say they're fainted. Or if you need to move the Pokemon, once they have, like, cards and stuff attached to them, it becomes a lot harder. So you just move the Pokeball, yeah, you can just and take it moves the, them for you. Just take the Pokeball, put it, like, up here for battle, and it'll move everything on the Pokemon... And then you can just yep. grab it and pull it back, and it'll move it back. Unless you're Heatran or Espeon on my board, in which case, you'll constantly get screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up with that specific Pokemon. Like, Espeon it, it and... It was literally and only them. Heatran, that was only ever them. Yeah. Uh, yep, okay. Uh, we so... have... Uh... So... We have our three blessings of RCS. Right. Mm -hmm. Unless we want to start with one. I think mm -hmm. three is fine since it's the first time we're playing. And honestly, uh, it seems like it'll be very important early game or late game, one of the two. Okay. Uh, do we want to just pick an arbitrary person to go first since we didn't really take turns selecting stuff? We just sort of worked together <laughs> to pick our starters. Uh, sure, let me grab objects, components, Let's dump a D10 down there, and we'll just all roll six. Two. Dose. Uh, nine. So we'll just have Alpha start. Okay. Okay. All right. So Alpha, just a uh, very brief overview. On your turn, you can move three spaces. You can't move to a space that's more than uh, that's two or more vertical distance away from you. Um, you can move. You can interact with any number of things during your turn, but a very brief overview. The trees, so like the red apricorn tree here, has a green yeah. Pokemon. If you go there and you interact with it, you'll stand on it, you'll hit search on this panel over here, 
and it will show you three Pokemon, and you'll choose one to battle. And then if you win, you get the Apricorns. There's Once also... You battle, yeah, there's also blue, which gives you two moderate strength Pokemon, red, which gives you one strong Pokemon, and yellow, which is legendary. Uh, the, and then the, legend... the different spots, yeah. The legendary ones, you need... Uh, a specific item that can be found occasionally at these yellow spots. Or Alpha Pokemon can be there, too. Yeah, or Alpha Pokemon can be there, and they'll just murder you. Um, They're super beefed up, super strong Pokemon. Taylor has uh, experience with that. Yes. So, the different spaces have different color Apricorns. If you defeat the Pokemon there, you just get that many of that type of Apricorn. Yeah, uh, so, like, the, the trees all have three of one color. Yep. Uh, the reefs have... One of three different colors, uh, right? Each, generally, so, okay. So, uh, so, aside from that, uh, again, you can move three spaces. Uh, uh, the other, the other interactions that you have to worry about currently, act, at least, are the brown question marks, which are just like free items. Yeah, you you flip them, you get whatever's shown. Uh, you can yeah, it's either either items or like a healer or a trader. Yeah, that you trade. Apricorns. You can interact uh, with every tile you pass over, but a battle will end your turn. So if you like move here, then here, then here, you would get like to flip this, use the shrine, and then battle uh, a weak Pokemon to try to get the red Apricorns. But that's if that's an item. If it's an alpha, it's an automatic battle and your turn ends right there. And your turn ends. If you just move down to the red Apricorn tree and you battle a weak Pokemon there, your turn ends, but you can pass over the red tree to, say, go to the yellow tree or something. Yeah, you don't have to interact with anything on any space. So my question is, is how do I get Pokeballs and how do I catch Pokemon? Uh, you get Pokeballs by trading in Apricorns, yeah, and you so catch Pokemon during battle. If you look, at, if you look at your, your play mm. board, uh, where your yeah. Pokemon are, there is a crafting uh, manual at the bottom left. Whoa. You can click the buttons to scroll through the craftable items, the battle items, the apricorn stews, as well as the uh, Pokeball crafting recipes. And if you need info on what the items do, there's a rule book right here. It is in there a uh, couple pages in, actually. Uh, oh, just could... also a very brief overview uh, on battle. And, and yeah, you can you can trade Apricorns any time during your turn before you battle something. So you could get three Pokeballs right now, or yeah, that's actually all you could get right now. Or you could wait until you have some green and get some Ultra Balls, well, Greater Balls. <laughs> um, okay, the other thing, like I said, when you land on a battle spot, if you choose to interact with it, you go over to the Pokedex, you click Search, it will show you some that you can fight, and you pick one to fight. Stronger one, stronger the Pokemon is, the less choices you'll have. But you just uh, move your Pokeball for your Pokemon right over, over to there. here. Yep. Yep. And when you're fighting the Pokemon, uh, briefly, this uh, double chevron arrow looking thing on Piplup, it's a five. Yep. That's initiative. It determines who moves first, and then you move one after the other sequentially. Yep. Um,. That four is how many journey points it takes to evolve it. And you get journey points for winning battles. Yep. You get extra if you nah. kill the Pokemon, but you also yeah. don't get to catch the Pokemon if you kill the Pokemon. Yep. Uh, Piplup has five health. When you take damage, you put health dice on your Pokemon, and you don't heal unless you have like a healer or a city that you can heal at. Yep. And then no at potions. the bottom is, is yeah, at the bottom is your move. Which mm -hmm. is all Piplup knows right now is bubble. So you would yep. when you do this, uh, you would come over to the table here, mm -hmm. and this is for your Pokemon's attack. So like if I put up uh, Pichu, I would change the type to electric, and I would roll a single dice. Uh, for yours, you would switch it to water and roll two dice, etc. And then once you have it set, you would just hit roll. And it'll projectile vomit dice across the board. All right. I, I'm going to numbers... load, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. I think it might be the best for me to do that as well uh, in a minute. Um, 
as you battle, so, you'll start to accumulate battle fatigue as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so after five turns, generally, of using moves, uh, you'll be maxed out at five fatigue, and then every attack that Pokemon makes after, it'll also deal three damage to itself. Yes, Ooh. and that resets any time you switch a Pokemon out. Yeah. Also, with wild Pokemon, not legendaries, legendaries will fight your entire team, but wild Pokemon, if they knock out one of your Pokemon, they just leave. Yep, they will flee, and if you're on, like, an Apricorn tree or something you do not get any of the reward for it. Right. The only one and that also, it looks like the only one that it looks like you do get the reward for it still is the ones in the distortion world. You get one instead of all. A little more uh, detail about your Pokemon card. You notice those yeah, four elements was... that are uh, right there on the opposite end of the journey point bit? Yeah. Yeah. Those water, are the in types case, of water, steel, flying, and ice. I think, or is it water, normal, flying, and no, ice? No, water, steel, water, flying, water. ice. Uh, those are the yep. uh, types of moves that Piplup can learn. Yeah. Typically, to get more moves, and you see, you have two slots for them. Uh, typically, to get more moves, you'll fight a Pokemon, and let's say, for example, you fought a Munchlax, uh, and it's you don't have Munchlax right now, but it, you just flip the card, and it. It has the move without the full Pokemon. Yeah. You it, put it under your other Pokemon and you have that move. If you fight the Pokemon okay. and knock it out, you can take its move for one of your Pokemon. There's other ways to get moves, but that's the primary one. Yeah. So in order for me to trade in, I was right. I trade in Apricorns. I'm getting Pokeballs, man. That's like the yeah. first roll of any Pokemon game. Come on. Yeah. Um, so I just right click and then take three Pokeballs? Yeah. Right click all of your points away and then take three. I'm going to. Uh, Pokemon. You're going to reload as well? Before you, before you reload, Taylor, it didn't work for me the first time around. I'm trying one more time just to full-on uh, in and out, but if it doesn't work again, you may, well, may as well not bother. Okay, yeah. Because I think for me and Jacob, for whatever reason, it's not updating the uh, text fields correctly. Like, when you click and... to electric, it was both typeless plus zero and electric yeah. plus zero at the same time. I don't... Yeah, I'm having, that, I'm having that trouble too, and it did not correct it. Oh well. Alright, so if I want to battle That's a Pokemon, weird. right? Yep. You have to so go to three. Can, you said I, so, okay. so you said I can move up to three. Up to right. three spaces, yes. So if you wanted, you could move... Oh, the other thing we forgot to mention. Shrines. Shrine uh, interaction. You sacrifice an Apricorn, and you pull one of the Shrine cards. It can be a Legendary, or just good stuff. Whatever. Yep. Um, the other option... Yeah. Depending on the type of berry... Uh, you sacrificed uh, will affect the the effect of the card. So if you uh, sacrifice a red, yellow, or blue, it's one. Uh, pink, green, and white, it's two. Black is three. Um, so like where it says shuffle up to the weak, moderate, strong deck, that's the uh, one star, two star, three star effects. Right. And the the other thing is that uh, there are also and legendary both primarily Pokemon. Yeah. Primarily, in, later in the game, you can also pay seven journey points to draw three and take two instead of drawing one. Yes. Gotcha. All right, just... There, that's that's a rough overview of the game. There's nuance and whatnot, but so yep, that's you basically said, it. So you said technically I can move from here, here, and here, and flip the shrine and the... Yes. You can interact with everything on where, your turn. Where, it's just as soon as you battle something. Yeah, where are you moving first? It's moving to there. Do you want to interact with that, or do you want to just skip it? What's the chance of it being an alpha? I believe... I think, do you... I think roughly half. Yeah, no, I'm not going to interact with that. Okay. Are you going to put in a uh, apricorn to the shrine? Yes, yeah, you, would, you would have to sacrifice an apricorn yeah. to use it, so you would only have two Pokemon. Oh wait, no, or it, wait, no, you're right. You could use the yellow or blue. That's that's fair. Yeah, I'd yeah. forgotten that. Yeah, I'll I'm, do that. Got used to the first game where you only start with three red. I started yellow, which means that right. shrine blessing, uh, revitalizing trance. You can fully restore your entire party and move up to two additional tiles this turn. Ooh, so you can move. Your you can backtrack. You could just grab that item and then go back to the tree. Yeah. Because the green, uh, also the the level of Pokemon, green, blue, red, yellow, requires more uh, of of a number on the dice. 
Uh, so, when you throw a Pokeball, you roll three dice. Each dice has four ones, a two, and a status. Status counts as one if the Pokemon has a status that you're throwing it at. Same for, for attacking moves. Um, but you have to get at least a three to catch a green. You have to get at least a four to catch a blue, five to catch a red, and six to catch a legendary. Higher level Pokeballs let you throw more dice. But it's really hard to catch a moderate Pokemon on a regular Pokeball. That's a weak Pokemon. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. do you want to just hop up, grab that item, and then hop back down? This item? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you did that. Hey, you get three extra red apricorns. And then that token goes to the discard yeah. pile. Once they get flipped, they get nope, wrong one. <laughs> Oh yeah, don't don't move the the No 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 I know I know I know. Alright, so you said what to do with this? Just hit the search button on yep. that panel. Yep, hit search. Yep. Yep, either right here or over there. Yep, you then right. over there. All right, so you can battle an Abra, a Psyduck, or a Driplip. And do we want to do the same thing we did last time, where whoever is up next uh, controls the Pokemon you're fighting? Okay, do we also want to just have people go clockwise? Yeah, we're just we're gonna going go... clockwise. So you'll be taking yeah. over battling for uh, Alpha there. Yeah, it's just Alrighty. the order's just going to go Alpha, yeah. Taylor, me, Jacob. No, so does teleport on Abra work the same that it doesn't like ga actual games? No, I no, see. it's wild it's, Pokemon it's a, can't switch out. Yeah, its effect is just uh, at the bottom. It's also a ridiculously good move, as I've proven. Yes, though I especially think... in trainer battles, but we're not going to be doing those. Yeah. It's still pretty good I, because I, you can... I also think that for this, we should probably amend to the upcoming revision rule. I don't know that it's going to matter much in this one, but sure, yes, that that that's fine. It's still a very good move being able to switch yeah. mid-battle. It's still very good. And, and it's unlike the other switch moves, it's not as powerful attacking-wise, but it does negate a lot of damage. Yep. But you can you just pick one of the ones you want to fight, and then you click battle under them. I did. There we go. That's so fucking cool. Wait, do we ah. get the music going? There yeah, we go. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. So now what? Yeah, y'all have to walk me through this. Like, actually walk me through this. So All right. Go, well, go first, here. first compare initiative. Oh. Yours is five, and Abra's is nine, so he moves first. Yep. And since his only move is teleport. This panel for toggling the type. Oh, side note, just in case you need it. This panel for toggling type has a little button above it. Very tiny button. You toggle through all the types, which you normally don't need. There are With some moves that go, oh, you're going to instantly <laughs> hit the super effective. Yeah, currently they're they're geared to toggle through the type moves you can learn. So, probably psychic, normal, ghost, fairy. And then back to typeless. Yep. All right, but okay. the actual hell. Adver's up. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is... There we go. Uh, teleport is going to roll one dice. I rolled a one, so you take one damage. There's damage dice here. Yep, so just take that, put it on your Pokemon, and just switch it to one. Right. Yep. And now it's your turn, but on your next move, uh, remove all regular hits from the roll, so that's all ones. Or you could throw a Pokeball, which is just three dice. Yeah. Teleport's so fucking busted. Oh, yeah, I want to throw a Pokeball. Right, okay, so... so just change that. All you want to do is hover your over your, over this to change it to three dice. You can leave it to typeless. Right. That doesn't even say it's nope. just two dice. I'll be right like, back. Yeah, give it half a second and try it again. There, there you go. go. Yeah, then click. Click. Hold on, you said change it to typeless. No, you said leave it as typeless. Well, yeah, I didn't have it as typeless. There, there it is. I am seeing like, all oh. of the words, yeah. So this is, yeah, just a regular Pokeball roll. 
It's being super laggy. I don't know why. What is the problem on... There we go. There we go. Oh, you got him! So you rolled four, which is higher than three, so you catch the aggro. <laughs> Yay! And then you take the Pokeball that you used, you put it down uh, one of those spots, and then you put Abra at the top of it. Yo, all right, so you'll that's notice... The, uh, Alpha, that's not your board. Oh, where's my your board? Your board's over here where your name is at. That's oh, why, got... why your Piplup didn't teleport to back to it. <laughs> Crypto's like, what the heck is this going on over here? There you go. And here is your Abra. Congratulations on your first catch. Oops. How many? You should have two Pokeballs left currently. Yeah, I do, but I don't know why I had a... Okay, I don't know. Uh, your yeah, your spare two. Pokeballs go in the bag. Yeah. Yeah. Got Makes these. this up here. You already have the the four poke. Oh yeah, no, don't don't hold them in your hand. It's not. Oh whoa! Here's this one showing his pip up. So is the other one too. Okay, now it's showing his pokeball. All right. And yeah, you can like like you see when you you did the same thing that happened to me previously, like uh. What? If if you yeah, take Piplup's Pokeball and move it, it just keeps the damage dice on it. Yep. Cool. All right, cool. Taylor, I believe you are up. No, wait, no, it's Alpha. Yeah, Alpha Taylor silent than me. All right. So, Jacob, do you think I should run into this item and hope it's an item and not an Alpha Pokemon? Your funeral. Yeah, I'm just going to get some Pokeballs. The game will not let me interact with my thing, so I'm just going to say I have three Pokeballs and zero red Apricorns. Uh, there you go. I can interact with your thing, but but you can't. So hey, you Taylor. Yay! I have Pokeballs. All right, I am going to search for a Pokemon, try and catch one. Ooh, a Vulpix and a Drifloon, but uh, I have a Ghost and a Fire type. Oh. Should so I just the Fire type though. trainer? Should I just should I just roll with that? I mean, there's a decent number of Ultra Beasts that are very weak to Fire. Maybe. And yeah, I'm gonna go for the Vulpix. I like Vulpix enough. I'm gonna go for Vulpix. And I'm going to put up Litwick as my combatant. Now, Silent's okay. usually the one you're... Oh, he's back. Cool. Yeah, I came back to All do right. the battle. Good timing. So, uh, Vulpix is stronger or faster than Litwick, so it gets to move first. Uh, Ember. Uh, you are Has to be fire type. You're... Yeah, immune to burn, minus two damage, so nothing. Nothing. Pokeball. Caught. Yay. All right. Only the cleanest of catches. Wait. What happened? Did you get three Pokeballs? Yes. What happened to your other one? I don't know. The board wasn't letting me interact with it, so someone else put them there for me. There you go. All right, that's my turn. All right. Oh, wait, we forgot one thing. Uh, Alpha, you gain one journey point. That's the purpley pink looking thing there because you caught a weak Pokemon. Oh. So just uh, click the uh, purple. Oh, you already did. Never mind. The whole, this thing lagging with the numbers here is. You really also get. It's, since... it's, yeah, it's just it's something on your end. Well, it's happening to multiple people, and Alpha's been having lag trying to push buttons. Ah. Uh. In other words, if it's happening to everybody except the host... Yeah. Uh, it... Alpha, you should have six red apricorns, by the way. No, I shouldn't. What do you mean? Remember, you he's been three. The item. 
Yeah, no, he got the three from the... He spent three, got three from an item, and got three from the tree. Yeah. All right. Yep, you're good. Yep. You're good. I was confused. Oh, oh, I was confused. Right. I was like, uh, So, okay. hold up. <laughs> hold up, guys. Uh, <laughs> do you want to try saving the table That's, and reloading it? That is what I'm doing. No, I thought that might be what you're doing. Oh, silent starts in a great spot for free items. Look at that. All right. Uh, I do. So everyone go ahead and exit out of uh, Tabletop Sim. And then just relaunch it. Planned on it. <laughs> All right, give us a second here, folks, while we try to troubleshoot what exactly is happening. Hopefully this will just fix the issue. I'm doing a couple other things in the background as well. Team also had an update, which might have been messing with things in addition to everything else. Possibly. Uh, create multiplayer... Steam is weird with its update. It doesn't be like, hey, we want to do an update. Is it good to do the update now? It's no. We'll try and do it in the background while you're in the middle of a game, then screw things up. Mm -hmm. That's how Steam does updates. Other other systems. Would you like to schedule an update? Steam. No, we're updating now. Dude, it's kind of like... Uh... Uh, update pants on. That's kind of how my computer is because even if I push an update for my computer away until like right before I go to bed or whatever, it'll still freaking update. Like it does not care. Yeah, well, there's... Windows is specifically set up that way now. Unless you uh, know how to turn it off. I know how to turn it off and I don't have automatic updates going, but you gotta get it still automatically updates. <laughs> And it won't update everything either. Like, it'll only reset my PC or, like, update, like, right then and there for, like, drives. Uh, I gotta wait for the game to... Uh, it'll only, it'll only auto update for, like, drives. Like, if my drivers have or need an update or something like that. Hmm. Good details. Priority see. high. There. Okay. Let me see if this is like plugging. Hey, everything looks normal now. Yeah, everything's looking normal to me. Good. Just waiting for Taylor now. Yeah. You just have to wait yeah, for I'm Taylor to load back in. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was just just some sort of weird network hiccup. Probably. Mm hmm. It's the likely candidate. <laughs> In the meantime, I will take my turn. Because if you go, if you get a Pokemon, I'm the one controlling it. Yeah. God, I love this. Thank you for putting this soundtrack on. By the way, I love this this guy's work. Okay, I get two green. Ooh, that's a good grab. Means you just need blues. Means you just need extra reds and blues for uh, greater balls. Yeah, I I know. I'm gonna get rid of three red for three pokeballs. Yeah, it's doing much better now. It's no longer doing that little I'm double go text to the thing. Reed. Mm hmm. And we will search. And... Hmm... Damn, all water types? Jeez. Yeah, the Pokemon that'll come up in the search... Uh, different Pokemon will come up depending on what area you're in. So if you hover over the areas... Oh. And, like, you look at them, like, there's the uh, Veiled Forest here, there's the coasts, there's the... Uh, so, so, so it takes into account. So if you're if you're in a wa the water, it's going to bring up water types. Water. Well, if you if you look on your Pokemon cards, one thing I didn't mention because it's not 
directly important to us, but it is for scripting. On Piplup, it has like water and ice, so it can show up in oh. Arctic or uh, aquatic environments. And then yeah. Abra has, yeah, each of them have different biomes. There's also that I other spot you. is for items. The one that looks like a tiny trash can. Uh, who do I want for uh, this? Hmm. You can get a flying and flying and water type, a flying and water type, or a water type. Yeah, I'm trying to think. You know what? You could also just legitimately murder Wingull. I I could legitimately just murder Wingull, um, but that would be wasteful. I'm gonna go after Manti. Okay. For a Mantine. Yeah, now, I'm in kind of a precarious position with my starter Pokemon here. Because um, you don't have a lot of health. You got higher initiative, though. I do, I do have higher initiative. And we're just going to immediately throw a Pokeball. You um, get it! And I now have a Manti. Yay, thanks for responding properly. It's good, now. I get one journey point, and I also get uh, a red, blue, and yellow. All clear, silent. Um, I'm gonna discard a red, blue, and a green to get myself a greater ball. And uh, yeah, you're up. Okie dokie. First things first. Craft myself three pokeballs. And apologies, folks, but I'm also eating dinner right now. Now that it arrived. Oh, good. Well, late after Jacob's turn, I feel like we should let the Ultra Beast take a turn just so we see how bad it is and whether we want to skip some of the early ones. Well, I mean, at, at the end of my turn, it's like we have... It's hitting the button for moving the Ultra Beast. Yep. Yes, but we have Blessings of Arceus, which let us skip that. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm, def I'm definitely saying we hit the button to see how they move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to move to... Let's see here. Which Apricorn has what item? Two greens and a blue. It's a red and two pinks. Could also legitimately just go through one of the gates. Yeah, let's see here. Because I think the... Uh, Pick city that starts in Distortion World. Immediately flee. Well, the Distortion uh, Apricorn Trees. Even if you lose, I will say, even if you lose, you well, still get, you still get then, one. If the wild Pokemon flees. Yeah, I get one. Yeah. So he would he would get one, his turn would end, and he would die. Pretty much. No. No. But no, he would go back to the city. You do not get well, that... you do not get eliminated unless you get KO'd by Necrozma. No, yeah. I, that's what I meant by die. Okay, I just you'd white out. I'm just saying it's not a great starting thing to do when you could do something. Go ahead and move to this tree here. Because I'm actually very curious about these uh, warped apricot trees. Apricot. Berry trees. Eat me. Ooh. Okay, so. A choice of a Gabite, a Quilava, or a Sylveon. Mm, not quite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These act, these act like normal apricorn trees, but offer a mixed selection of both Pokemon and apricorns. It's not okay. a raid battle. Okay, I was confused by the wording on the if you defeat any of the Pokemon bit. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you could try and catch a Gabite. That's no, a really good early game he's thing. He's trying to catch a Gibble. Uh, gibble, rather. Yep, just... I'm, I'm going to try for, for me some Gibbs. Distortion apparently means we can choose whatever Pokemon we want. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, we are matching an initiative. So when it comes to an initiative match, the person who initiates the battle, in this case me, goes first. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go, Pokeball! Got him! 
Very nice. Early Gibble is good Gibble. Early Gibble is good Gibble because Garchomp is fucking butt. Your bite is very frail, but Garchomp is very strong. Yes, the only re the main reason I beat your Garchomp was I used its own Dragon Rush against it. Yeah, and you got the <laughs> and you got the turn skip, which was huge. Yep. All right, now uh, and I get uh, two greens, two and a greens blue. and a blue. And that's my turn. And now we hit the breach strength button. All right. <laughs> It went up by three, and uh, they all moved a little bit. Yeah. I think they kind of went back and forth a little. Looks like it doesn't look like they destroyed anything yet. No, I don't think they landed on anything to be destroyed yet. Okay, so it is apparently like just a certain number oh, of the moves. Oh, no. Not... Yeah, this is destroyed over here. What is? Oh. Uh... Capricorn tree, it's darkened. Yeah, the white ah. Capricorn tree. Okay, so it's not all of them move four spaces over as many things as they can. No, it's four spaces of movement split between them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not as not as fast as I was worried about it being, but mm -mm. still, that that puts us at five, at five percent per turn. That puts us on a hard fourteen round counter. Yeah. By the way, guys, around. the red apricorn tree south of Conolave is destroyed as well. Cradle, mm. why are you such a derp? Oh, those places must have gotten hit by uh, Necrozma. Yup. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't see any others that got hit. Well, kind of well, in overhead mode here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else that got hit either. Alpha, you're up, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we have to accelerate quick. Yeah. Um, Although, we do have those uh, Blessings of Arceus. Those will also just skip the percent increase. Yep. Um, and I believe we get new ones when we defeat an Ultra Beast. Uh, we get into one if we defeat the Pokemon at the Temple of Sinnoh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Huh, interesting. This could be difficult. Yeah. Oh. But we've got four of us. We can, at the very least, try and focus our efforts. I'm gonna just full bore fire types if I can. Yeah, Put myself no. up, go on for uh, the bugs and the grasses. Do it. Because that's, that's four out of the nine, and uh, Shandular will be good against uh, Necrozma, presumably, as well. Hopefully. <laughs> Oh, the three, so up to three, right? I'm just, I'm just making sure. Yeah, until we, if if we get any of the shards of the heart of Sinnoh, we get boosted movement. Oh, I just, I just closed both here, so over. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did I just see a shot? I did. Yeah, shield on Psyduck of Voltorb. Mm-hmm. Shieldon would be really, uh, Bestiodon would be really good against Nihiligo, but. Oh. Also, just, you know, get you more Pokemon to work with, because for the uh, Ultra Beasts, they all count as legendary battles, so you get to use your whole team against them. So the more Pokemon you have, the more options you have. So, in order for me to catch Shieldon, I have to do what? Uh, you Battle throw... it and throw a Pokeball at it? Yeah, you throw, well, I know. you throw a Pokeball at it and you need a 3-up. Three 3-up. Three, three or more? Yep. 3 or more. Yep. Yes. It, it, it's it, Warhammer it, talk. I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Warhammer shaped so much of my... Oh. oh. 
So yeah, get rid of one of your Pokeballs. Pokeballs, and yeah. That's unfortunate. The status symbols. Which means I have to make him ancient power you. Yeah. You're down to one more, dude. Don't touch my stuff. Let me do it. I'm not touching. Uh, you take four damage and Abra dies. Or oh, Abra's no. knocked out. Alright, goodbye, Abra. No, no, don't take the no, card back. Don't, don't take the card. Take the Pokeball. Always take the Pokeball. And then flip it over to show that he's fainted. Yeah. And then Shield On runs away, which just puts it back in the deck. <sighs> that was unfortunate. Yep, happens sometimes, though. I, I was really worried that was going to happen when I fought uh, Mantike. Yeah, because it would have killed Pichu. Oh, and... it would have fucking murdered Pichu so hard. Okay, let's see. Uh, You know what? I'm going to play a risky, risky play. Okay. Taylor's about to wipe to a uh, alpha. Nope. Uh, I actually first I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I get from this. Uh, from this here? No, that's uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I get. I'm gonna move to this. I get some pink apricorns. Two pinks. Oh. And then I'm gonna go here for greens. But before I fight, I am going to craft myself. Uh, Greater Ball? Uh, I don't have greens. I'm just going to cast ah. three Pokeballs. That's the risky thing. Okay. I'm going to try and see if I can't just get lucky with the Pokeball. All right. Oh, hey, look. Why are those the same level? Huh. Oh, which one do you want to go after? Uh... Let's see, actually. Headbutt is three... Status symbol is rolled... Uh, both of my Pokemon will just die in one turn, so I might as well go for the big money. <laughs> And I do outspeed it, yes? Okay, cool. Uh, fingers crossed, everybody. I need a four. You do not get it. Oh. All okay, right. go ahead and kill me, Silent. Uh, kill, kill Vulpix. Uh, heavy slam. Six dice. Base health of user rounded down. So, five. The, oh, yeah, maximum five. Minus, minus two. two damage if you roll terribly. Or you could just roll three critical hits. <laughs> it it's only five. does five damage. It barely manages to kill Vulpix. I'm oh, sorry. Well. Silent, you always do this. <laughs> I do, okay, I'm Vulpix sorry. is knocked out. And battle ends. All right, well, I know it was a risky uh... move, but I've got to get over towards some of these other options for, mm -hmm. for Apricorns. Oh, really, boy. that's... Don't it forget, was either that or move up. Don't forget, there are no galactic uh, grunts on the city, so we can fly anywhere from our home city right away. Except for Jacob, who's stuck in the distorted oh, world. Yeah, Alpha, another thing you can do. If you're on a city, you can fly to another city, except the distortion world one. And to do so, you can click on the city that you're flying to. And, uh, well, I'll show you what happens right now and then put my person back. Is that a Corviknight? No, that's a, uh, Staraptor. Oh, that would have been even cooler if it was a Corviknight. I was about to say, oh, it well. is doing the job of a Corviknight. By the way, I just now noticed, there's a black figurine over here. Over where? In the Distortion world. Yep. Don't know what it is. Huh. It's Evil Jacob, that's all it is. Okay, Silent, your turn. Uh, okay, there's a healer. That's neat. Um, and I'm going to go to this reef, and I'm going to battle a blue. Ooh. Ooh. So did the, go the, the 
the yellow question marks, do they stay like face up on the field? Uh, they get <laughs> taken as well. Oh. Yeah, all the question marks. Well, or uh, if you mm. go over one that's something that stays, like the healer or the merchant, they just stay there. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Uh... <sighs> surf team, surf team, surfing Pikachu. Yeah, I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna go up against Fion. Fifi. And I'm gonna send out uh Mantike. Cause... Look at the smiley face out of the back. <laughs> well, eight versus five. Fion goes first. Oh yeah. Sorf. Two damage. Coup damage. Alright, I'm gonna apply with a wing attack. Uh only one damage. Yeah. Should have five bug balls. Yeah, there we go. That's so far under average. Three damage. One damage. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh wing attack. Okay, okay, three damage, three damage, we're up to four. Go for it. Wing attack. No. Two okay. away. Come on. Roll up, roll up, roll up. No. no. Two damage. Two damage. It's KO. Uh, yep. That's five. Yep. Sorry. No. It happens. I got some yep. really bad, bad attack rolls in there. It's fine. I'm already going to be doing something stupid next turn, too. So right. I'm actually, no. Turn after that. I'll go get some more Apricorns first. Yeah, you're up, Jacob. I was hoping I could get Surf on to on the Mantike. One, two, three, two. This worked, Apricorn Tree. That's just a shield gun. Oh my god. Yep, shield gun. That's There's a also Felix. Felix. Do you feel like you can roll a five plus on three dice, Jacob? Oh, hell no. I mean, the Chingling's not bad. No, Chingling's not terrible. <laughs> Unless you want to try to catch a Shogun. I don't have the Pokeballs for it. And become our resident Dragon Trainer plus Porygon. Porygon, now an official dragon. <laughs> Just really low res. <laughs> Cyber Dragoon. Panzer Dragoon. Okay. User. Conversion. You're not going to try and catch it? Not gonna try. Nope. Huh. Uh, one, and... one. Okay. Okay. That's, uh, that's fair. Plus, we get more journey points if you just kill it instead of catching it. Oh, I got Yeah, Alpha, if you knock out a Pokemon instead of catching them, you get two bonus journey points. Nice. Okay. I need seven journey points to evolve Vulpix. Yeah. Huh. It's one of those evolutions that's straight from green into red, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so this automatically gets a plus two because it gets a critical hit on added to the roll. Four damage. Four damage. That's a KO. Okay, Very now nice. having KO'd it, um, the card flips. He can take the move and add it to Porygon, and if he doesn't want to do that, you would just put it into the discard pile. But I believe he's taking it and putting it on Porygon. There's also the fact that it. Just, just as a side note, it can be on any Pokemon that can learn that move type that yeah. you own. Does not have to be on the one that 
Uh, yeah, you put that in there, it messed it up. Just, yeah. Go. Alright, end of Jake's turn. Get... Hit the button. Uh, you must want to skip it. Peaks. And three journey points because you KO'd yep. it. Yeah, hold on. Before you before you start hitting that button, I'm spending three journey points. He's gonna he's gonna evolve Gibble. I'm evolving Gibbs. So yeah, this is what you do when you evolve. You take your Pokemon, put it in the slot in the Pokedex, and then you just hit the evolve button, and it'll pop up the evolution here. You can then flip over what you evolved it from, because it gets to keep the move, and then you can just replace it with the uh, evolved form. Yep. Nice. Now I need 11 more journey points for uh, Garchomp. <laughs> yeah, it's a real quick evolution. There's something that's not a huge upgrade. And then it's the long wait for um, the other Lord and Savior of our last game. Yes. Wait, if I kill both of the Lord and Saviors, does that make Espeon Satan? Yes, Espeon is Giratina. Okay, cool. Uh, yep. Okay, having having seen actually the number on Vulpix is possibly going to modify my next few turns. I might just want to fast track into a Nine Tails. Mm hmm. Because we do have a timer. Okay, are we going to hit the button or are we going to get rid of a blessing? I Try say we for time a bit. hit the timer. All say right. hit the timer. Also indicates to us whether it. No, it doesn't always go up. Five points. It goes up some random number up to five points. It seems. Okay, we lost a red apricorn south of Snow Point. We lost a blue apricorn over uh, near uh, Kanalev. We lost a red apricorn uh, right above uh, Sinom. Hmm. All right, Alpha. It's your turn again, my friend. Oof. One, two. And I believe after the next one, we are going to be getting some distortion abilities, yes. Yeah. We're going to hit that uh, The question is, are they good? Are they bad? Are they just annoying because they can't be learned over? I don't know. We'll find out. Like the ones they the like the one they show here is like it says reckless assault. Uh when the user attacks or is attacked, positive type effectiveness damage is increased by two. Okay, Alpha's doing a shrine and then moving to a space. Alright, and that's I did uh I did the uh, what you call it? Blue. Blue. Uh blue. Entwined Destinies. Okay, so Here's, here's something that can happen. Yeah. Over here, this triangle you see. Yep. Right? Triangle. There's three yep. dice. You can take one of these, roll it, and take the result. If it rolls on the lowest face, it just breaks and goes back. If it but rolls higher also... than that, it gets a special ability based on that that you can use. Once you use it, it goes into the from power ready to power used on your thing, and then yep. you can recharge it the next time you sacrifice something to a shrine to draw a card. Which will re-roll it. Uh, the time one is rerolls or take an extra turn. The space one is teleport up to a certain distance or just teleport and then move back. Renegade is add hits or change status into crits or crits into status, depending on so, what you want. So if I roll it, so let's just say I take Renegade, which is probably what I'm going to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, I roll it and then I get whatever... No, you roll it, whatever it lands on is what it has as its ability. You put it in your power ready slot on the right side of your board. And then at some point in the future, you can use that ability. Which right. could be right now if you really wanted to, but the Renegade one doesn't have I anything that it. would be super helpful for that. Okay, oh, well. yeah, it'll, it'll allow you to add one regular hit uh, to the damage of a move. That's yeah. one right here. Mm-hmm. And then when you use it, you move it to the power used, and then if you have one in power used, and you visit a shrine and, and use the shrine, then you can re-roll it and put it back into power ready, unless it breaks, and then it just goes back. Yeah. Okay, okay are well, you doing, was that three three movement? Uh, yeah, one, two, three. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. All right. One, 
two, three. So shrine first. Gonna sacrifice. Do I feel lucky? How lucky do I feel? That's a good question. Uh, I'm gonna sacrifice a pink. Song of Frost. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna fight Cresselia right now, or Ar Articuno right now. All right, but Articuno is now out and about at the uh, Frost Song Shrine. Yep. For anyone who so wants someone to can go, go fight kill it, it or catch it or what what have you. Uh, and then I am going to search here for apricorns, just more red apricorns. There's a goddamn shield on again. Hmm. Okay. You know, given my current team, I think shield on's a great idea. Right. And uh, I outspeed shield on barely because yeah. you know Litwick. So I'm gonna throw a pokeball at it. No. Oh, okay. Uh, time to die. Uh ancient power. KO. Yep. All right. That just means I will respawn at the beginning of my next turn at my hometown with full health. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, that was a very unfortunate <laughs> roll. <laughs> that was incredibly bad, actually. That was really bad, yeah. I'm going to go down to the healer and bring Mantike back. Then I'm going to go to the reef and then up to the red apricorn tree, and I'm going to battle there. Ooh, Ooh. So... Okay, you got two parts of the team, showing two parts of the team that I had the last game. No, I'm showing- Or your other starter. I'm showing two parts of the team you ended the last game with, and another Pokemon that you ruthlessly discarded into the Wastelands. Yes, I mean released. Please don't give the Rule 34 artist any ideas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so who will it be? <laughs> I'm gonna take Togepi. I figured, cause uh, Togepi was hella good. Once you evolve it, yes. All right, and we are just going to throw a Pokeball at it. Yeah, I think my my move next is just going to be fast tracking Vulpix to evolution. I have a Togepi. So I find something else nice. that's particularly worth catching. Probably should have gone for a Will O Wisp. I would have survived and then I could have caught it even with status, but. Uh, hindsight. I also get three red Apricorns, and I will sacrifice mm -hmm. a red, blue, and a green for a second raider ball and mm -hmm. I'll don't, don't forget your journey points as well i know i'll sacrifice a red for a pokeball so i have two pokeballs and two greater balls currently uh yeah that's my turn hey right. i'm going to Fall into this portal, and oh my god, where the hell am I? You are Ooh. in the middle. <laughs> you are drowning. <laughs> you are now drowning. Oh. Hey, what's uh, in here? Blah, 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 blah. Hold on, hold on. I gotta see that again. I, I feel like Jacob just forgot that he's uh, not playing Minecraft and isn't supposed to build giant portals over that pop out over an ocean. <laughs> Alpha gets it. Yeah, I've done that too. Well, here's oh, the thing. Yeah. So, so, dude, I, I literally went AFK after going through a portal. I was like, oh, guys, I'll be right back because I didn't think nothing about it. Yeah. I, come right back and I, I come back and it says respawn. And I was like, what the hell happened? Did it dump you out into an ocean and it, you drowned? It dumped me, yep, it dumped me out into the ocean when I went buried. Yep. That is three movement. 
Oh, uh, real quickly, I, though. I will say, don't forget, the uh, portal does not count as a movement. It doesn't? No. Oh. Well, so you could case. go for the reef, you could go for an item. I, I got this item over here, so it's either pink, pink, or black. Or um, empty space. Which used to be a blue apricorn tree. That, and is now, is, now. And now it's been glassed by the Chrosma. Before I do anything, I am going to get myself two greater balls. Okay. Where do you guys keep getting these green apricorns from? From weird pockets on the ground that just are stuffed full of green apricorns. So, get my greater balls. Okay, so real talk. Should I take this item next to my town? Uh, your funeral. I... Do no, it. Wait, until I've at do least it. Got a few. Do it. Do okay, it. Do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and if it's not an alpha, I'm gonna get the yellow apricorn and probably kill something. And if it is an alpha, you're just gonna have your team wiped. <laughs> <laughs> I just go back a space. I'm gonna hop up here and challenge you there. Oh. This game is seriously telling me something, isn't it? Get to show God. Yes. Kill uh, Guzz Lord is what I'm you... saying. <laughs> Alright. Ball, go! Got it. Yay, he has a Pokemon. Nice. Yeah, I I feel like I'd, I either need to catch some more Pokemon to get a bit more variety or fast track Vulpix. Possibly both. Probably both, yeah. I need, I need, I'm at the point where I need to actually start looking for a Pokemon here and there to just brutally murder for journey points mm -hmm. and moves. Mm-hmm. All right, and that gets me three pink Apricorns. Oh. And that ends my turn. All right, hit the button, Silent. All right. You're a button man. Up to 13. Left Lost right. a reef. All right, and what did I get? Distortion Breach. Reckless Assault. We lost a Breach. Stack Attack and Destroyed a Green. We lost a Yellow. We lost a Shrine. Oh. Which Shrine? Uh, the one right next to Sinom. Oh. Uh, well, I have to make something be both super affected and super and more effective against super effective. Uh, uh, I got chromatic union. The moves of the user are now typeless, but their strengths are increased by one. Weird. I'm going to put distortion breach on Vulpix. Because, uh... I'm going to put chromatic union on Togepi. So, That's actually kind of funny. Because now all the metronome moves will be typeless, but plus one strength. So which one did you get, Alpha? I got the Brickhead the Distortion Breach. Well, yes, uh, but what kind? Reckless Assault. Reckless Assault. Reckless Assault. Yeah. What did you get, Jacob? I was put on the Gravitational Drag. I reduced the initiative of a Pokemon by four, but its base, base health is increased by four. I feel like you should put that on Shelgon. I would actually agree with... Uh, I might put that on Porygon, because he's currently the slowest. Mm-hmm. I was thinking more about the evolution potential. You got more evolution potential out of Porygon than out of Shelgon, but... Uh, I don't know about that. I Plus, Shelgon... Well, I mean, what I mean is... I think Porygon's got a point. Especially if I go a certain route. Well, yeah. My, my thought is, it makes it so you can't learn new moves in that slot, and Porygon has two evolutions to go through. He could just not evolve it until we can get rid of the thing if he really cares, though, so... Yeah. I think Porygon is at one damage. Yeah, I'm fixing it. It's yeah. also kind of why I put it on Vulpix instead of Litwick. But nah, um, uh, what I'm thinking of is only evolving Porygon once to Porygon 2 and putting an Evial light on him. Hmm. Mm. That's a thought. That's an idea, yeah. Okay. And now it be the turn of the Alpha. We've got a lot of... 
Assuming that it's supposed to be from like 3 to 5% increase, we've gotten some high rolls. I'm gonna check that. So I can interact with anything that I go over, essentially, like any items or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yay! Four increase. Two pinks. One, two. And then, what is this? I don't even know what Pokemon it looks like, Pokemon. Oh, green. Alright. Search. I saw a Clefairy in there. Yeah. I had a vice in my, uh, my Arceus does lock is kind of kick ass. <laughs> That's been my Clefable. <laughs> Hold on. Uh. <sighs> Huh. You got both of the starters for one town. Mm -hmm. so... Oh, that's fighting. Oh, uh... that actually reminds me of one other thing that is for consideration later on. Uh, Alpa? What's up? If you go to your hometown... Yep. Specifically only your starting village, and you hit search... You can fight the noble Pokemon. Oh, nice. Defending Did your you... village. It is a legendary Pokemon that you cannot catch. You have to beat it. But each of them has a unique move that no other uh, Pokemon in the game has that you can't learn any other way. Oh. That are all really good. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I got a. Yeah, like, I think I'm the super blue house. Taylor, Taylor last game uh, started in uh, Celestic and with a, a Turtwig. His noble was a Torterra that had some grass type move that was power 4, and once per battle, he could use it to cure all status effects uh, and a heal for 5 health in addition to attacking. I think I'm gonna go. I wanna go freaking Starleap. Okay. With obviously the only Pokemon that I have alive. <laughs> Hippo. Bird versus Flightless Bird. <laughs> now, now, my question is Starly goes first. Yes. So it'll use a wing attack. Blah, 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 blah. Two, Two damage. damage. You have and the next time you attack, remove all status symbols. Yep. So it's what? Three. Which is hilarious because Bubble yes. adds status symbols. Well, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, you, you forget that I can right click. You're going to Pokeball? Kill it. I was going to take it out, but I don't want to risk people die. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna risk pit up. Okay, let's watch. Risking it for the biscuit. I also got that. I also got this power dice too. Or this, this, where was that? Yeah, he can add a yeah, he can add a hit. Mhm. Mm oh, roll that. So if you roll a two and a one, and then add the hit, you'll just insta kill it. Yeah. But that's a lot of. Oh, oh. no! It takes two damage out of four. Now you just hope Wing Attack doesn't do very much. Oh, the status symbol goes away, but that doesn't really matter at all. All right, Wing Attack time. Three uh, damage. Uh, oh, is hip -lup's down. KO'd. And that means Alpha teleports back to his hometown and revives next turn with his Pokemon. That, yep. That's one reason why I was like, that's one reason why I didn't really mind sacrificing. Yeah. No, it's not. it's not a huge penalty or anything for... Nope. All right. Uh, Though well, I, I will say, Alpha, one of the things we've been considering doing that I think is probably going to be the next uh, time we play, if you hover over the different uh, areas on the map for yeah. a second, they each have like a name. Like this is Outer Marshes East, this is Outer Marshes West, etc. We were thinking of because there's technically no Pokemon box in this. But if we just kind of kept the Pokemon that we had, like, off to the side as, like, a box, nuzlocking the game. 
All right, well, I'm going to either move here, get an item, and then go fight a Pokemon at an Apricorn tree, or I'm going to move here and then immediately move back. Yay, oh, I got the Ice Steel Core. Okay, okay. That is, th 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 this is the other thing that the items can be Alpha. So if you look at the Ice Steel Core that he just got, that's over on his Vulpix. Yep. Uh, he can use this uh, as a held item to increase the uh, attack strength, so like the number next to the move, of ice and steel moves by one. And if I go to the items, he can also bring it to either the West Breeze Ruins or the Fire Lily Ruins uh, to uh, fight either uh, Regice or Registeel. Those, nice. those uh, held items from the uh, gold spots all have different types of damage uh, they increase, as well as uh, are tied to triggering certain legendaries at different spots on the board. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, so I'm just going to fight this Cleffa. Okay. Because normal does less damage to Litwick. Get on the spot correctly. All right, and Litwick amazingly outpaces a literal baby, uh, and is going to go Ooh. for a Will O Wisp. Encore is actually really cool. Yes. Uh, so that's one damage. And burn. Yep. And Vulpix can learn Encore. The problem is that I'm going to evolve it, so I I might as well put it on there. It might be better than Ember, but. We'll see. All right, normal type and yep. two dice, and it's your turn. Yeah, it's literally nothing you can do. I was gonna say, literally, you can't hurt you. So, do we just do we want to skip the formalities? No, nope, doesn't matter. It's dead. And in fact, it wasn't minus four; it was minus six because of the burn. It literally could not hurt you. That was the plan. Okay. I'm going to take that move, and then I'm going to take my three journey points and my berries, and that will be my turn. That's yellow. Encore is right here. All right. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Creed. Go on, bud. Go lay down. Okay, we're going to go one... Two, three, and we're gonna fight at the red spot. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna fight Meryl. Wow. <laughs> Uh, wow. That's a very threatening series of Pokemon right there, let me tell you. <laughs> and I'll fight with Mantike. Doki? Uh, so... Wing attack? Two. Be playing rough. Yep. This might not work out so great Three. for you. And now one one regular hit's removed from your roll. Yeah. I was hoping to get a better hit that first turn, but I barely got two. You might four damage on me and knock me out. Like that. Uh, three, I, it oh, removes one. Yeah, so you get oh, yep. a one, one health left. Three goes to also one health left. Can you score either two crits uh, or two two regulars or at least one crit? Let's do it. Okay. Yes, I can. I will be right back. All right. I am going to take play rough and put that on to Togepi. And I take... 
three uh, journey points. And... Mm, four journey points. And we are evolving... Pichu. And a Pikachu, who learns Iron Tail. And really does not gain any health. Holy God, you are frail, Pikachu. Yo, yep. do you like the core just so you can have a slightly better Iron Tail? If we meet up. That would, I, that'd actually be really cool, yeah. Because Iron Tail, when the target is next attacked, add a regular hit to the roll. Mm -hmm. I was more on the uh, on the line of Iron Tail. Kill with this so that you don't die. <laughs> yeah. Or Nuzzle, then kill with Iron Tail. Alright. Um, yeah, that's my turn. Jacob, you're up. Where Double are you on a couple the map? I'm over here right now. Asking about Silent. What's that? Where are you on the map? Oh, here. That is incredibly unhelpful. Uh, to, uh, uh, southwest of Sunny Shore. Yeah, I see you now. We are nowhere near each other. Nope. And you know what? Wait. Well, to be fair, Taylor, if you need red apricorns, you can move back to Eterna, fly to Sunny Shore, and then fight at the red tree. Oh, trouble. I mean, I do need red apricorns. Oh, uh, did you just get an alpha? Oh, I'm going for black apricorns. Oh, well. That is just about one of the worst things you could possibly draw for that, then. Yeah. Hmm. All right, so choose your sacrificial lamb. Yeah, who dies? Because you are what they would scientifically call, uh, fucking boned. Also, no, we don't need to, to kill all the, the Ultra Beasts. We just need to kill enough that we can start getting through Necrozma in spite of the Prism Armor. There we go. By the way, bear in mind, Porygon's right now at 10 HP. Yep. Okay, he's just slower. But, to initiative. I, I don't think Alpha is here at the moment. I'll take over then. Okay. Uh, Blizzard. Literally the only thing it can do. Uh, four damage. Yep. And you're now confused. I'm fusing. Wow. Oh, damage. Nice. Massive. I don't crit. know. Yeah, I don't know that you're actually going to win. To win, but, but that was you a, did a lot of damage. A good attempt. All right, Blizzard. Uh, one, two, three, four, six. That's the KO. You needed eleven. The KO. I was really hoping for mutually assured destruction. Mm. Um, but he only took three extra damage. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he'd rolled a status instead of the critical, you'd still be alive, and you could have killed him. True. To be, to be fair, if he... Oh, no, if... no, the status symbol would have been the he takes damage. Yes. No, to be... So oh. if you did a status instead of the critical, it would have done four. You'd go up to nine, but you have ten health. No, he has eleven he... health. Oh, yeah. Which, 11 health. You, if you had rolled a normal hit instead of a critical, he'd still be alive. You rolled exactly what you needed to KO Porygon. Yeah. Warring would have gone up to 7 and had 3 health left. But, well. Instead, Warring did the murder. Warring flops back into the ocean, wherever it is in comparison to you currently. <laughs> oh, you're, well, you're in Walrin, the ocean. Warring gave me the finger. Yeah. All right. Um, Do we want to skip one now? I feel like we skip one now. I, I think we skip one. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> Alpha's turn again. It is Alpha's turn, yes. We do need to wait for him. 
I thought I heard him say he was back, but... I heard him talking to somebody in the background. I think he got, uh... Somebody just kind of came up and uh, grabbed his attention away from the system. Uh, so we're just going to take a minute. Yeah. Well, where's his token? Because I have the feeling that... Like... He's right below you. Huh? Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay, then, yeah, I don't think the order is going to matter because he can't get to where I'm going anyway. So, do we want to just let him take his turn when he gets back? Yeah, we can wait. It's fine. Let's let's at least give him about three minutes, okay? Yeah. That'll, All right, that'll I'll be right like back 30. then. Okay. I gotta take a bio break. Yeah, that'll be a good bio break time frame. Uh, oh. It's actually not a bad idea. I'll be right back, too. Oh, welcome back, Alpha. Yep. All right, you are, you're up. It, it is your turn. Well, I go well, back to... Where's my character even at? You're right here. here. I go back over here. Yeah. Heal up, heal up with my Pokemon. And now you can take your turn. <clears throat> what? Why did that flip? Both of you. <laughs> Both of mine flipped. All right, um... So do I... I can move, like, from one to three spaces, right? I don't have to move all three. Yeah, from up to three spaces. You don't have to move the full distance. Actually, I think I'm going to. So I'm going to go here and here. Nope, nope you are. you're facing an alpha. You are wow. stopping right there. Hit the search. Alright, you are fighting a samurai. So, alphas... Interesting things. Hit, hit battle. Oh, I'm not even over there. I'm over there. I'm Pokemon. Alright. So, if you hover over on oh, the Alpha oh. Pokemon bit there, you'll notice it's got an additional two health, an additional initiative, and instead of being a strong, it's considered a legendary. So, if you're going to try and catch the sucker, you're going to need to roll six for battle. Yep. And it starts, all legendaries uh, start also with Alpha Strike and Beast Boost. Uh, Beast Boost, when they defeat another Pokemon, they reset their battle fatigue and increase the damage of the next attack by two. And Alpha Strike is a power four move that you can choose uh, what type the move is uh, from among all of the different types the Pokemon can learn. Um, well... Samurott goes first and is going to try to Mega Horn Abra. Yeah, there's no way you're winning this. Abra's, nope. Abra's KO'd. And now when you send out a new Pokemon, uh, we recheck the initiatives, and then it's whoever's turn has the highest initiative. Which, unfortunately, is Samurai again. Which, yeah, is, again, that's, Samurai. That, that's so fucking stupid. It is. It, it sucks. Yeah. Alright, I am back. Yeah. That's a KO on Piplup. Uh... What happened? Al Alpha... Yeah. Alpha ran into the first uh, alpha of the game. <laughs> alpha got alpha alpha alpha. Yeah. Oh, now I'm going to keep going back and forth, back and forth, and I'm getting, and getting KO'd and KO'd and KO'd. KO'd. No, that, it just disappears. Yeah, once you do, once you fight it, it's gone whether you catch it or not. Alright, well, that's my turn. Yep. Alright, my turn. That's unfortunate. It wasn't me this time. I mean, ah, uh, so sad. I was, that, I was gonna say when we last played uh, Alpha, that happened to Taylor twice. You know, so in you, the you first know, like three turns. You know what I find kind of funny though? That three. in Arceus, I literally had a level thirteen freaking Oshawa and defeated a level seventy. Goddamn freaking Ooh. Alpha one. Should I try and catch the Houndour? I'm gonna do it. Will you trade it to me? 
No, I'm just going for fire types. I, but I'll trade you man type? Nah, fire types. But I hate all of you with a burning passion. <laughs> and hours faster. <laughs> I mean, I could just try and kill it. In which case, I would have chosen something else. You know what? Actually, just in, in deference to Silent, uh, let me pull. Well, what were the other two? They're gone. Wait. Too late. You've already started the fight. Yeah. Uh, okay. Catch it. Catch the Hound Hour. Give it. Give it a good well, home, it gets, Taylor. It gets to move first. My vengeance roars at you. Four damage. Wow, that is like... My chomp chomp. My vengeance right, roars at roll. you. Alright, uh, catching roll. I it. rolled a five, so I got it. Yeah, you got it. Very nice. Uh... Fire types. I started out in the ghost type gym, which is why I'm getting a bunch of fire types. To make everyone into ghost types. Wait. I don't think it works that way. Okay, and then I get one journey point and one, two, three reds. Uh, I think also just for the sake of being able to actually take on some of one, two, three. I'm going to evolve Litwick. Okay. And then next I will be fast tracking one of my other two. Because they both take seven. Lampant gets Hex. Of course. It's a ghost type. And its base form inflicts a status condition. Hex is so, really good. So so I have a question, actually. I just thought about this. What? So if... Like, let's just hypothetically say that somebody catches Empoleon. Am I still able to evolve my Pokemon? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. We, we, we legitimately we had the same question and we're like, yeah. does this work? And then we figured out it does. And then Jacob and I both ended the game with a Garchomp. Oh, and no. I ended the game with a Garchomp Mimic. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'll trade you uh, nothing for your uh, Ice Steel Core. Go ahead. I will gladly accept your nothing. Actually, uh, do you have any green apricorns? I don't. <laughs> I okay. Out. Uh, I was going to say, if you had any, I would have liked some, but you don't. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take it. Just just take it. I will search on the red apricorn tree. Ooh. Or if you catch something that I like, I might trade Hound Hour for it. Do you see anything you like? That's a good question. I'm not at the, not at the screen. Azura, uh, Budu, and Shanks. No, okay. none of those. Well, <laughs> kill them. I will battle the Shanks. Pikachu, make it go die. Uh, Iron Tail. It die. Sir, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid your Pokemon has a terminal case of being near silent. And I am going to take Bolt Switch, and that is going to go on to Pikachu. Because that is <laughs> very good. I get three journey points. And... I'm going to pay four journey points. To evolve uh Togepi. Oh Jeppy. And uh, we are actually gonna get rid of Play Rough. Thank you for your service, Meryl. I never used your move, but you did at one point exist. Um... 
I get my three red Africa ones. And that's my turn. Okay! <laughs> so, I've had a uh, moment there. I'm gonna first find out what's underneath this. Oh, blue apricorns. Okay, I'll take those. Three blue. Time for some of that blue corn. Gonna Make stop here at the shrine and donate a pink. Okay. Forgot to get rid of my journey points last time. Hey, Jacob gets a power die. I'll take that temporal power, thank you very much. Yeah. Reroll four. Oh, okay. Okay, that's two and that's that's a very here we go again. Oh, okay. he's going for blacks again. Okay, this is much more manageable. Kinda. Kinda. You're Maybe. fighting a leafy on. Yeah, leaf blade is still strong. It's did. I don't, I don't think it's as effective against dragons, so your best bet's probably Shelgon. That battle. Alright. Leafion's got first dibs. Yeah, and don't forget to change the uh, type. Oh. Uh, four, minus two for two damage. You might actually be able to KO this, Jacob. Uh, that's three damage. And Before. if a status symbol is wrong, target skips the next turn. None of that happened. All right. Yeah, nothing. Three damage, but I gotta I I gotta double up on fatigue here. Yep, you go up to four fatigue, but the uh, Leafeon skips its, its turn. Yep. Here we go. That's another four damage. That's KO. That's it. Oh nice. god, thank you. That gets uh, you uh five journey points. Yep, five journey points. Unfortunately, nothing you know can learn Leaf Blade. Mm -hmm. So it go that that goes back into the pile. Oh, it goes back into the uh, move pile, I should say. I was gonna say no, it, the it, discard no, pile. No, it, dis it yeah. gets discarded. Yeah, the move pile, the discard pile. Because it's only ever going to get reused if we pull it for a mo move by the shrine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, um, end of my turn, I'm going to pop three yellows and three blacks to get three ultra balls. They're called ultimate balls. Ultimate right? balls. <laughs> ultimate ultra balls. No. Ultimate ultra balls. I, th I think they're ultra ultimate Volta. balls to... Avoid uh, copyright, copyright, which makes it funny you know, that they're called Pokeballs. So, you know also, what? Literally, I've got, I've, got a, I've got a better name for him, Ulta Balls. Also, I just now realized. Um, oh wait, now I know what happened. I have three Oops. fire type Pokemon inside of balls, which makes them good gracious mean great balls of fire. <laughs> All right. Um, I think we have to let the turn roll. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I think I think we let this one roll. And then we skip the next one. Alright. No, no. Nope, okay. Oh hey, item. What? Yeah, uh, item popped up in my hometown. Yeah, it means it got hit out here in the overworld somewhere and it gets transitioned over to the distortion world. Ah. Uh we I lost see. a black apricorn tree near Snowpoint. Mm -hmm. 
we lost another white tree near Stark. Uh, we lost. Good a thing none of us are a fire type users, we, right? We oh, wait. lost a white tree uh, over in the marsh. Uh, we lost a blue tree next to Nesberg. Oh, right. That was another reason I was trying to get black apricorns. We lost a green tree next to Celestic. I still need white apricorns for anyway, so We lost good. a blue tree near the chateau. Mm -hmm. Oof. I completely forgot there was one of the reason I was trying for black apricorns and just completely blanked on it. But it's all good. Oh shit, we also lost a shrine on uh, Coronet Peaks. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's not nice. We've lost a bunch of stuff so far. Yep. Yeesh. You can't lose the legendary shrines, at least. No. Those are at least safe. Which means that if we really need shrine stuff, we just fly to a Celestic and visit the Timeless Shrine. Yeah. Alright, my turn, I think. Yep, I'm yeah. going to, I'm going to uh, trade in three Apricorns for Pokeballs. Okay. Hold on, let me get these out of my freaking hand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, and then I'm going to go. Hmm. I do not like how high we've been rolling on these random percentage increases. No, we've been getting kind of kicked in the teeth. We need to. Uh pretty quickly get at least like one or two fully evolved Pokemon into our teams and uh, hit a couple of these Ultra Beasts. Well, my current, my current plan is to evolve Vulpix and then hit Celesteela or Cartana. Wow, another Shield on Psyduck Voltorb. Probably Celesteela. Because it's, it's slower than Cartana. I don't, even I don't know, know how, I don't how even durable know what I would hit. Yeah. I don't know how durable Ninetales is, but if it gets a hit on either of those Pokemon, it does plus six damage. So uh I was just gonna go side up. I don't even remember all their typings. Uh, Nihiligo is rock and poison. Yeah. Buzzhole and Feromosa are bug fighting. Zerkatry is electric. I'm, I'm looking at them now. Yeah. Uh, Sonic is The only one of them that I can really even consider fighting right now is probably Celesteela, maybe Zerkatry. Hey, like. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So Psyduck is going to use Confusion. Okay. Uh, one damage and Piplup is confused. How does Confusion work? Oops, that's not what I meant. Uh, confusion <laughs> is... If you roll a status symbol during your attack, you deal three damage to yourself. Oh. Also, the, the dice over here, the one that has the fire, those are status dice. Yeah, these are status dice, so... My parents' cat is highly interested in the moving hands on the TV screen. Huh? 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 So that is no damage, and... You hit yourself for three. For three, yeah. Which is probably not the best choice. And Piplup is fainted. Yeah, I would say I honestly, yes. 
That, yeah, no, that was not the best choice to fight, I don't think. I, I don't think so, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sitting here at one journey point with two freaking weak-ass Pokemon, so yeah. <laughs> well, gotta find more weak ones that are really weak to, to bully until you can get more. Or catch some, and then... Yeah, or catch yeah. some. I'm gonna go up, shrine, and then that uh, for the green. I will pay a yellow to the shrine. I will say, the other thing you can do is if the Pokemon you're finding in the area you're you're exploring aren't good matchups for your team, especially yeah, no, in this can... version, you can just fly somewhere else. Where's the Thundersong Shrine? Uh, we... It's... right here. Okay, because Zapdos is here now. Okay, are you gonna battle it? No. Oh, okay, I'm going to battle for some green <laughs> apricorns. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Dartrix and Wormadam. Okay. Wormadam is initiative six. Vulpix is initiative six. How much health does Wormadam have? Eight. Eight. Uh, I'm gonna use Vulpix against it. All right. All right, we tie for initiative. So I get two fire type. Uh, Reckless Assault makes this a plus six damage attack. Oh, come on! Seven damage! <laughs> and it's burned. It is burned. Seven damage. Yeah, I got it. I'm just, I'm just lamenting. You have exactly one health point left. Energy ball is minus two. Minus, minus two four. damage. Just burn. Yep. It does nothing. Cool. No, wait. Uh, no, because it's not effective. Yeah. So yeah, one minute. One minute is dead. Yay! I don't think I have anything that can learn a grass move. I just wanted to kill something. No, that is fair. That's, uh... Actually, um, I'm gonna give Leaf Blade to Lampent. Energy Ball. Energy Ball. That makes more sense anyway, so... Yeah. Um, and that gets you... four journey points? Mm-hmm. And three green apricorns. Nice. I'm immediately going to make three greater balls. So I can try and catch something that's not a basic Pokemon. Alright. And that'll be my turn. So I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go one... Two... I'm going to use the shrine by paying a yellow. <coughs> and I can gain any one Apricorn. I black Apricorn's probably the safest. I gain a black, thing. I pay yeah. a black and a yellow, and I get an ultimate ball. And <laughs> hi again. Hello. Ooh. An apom or a parasect? Monkey. Oh, isn't it bug? So isn't freaking uh, electric weak to bu or bug weak to electric? No, that's flying. Never mind. <laughs> Hold on, that's what I thought Hold about. on like, a second. On. But you do have a... Uh, oh, yeah. wait, you don't have a, you don't have a flying move, though. I do, uh, I, but I'm not going to use it. Um, Alright, yeah, I'm in a battle... Parasect. <laughs> and we are going to send out... Togetic. 
Uh, uh, I beat it, so here we go. X scissor. Oh, that's five. Uh, actually, no. It's Fuck. one. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Bug is minus four. I forgot it. Mm -hmm. I forgot that. Yes. Okay. Much better. Uh, so. Silent is instantly happy boy. Uh, power five, but typeless, dazzling lead. Four. Okay. And now your status symbols deal negative one damage, uh, mitigating your huge capability for damage on this particular battle. Yeah. I'll be right back. Four minus five is zero. Mm hmm. I punch you with dazzling gleam. Really, really hard. By Parasite. Yeah. Anybody on your team that can learn a bug? Uh, no. No. Kind of sad, because x Scissor is kind of cool. x Scissor is really good, yes. But it's All right, dead. so I'm up. <laughs> you are up, yes. Right. I need more black apricorns, and I need m white apricorns. Problem is, is white apricorns are nearly non-existent around here. Oh, also I gained... Except at the reef over there. I also gained three green. We can't really, I don't think, rely on the apricorns because we're just gonna like we have how many do we have left? We have one, two, three, four. I'll make a note. I'm not sure if I'm coming through while I'm outside. There we do have a very consistent source of apricorns. They're in the distortion world. Oh, yeah, we have. We can just go to the distortion world. The only thing they don't mm -hmm. have is black apricorns there. So, if you want black apricorns, get them before uh, Necrozma murders them and then us. Yeah. We are kind of on a timetable for that. One, two, three for the reef. Okay. I don't mean to do that. I was clicking to see that thing is. Bar Barrage or Octazuka. Okay, Octillery. Alright. Octillery has the initiative. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Kind of feel like as as we're like doing this as a team thing, our best strategy might be somebody who can actually take on the red Pokemon. Go get a bunch of black Capricorns now. Someone else. Wow. The distortion world. Oh. Okay. Four damage right there. Four damage. You're up. Okay. Two. Right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's a two. I'm learning. Alright, so that's a one, but I rolled the status symbol, so I get to take another turn. Go again. And this one does not have the uh negative. Target? No, that's... I rolled a status symbol. I know. So it's a... It's your turn again, but this attack doesn't come with the negative ah, one from right. status symbol. So he's at five damage right now. Yeah. Six, seven, nope, eight. he's knocked out. He's knocked out. Uh, it's done. No gun gone. does go up to five, but... Wait, no. Now, can anybody learn a water move on my team? Nope, he goes into the discard. Okay, and you gain four 
points. All right. Yeah. Real I... talk here, folks. Should I evolve Gabite, Shellgon, or Porygon? Evolve Gabite and go Gabite. farm black apricorns. Yeah, Gabite. Wherever, wherever there are any left. Garchomp is strong enough to do that. And uh, we really need to do that before they just disappear. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because you can hand them out to people, but not everyone can get them right now. Yeah. I also feel like we use another one of our skips because of that. I agree with that. I would agree with using another skip. And it gets us another turn of not having more distor distortion stuff. Alright, then yeah, it's Alpha's turn. Wait, so yeah, I get uh, one so of each. So can I move? Can I move to like, like I, I'm over here. Can I move back to my my home city and then fly somewhere? Yeah. Yes. It's uh, just that when you fly, it takes one of your movement points. So you'd go yeah, so, one, two, and then fly for three. Real quickly, is there anybody nearby me with an extra yeah. white apricorn? Right. Uh, I have, okay. I have zero. I also have zero. I, that's what I was afraid of. All oh, good. Yeah, that's my turn. Uh, while you while you're on Stark, heal your team. I am going for some white apricorns Whoa. next turn. Give me dice game, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm wanting to try and get at least two. One so I could do an infused. Uh, you know, one one so I could do an infused. Um, but also I'm wanting like to get heavy we... light. And this, it feels like the apricorns are going to be worth more than the journey points. Um, I don't know, because we're going to need to have a ball Pokemon with good moves to even hurt mm -hmm. the Ultra Beasts, let alone hurting Necrozma. Mm -hmm. who... And you know what? Since I'm going to be going up against the, bla the, the strong ones anyway with my Garchomp, I don't need the Infuse to do anymore. I just need the white so I can make my Evial light mm. and when I evolve mm. my uh, Porygon. Well, there's also the problem that right now, uh, Necrozma is taking minus four damage from every attack. Yeah, we need to start hitting yep. up these uh, Ultra, Ultra Beasts. Beast. Yeah. I need to evolve. I need to, uh, I need to evolve Volpix. again, yeah. Yeah, which is going to be part of my... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and go for some white Apricorns, catch or kill the Pokemon... And then evolve Vulpix. Mm-hmm. Then probably go for another set of white Apricorns and then into the Distortion World. And that'll get me an extra item. Well, if you're going to be going for the Distortion World, um, the closest ones are the... Um, yeah, I have, a path, I have a path already. I go down three to the white, mm -hmm. then I go down left two, up left one, and then into the Distortion Gate. For the green one, right? This one, yeah. Yep, that's the one I was going to refer to. Is uh, either the uh, deep right. marsh or the glacial? Alpha. What? Did you take your turn? He did. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Okay. So I've just been sitting here waiting for no reason. Yep. One, two, three. Uh, white apricorns and battle search. Uh. Okay. Hmm. I should probably try and catch one of these. Um, I mean, Rosalia wouldn't be bad. No, but it's not very good against any of the Ultra Beasts either, and that's our eventual goal. It's not I mean, Terrible. it's bad against two of them because they're bug type. It's bad against two of them because they're grass steel type. It's bad against one because it's part steel type, and it's bad against one because it's fire type. Not to mention, I have, have to go for Luxio. What's its initiative? Seven. Okay, I'm going to throw in Hound Hour. You have the first right. move. I am just going to throw a greater ball at it. That's Yay, catch. I caught it. 
So you gets get me two, two, two journey, journey points and three white apricorns. And then the journey points are immediately going into Evolving Vulpix. Hound Hour? Mm-hmm. I mean, see, the problem I have is if I evolve Vulpix... Yeah, if you evolve Vulpix, you lose something because you have reckless well, assault still. Right, but if I evolve Vulpix and I have a fire-type move, that just straight up does plus six damage to Celesteel or Cartana. Okay, yeah, no, go ahead and evolve Vulpix. You'll probably get rid of Ember because I believe it knows Flamethrower. Yeah. And that's, yeah, it's just going to fully heal it. Mm-hmm. Fire Blast. Well, I'll say with that one then. Uh, I'm assuming you're getting rid of Ember. Yes. Yeah. Nine initiative, nine, eight health. Not the best, but a strength five fire move with plus six damage on it is nothing to sneeze at, especially yeah. when I have other things on my team. Uh, I do get my three white apricorns and mm -hmm. use a greater ball to catch yeah. that Luxio. And that'll be my turn. Mm -hmm. I'll catch another moderate the next turn. Oh. Actually, it given given that, uh, should I be going to the Distortion World, or should I aim towards actually fighting Cartana or it, Celesteela? You can fight one of them, or if you think you can take Buzzsaw. That one I'm not as sure about, because it would That's only be fair. plus four damage. Yeah. Seriously, the, the, like, Ninetales likely has something that Cartana... Or, or Celesteela learns that could take it out, but even just being able to get one hit in with Fire Blast on that, it's just going to be ridiculous. So I guess your next turn, go to Sunny Shore, and then the turn after that, fly over and fight? Yeah, I think <laughs> go to Sunny Shore, and then the next turn, depending on where they move, I'll probably go after Celesteela. Alright. You done, though? Yes, that's my turn. Alright, one, two... I'm going to sacrifice a green at the shrine. Uh, shuffle the weak, moderate, strong deck, then draw three. You may replace Pokemon your party with these of the same encounter tier, while keeping everything else attached. So that's going to be the moderate. Tell me when to stop. Oh, you get the honor for this. Oh. Peruglis. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Mercro. Stop. Rufflet. Uh. It'd be good for end game, especially as a haunch crow because of the dark typing. Yeah, but I'm not getting rid of anything that's on my team that's a blue. I'm not getting rid of Pikachu, and I'm not getting rid of uh, Togetek. Cool. And okay. then I'm gonna go up to the White Apricorn and search there. Okay! Okay! You Those are you? both pretty good. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna fight Pupitar. And... Yeah, I, I love the freaking 3D models on this game. I know, right? Who do I Play fight on. it with? That's the problem. That is... That's like the cherry on the... Uh, cherry on the top for this. I think I have to fight it with Togetek. Like, they, they have the... They have the design of, like... Right. Sun and Moon. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, you've got first round, I think. Do you? No, I've got first. You're, okay, you're first, yeah. So bite. And you're you're lucky it's bite and not a rock rock type. Zero damage. Yep. Uh. No, you know we're gonna start off with shoot greater ball. All right, hey blue. No. Oh, no. Fail. All right. Ooh. 
Hmm. Let's see here. We delete the two. We add one because bite's effect. You get three damage. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this next attack. Add a regular. Yep. So I go up to four. And shoot another greater ball. You almost said it last time. Got it. Oh, you got it. Got you it, got, got it. Got it. All right. I have a Jupiter. Get your two uh, journey points. And it was three pink, right? Uh, no, whites, I believe. Yeah. Oh, white. yes, three whites. Good. We kind of need those. All right. And. Yeah, I'm going to go burn all of those. Journey points, all six. Man team. Man time. I have. Uh, now, you, now you just need Pikachu to learn surf and you'll be perfect. Yeah. Another uh, strategy that we might want to consider. Mm -hmm. If we can get the Keystone Balls, anyone. And catch a Legendary or two. Yeah. Uh Actually, kind of why I've got my ultimate balls. I'm half tempted to attempt trying catching the Articuno. After, that would be the uh, worst one for you. Next. Zapdos would be much easier to catch. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm nowhere near Zapdos, and like we said, I need to focus on black Apricorns. For that, yes. I'd have to go to here. Yeah. All right, but you could go to Sin Home and then up, but well, current your current position, yes. Yeah, I'm kind of scugged. It's either that, or I attempt the Lake Verity Cavern Challenge. Which one's Lake Verity? Uxie? No. Mesprit. No. Mesprit, and then Uxie is north, and Azelf is the east, right? Uh, yep. Mesprit is immune to capture attempts and all damage until it would take damage from battle fatigue. Yeah, Otherwise, I would have to tank it out. That's not. You a either good have call. to put it to sleep or just tank it for five turns. Yeah. Yeah, we're not doing that. Nope, they're all, all right. really strong. Actually, I am curious about something. Trial of knowledge. I could maybe get away with using hex on it, and then just spamming balls. Uh, where but is I would need ultra balls to even have a decent chance at it. Where is all right. in here? Ah, uh, yeah, they. They do still keep their unique move from the uh, commanders and their second typing. Mm -hmm. Yep. I so. am not going to get blacks this round. Well, that's one, fine. One, two, three. I'm going to check what this is. Oh, thank God! Yep. <laughs> Heal up. My Porygon lives again. And now you can actually fight the black Apricorn things. And, yeah, um... That was three, wasn't it? No, that was one. I oh, was on the reef on, earlier. Yeah. On the reef, okay. Now, I'm actually gonna yeah. loop back to the. I'm actually gonna loop back to the reef. I'm gonna give up a green. I'm not re-rolling my power, but I am gonna draw a shrine effect. You get. Oh, it's useless for you right now. Yup. Keep what I've got for when I go up against Articuno. And then I'm just gonna pop back onto here. Yeah, you wanna we'll be, be able to reroll up to four of the dice on the catches, just that would be amazing. You'd have to have something live oh. long enough to be able to do it. Ooh, okay. Ooh, oh. I draw some wrist cash. Those are okay. really good. Um Okay. Coil would be perfect for fighting. Uh, what was it, Mesprit? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm actually thinking of trying to catch Electric. Wow. Okay, that's a poison type attack. Um. Yeah. Mesprit is what? Fire type? You got some very good defenses no. against fire type. No, Mesprit is electric. I thought Azelf was like. Okay. Oh, yeah, Azelf is the fire type. 
still uh, have decent decent defense against like how many greater like, balls do I have? I only have one greater ball left, and I want to try and hold on to these uh, ultimate balls. I'm gonna go ahead and try a greater ball. Greater balls of fire. Come on. Got yeah. it. Got it. <laughs> All right, you're going for that trial then. <clears throat> Presumably, um, where is the lake located over here, actually? It's, uh... It's literally three spaces away from me. Right there. Ah, uh, yes. You could do that, and then, if you wanted to, first you could get some black and then go to there, but... No, while my team is fully healed, I want to go for the Mesprit. That's fair. But first, uh, it is the Breach Strength boost. Yeah... Uh, yeah. Alright, we lost a reef, we lost a red, we lost a shrine. Uh. Oh, that's see. hilarious. I could abuse that quite liberally. Um. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, <laughs> oof. Alright. Uh, I wish I had something slow to put this on. Rapid Strikes. User always goes first, but reduces its moves with greater than three total attack strength to three attack strengths. Okay, I am the actually... Gravitational drag again. I am actually getting rid of Nuzzle on Pikachu and putting on uh, Reckless Assault. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking I just get rid of the energy ball on Lampant. I want to read this before I forget. For what? Anyway. For uh, <clears throat> my rapid strikes. Sure the other alternative is I put it on Luxio just to get rid of it, really. I think that might actually be the better option. Yeah. Uh, I ended up putting my uh, gra the new gravitational drag I got onto Sheldon. Okay. Give him more health to, you know, tank out headbutts. Yep. Made more All sense right. to me to put it on him. Time for me to start hunting down some uh, grass steel types. Hopefully getting more journey points. How many journey points do you get for killing? They're legendary, so it would... All so right, well, defeating one of them is six journey points, six right? Six journey points, yeah. That will be right. quite nice, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but no, it, it, it is very Alf, good. It is Alpha's turn. Yep. Where did you go? Um, where am I right now? Up, up, up top, up, uh, well, technically bottom left. I'm up uh, on top of the. Okay, you're area. getting you're doing a yellow battle. Okay. Larvitar, Tyrogue, or Zubat. That, that's actually not bad because I'm pretty sure I get a I get a type effect in this boost because of this. Uh, which means I can actually get journey points. Hit the battle if you want to battle it. Yeah, I know. Okay. Bad thing is, is I have this effect on the freaking pitbull now, which is kind of annoying. But uh, did you? Which one did you want to fight? What? What do you mean? You hit battle and it pulled out Zubat. I hit battle and it pulled out. Oh shit! Well, it's because you messed around with it. Yeah, it's because you touched it and flipped around the. The cards. Yeah, that yep. Works. Uh, so we're tied. Unfortunately, it, yeah, stuff that's scripted in tabletop sim. You just don't. You just shouldn't mess with it. You don't. Yeah, you no. don't mess with it, or it'll screw up the scripting. I got you. Okay, so it's five versus five. Uh, so so get, you go first. Get right back, guys. Get one damage. For what? No, I mean oh. like roll and deal like one damage on the dice and you KO it. It's dead. Yep. Yeah. You want to teach yeah. Sandtomb anything on your team? Uh, what type is Sandtomb? I don't think anything can learn Sandtomb. Ground? Yeah, nothing yeah. can learn yeah. Sandtomb. Alright, I'll just you put Barbator gain, in the discard. You do gain four journey points, so you can evolve. Right, get out. You already know. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So yeah, you're going to put that over into uh, here? Hit evolve. Nice. Oh. And then you flip over Piplup. Oh, I was going to say, can I not move those at the same time? 
Yeah, you can't move them at the same time, but before you put down Primplop, because that would end up over it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And then just get rid of four journey points, which is what it costs to evolve. Oh, yay! And you now have a Primplop, which is a much stronger Pokemon than Piplop yay! was. Yay! <laughs> yep. Oh, one of the big problems you can run into, I find, in this game is just lack of momentum. Uh, honestly, it's funny because I think I think all my actual Pokemon oh, yeah. play is luckier than this. I like... feel like you get more <laughs> momentum by catching a few Pokemon at the very beginning, mm -hmm. and then evolving something, and then you get your momentum boost. Yeah. Or well, you, I went for or you catch, before. Or you do something like what I did, and you catch like a Mantine, something that has like some bulk in its base form. Mm-hmm. All right, that makes it my turn then. Yes. Yeah. Uh. I, I have an idea, and this could go oh, wait, terribly. Let's yellow, right? Three yellow. One, two, three. We'll see which where I go, depending on how things shuffle about. Yeah. I might just go to uh, Nesberg for Cartana, but if uh, Celesteela moves closer to Celestic, going for it okay. first. Okay. So it's my turn. Yep. All right. Let's see if my turn immediately ends. No, I get the Seafarer Egg! Psychic Can you go up and down two is the maximum, right? Oh no, crap, yeah. That's that's two that's two down, so I wouldn't be able to do that. You would only have be able to do it if you went down to the yellow, down to this, and then to that oh. as a third. I, mm -hmm. I, I flipped it, so I'm gonna do that. Alright, you Which... get Magical Egg. Which is Sylphine, uh, that is just immediately going to get tossed onto Mantine. Mm-hmm. That is Psychic and, and Water. water. Hmm. Yup. Yeah. So Surf is definitely getting boosted there. Yeah, Alright, Jacob's turn. Top five. Alright, gentlemen. I'm healed. I've got three ultimate balls. And it's time to die to... The thing I think is going to really save us in the end is, as far as I'm aware, Necrozma's two spaces are completely random. Not pick yeah. something out of the things that can be destroyed. So no, as more stuff gets destroyed, random. we're just going to start getting closer and closer to statistically very difficult to uh, actually have it hit anything. Alpha, you are controlling Mesprit, dude. Yep. Oh. You could use a psychic type move. You could use shocking verity. Actually, do we want to just play these guys the same way it's just to play the ultra beasts? Use their uh, signature move unless there's a reason. Unless it's like not very effective against the opponent, or incapable of being used, or using it would cause status effect or things like that. Entirely up to Alpha to use. Yeah, because that's how it recommended playing the Ultra Beast, essentially. Use its main move unless it doesn't make any sense. I mean, you gotta, oh. remem you gotta remember, any status he rolls doesn't have to be applied to Electric. It could be applied to any of the team. Yep. Yeah, these things are in the uh, admin fights in the, in the other campaign. They're really annoying. Yeah. Jacob knows that, right, Jacob? I, I will say they they only su they only oh my su God. all right they only suggest uh, playing them that way if you don't have someone directly control them. And I would sorry. I would say I would. The the thing I would say is it feels like a weird conflict of interest because in the ba in the other campaign we're against each other. There's a real motivation to play the Pokemon as good as it can be, but it almost feels like like if you if you weren't trying, you could be like, oh no, I used the worst move. Oh no. And, and who gets uh, the second one? Alright. Oh right. I refuse to paralyze your Garchomp because Garchomp is crucial. <laughs> but I might have no choice. Can I can I please say what I was been trying to say? Go for it. Jesus Christ. Um, they only suggest playing them that way if you're not having someone control them. 
I would say it would make more sense to just have someone control them optimally. AKA have them use their best judgment. Yeah. Play it play them like you're playing the actual Pokemon. Yeah, that's fair. Anyway, my turn. Coil. Do one whole damage. But yep. at at the same time, battle fatigue is increased by two. Actually, it does zero damage. Can't be hurt until that happens. Yep. Yeah. Or would we count it because it's the same move? It, it's pretty much. I'm only using it for the effect. The damage yeah. doesn't apply. Yeah, it can't be damaged or. Wait, no, hold on. This is this is important, and this might have actually played into your decision. Mesprit is immune to capture attempts and all damage until it would take damage from battle fatigue. Yes. Mm -hmm. In other words, I am trying to keep the electric out until one more turn, a, yes. at least one more turn. Yeah. Yep. I have done my best to plan for this, however reckless this might be. Yeah, this might just go to crap very quickly, but go ahead, Alpha. Get another another turn with Mesprit. Yeah. Oh, well, Garchomp's paralyzed. And the electric oh. is not dead. Garchomp and electric are paralyzed. Uh, you keep, can't paralyze electric because it's, uh, it's electric type. Yeah, the type that it shows on the dice for that status is immune to that status. Yeah. Fire's immune to burn, ice immune to frozen, dark you... is immune to sleepy, poison's immune to poison. Oh, okay. Okay! Oh. okay. I don't actually think all of them are. What's the one for confusion? Psychic? Yes. Uh, no. Oh, yes. No, they are. It's a, yeah. Yeah. I, I totally forgotten that dark types are immune to drowsy and psychic are immune to confusion. With this roll, you take three damage and it's capturable. Yep. No. After his next attack. After, after his next attack. That's what I mean. You're up, dude. <laughs> The electric might go out, but we're pulling this off. Wait, yeah. wait. So, so Vesper is technically a legendary, which means he's gonna bring somebody else in. Yes. Yep. Okay, okay. Oh no! Oh no! You'd, you'd, be, you'd be fine. You're fine. So yeah, it takes three damage. And now it can be captured or fought. And now it can Probably. be captured and fought. Yeah. Good. It also doesn't actually <laughs> kill e electric. Yeah, it only does one damage. Wow! I was gonna say, you scared me though, because you said, wait, wait, and I was like, oh shit, already <laughs> Oh wow, okay. Right, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Ultimate Ball. Somebody's getting a promotion. You do need six or higher on this, though. Oh, we roll four. Yep. Okay, uh. Shoot. You have another ball? It might be better to wait and see if the second one gets yeah, I'm gonna have. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait and see. Alright, so this Ulta Ball is out. Yep. You're up, dude. Electric type on Mesprit doesn't really help a lot with a lot of the Ultra Beasts, but it is still a legendary. Okay, that will knock Electric out. Yeah, you're unconscious. And... Actually, Mesprit takes another three damage, so it's up to six. But now it's, you... now ba it's battle fatigue is now refreshed. Yeah, battle is, is reset. It's a and... good thing. Yeah, it's a it's a good thing it did kill Electric because otherwise it would have killed itself. Yes. Oregon. Okay. You uh, still have the uh, advantage on. Um... Yeah. Oh, initiative yeah. gets recalculated because a new Pokemon came out, so Mesprit gets to go before. Yeah. Also, Porygon, due to gravitational drag and, and paralysis, is that like what one initiative? It's yeah, negative one initiative. <laughs> Porygon <laughs> never gets a turn. Go. <laughs> Which I think you can only drop it to zero, and also that doesn't actually do anything, but it's really funny. Yeah. All right, Alpha, go ahead and roll. Roll against him with your with whatever attack you're doing. Ah, uh, that's... Ooh, wow, five. Two, five. Five. Damage. Yikes. Yep. All right. And it's time for the next ultimate ball. May the dice be with you. 
That's, wait, wait, wait. that's wait. capture. You just caught it without using the power. Very nice. Oh, yes! Excellent. Very nice. Uh, so I'm assuming I'm assuming this is kind of like real Pokemon. Like the less HP it has, the easier it is to capture. No, it's no. it's based on the rarity. If you look over here on the on the side of the board. Oh, oh uh, I, didn't, I honestly didn't even see that. Yeah, you, it tells you how much you need to roll to capture it, how many journey points you get it for for capturing or defeating it, and then you just get plus two journey points if you win a battle. Mm -hmm. And before anything else, Jotes, you get four journey points. I just got that, and I'm spending six because after that mm. fight, Porygon deserves evolution. Oh, it's <laughs> gonna it's a ducky conversion two. Okay, let's out. let's take a look at each of these real quick. Positive type effectiveness damage is reduced to zero. Okay, until you're switched out. Not amazing on a normal type, but that'll be good against uh, Feromosa and Buzzwool if you have to fight them. Yeah, yeah. so... They're fighting type. Are you keeping Conversion or... No, I'm going to give up, I'm gonna give up regular Conversion for the Conversion 2. You I'm know what always disappointed me? Wait, wait, never... wait. Where'd that damage go? Because he still keeps the damage and all. No, they heal when they no, evolve, they right? Heal. They do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What but always the... what always disappointed me is there's no conversion three. But look how tanky this boy is. Uh, you get that EV light on him though. Fourteen. No, mm -hmm. thirteen. Yeah, that's thirteen health for four initiative gr granted. <laughs> but you're gonna make an EV light tank out of out of Porygon too. That's yeah. hilarious. All right, exactly. but we do That's have it. something yep. up now. We have breach strength bonus. All right. Okay, we only, only got three percent. Uh, white and blue just both got nuked over here. All right, and Celesteela moved further. Actually, no, I could fly to Stark and take Celesteela. I want to do Celesteela first because it is probably slower than Cartana. Okay, yeah. Cortana is ridiculously fast. If there's any hope that I get initiative on it with Nine Tails, it's Celestial, yeah. Man, yeah. Zerka tree just ate a black Apricorn tree. Yeah. Well, uh, Alpha's over there. Ni uh, yeah. Nihilego ate a black Apricorn tree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we need to start killing these things because they're going to end up doing more damage than Necrozma is to our item gathering yeah mm -hmm. well i have yeah. i have an idea on my next turn lord's dark type from them correctly uh yeah you'd have to go down actually one. My, my next turn is probably going to be going to connelly for the heals for a while just my, gonna, um, yeah. my my next turn is Oop. going to be I got my next turn my next turn is going to be uh, Shrine, and then uh, Black Apricorn Reef. Mm -hmm. Because good, good. it's a water <laughs> reef, so I can just send out Pikachu and get the initiative uh, on it with 10, hopefully. You go um, ahead, Alpha. And I can just Volt Switch I'm out. I'm going here to catch another Pokemon at this point. Yep. All right. Yeah, I, I need it. I need it. <gasps> or Monster. Oh! Oh! Easily, because if worse comes to worse, I freaking I kill him. Oh, soft boiled is really good. Soft boiled's uh, really good. Yeah, but, but yes, but, but yeah, like because if I fail to catch him, then yeah, soft boiled power to heal damage equal to your current battle fatigue, and then reset your battle fatigue. Get get that on a fucking dark ride. Okay, so Monferno goes first. Uh, two damage, and then it uses its effect to attack again. Only does it once, but three more damage. That's so five total damage. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> no, it wouldn't let me click yeah. it. Or right click it. If if you hide, if you move your mouse over it. Yeah, yeah. I, 
I, I know. Is that right? No, if, if you just hover over it and then hit the number you want to switch to. Oh, okay. So, like, easier. you can, like, quick bounce and whatnot like that. Uh, I'm going yeah. to... Ugh, Pokeball, though. Oh, yeah, it's only three dice. Match. Yeah. I was gonna say you, you can do it. Yeah, it's three dice. You need a four. You need a crit. You can do it. Come on. Great to R and Jesus. Ah. Uh, wait, 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 wait! I need to check something real quick. If you I, can re-roll that, Jacob. You can but... force the re-roll on the status symbol dice. It's Not sure if it's, it's worth it's, it. It's up to. It's probably yeah. worth it to get some momentum behind we, Alpha. We roll yeah. that status die. Yeah, we roll the status die. You got it. You got it, bro. There, you caught it. That is uh, that is a very, very, very good teamwork play on the. Yes. Uh, Thank you, dice. Jacob. Yeah, he needed, he needed starter. to start getting some more momentum in there so he can start contributing to the battle more. Don't do that. No, well, that okay. no, that was the right one. And no, now, right one. now he can drag the Primplup one just to the next slot. Yep. Oh, He's I like, thought you were dragging the Primplup one. No. I was like, no, no, no. don't do it. It's messed up on me before. <laughs> See, Avoid the, the pain that I have gone through. Okay, so yeah, instead your Temple of going to the village, up. Instead uh, of going to the village, I can just go down the Traveling Healer my next turn well, it, and, it's, and it's, stop by the shrine to refresh my power on the way. It's Taylor's turn right now, so no, let's... Still, I know. Yeah. So, just... hold, hold, hold on real quick. So I caught the Pokemon, which means I get two, plus I get two for... Oh, you, get, no, that's, that's... you get you get two journey points plus you get three white apricorn. Okay. Yep. Cool. And now it's my. Turn. Oh my god. Um. What? May I make uh, one hold suggestion? up. Hold up. Before 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 Taylor, you take your turn. What? I would suggest Alpha. Yep. Make a uh. The infused, the infused stew. stew. Yeah, you need that'll, it that'll, at that'll this That'll let point. you roll three dice and gain that many journey points. Which may enable you to evolve Abra or Monferno. Or, or Primplop into its so, final form. I don't know if Primplop is the one to evolve here, because it's got one of the ultra things on it. That's it fair. I, 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 well, no, I believe he can get rid of Bubble for Surf on the final evolution of Napoleon. So you're right. So two and one, and now you is just it... come over to the battle table, and you, you roll just three dice. roll three dice. And, and you yeah, you gain three, three journey, journey points. points, so you can evolve any of your Pokemon. Anything. Uh. uh... I'm trying to think, because Infernape is still fire and fighting, and then Abra, but I don't know. I don't know, because Psychic, Psychic's not bad right now. But I could have a fully evolved, uh, a, a, yeah, a fully evolved Infernape, though, so. Mm-hmm. Infernape's yeah. good. Yeah. It's fragile, but it's fast and strong. Yep. Bring that over, I'll bring the Pokemon over for you. Yep. Plus, with Mock Punch under it, oh. there we go. <laughs> uh, uh -oh. that means oh, you can, if you go first, you can use Mock Punch and then Raging Fury. Yeah. Before the it, opponent even gets to move. In the same okay. turn, yeah. That's what's up. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I have moved one, two, uh, I think I just take this. I think and... just battle there, yeah, and then yeah, next turn. Battle steal, sell steal next turn. Uh, okay, Stunky's not bad. I mean, hmm. Gunk monk. Nah, oh, man. You know you, you could also get you could also get Glammy out if something can learn play rough. Can anything learn? Nothing play rough? can learn play rough. I could put Grass Whistle on Lampin. That would be kind of amusing. I feel like Energy Ball is probably better. I said amusing, not good. <laughs> You could catch Badoo. I so, could. Thunder could learn that um, uh, dark type move. I feel Stunky would yes, probably be teach. the best. 
I could teach Houndour bite in addition to it knowing bite. <laughs> double, <laughs> double bite action. Nom nom. From nom to nom nom. Yeah, sure. I'll, <laughs> I'll fight his donkey. So bite. Just letting y'all know, I need to get like some green, some green apricorns so I can get uh. Greater balls. balls. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'll send out Luxio, who always goes first. And yep. then throw a Pokeball at it. Okay. Okay. You're not in a good position for it. Uh, bite. I got a perfect play, as long as that. Uh, okay, three damage. <coughs> and an extra regular hit, and the next time it fights. Also. Uh, I think I, I forgot to no I I didn't I didn't have any healing to do okay Here's to it. throw another pokeball yeah wow I think that catches it. <laughs> holy crap <laughs> Jesus what did you just get a stunky oh yeah yeah okay and then I use a pokeball to catch it and I lose a pokeball to a bad roll I I rolled. Three criticals to catch a stunky. <laughs> the game was like, take this now. You need three Pokemon with bite. Yeah. All I am right. the Nom Nom team. I started with fire and then I ate what I cooked. <laughs> oh. And right. then I get three red apricorns. Yup. And one journey point. <laughs> and it's my turn. So I go to the shrine. I pay a single white to trigger. Oh, nice flip. Uh, you may learn a move from a discarded Pokemon with encounter tier up to strong. Octazooka. Sorry, I clicked on it by accident. But yeah, Octazooka would be great on uh, we the only one. Do I have anything that can learn that? No. Yeah. So if you wanted moderate, Octazuka would be the way to go for Mantine, I think. The smaller deck, though, might have something that's interesting. Okay, so Octazuka right now is my current pick. Uh, let me see what I can get here. We have Playrough. Uh, we have Ember, Nuzzle, and... Sand Tomb. Uh, Pupitar could learn Ember or Sand Tomb. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take Akazuka for now. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Cradle Diddle. Oh, he's a derp dog. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> derpy dogs. Shedding dogs. Okay. And then we're going to go down to the uh, Apricorn Reef in the ocean and search. That's a really unfortunate encounter. Oh. Uh, do you have any? You don't. You have at least one ultimate ball. You might be able to catch the thing. Yeah, that's a really unfortunate encounter. Um, that's a really good move for it to have. Honestly, <laughs> I. Th oh God! Your best bet is either Pikachu or Pupitar. Whether Pup you want to kill or Pupitar. Yeah, you'll get poisoned and you'll get paralyzed, but you'll take minus four, minus four damage from it. Yeah, um, and we are going to start off with a... With the Luge, because he's got priority. Yeah, yep. he has priority on me. So, uh, no, no damage. I got it, I got it. But I get paralyzed, and I get poisoned. Well, good news is the turn skip from the paralysis doesn't proc poison. Nope, so it's it's turn again. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Creator ball. It literally can't hurt you. 
I know. You'll only die to poison. Hey, you caught it! Nope, I'm gonna catch it. Yeah! You got it! That's five! Okay. That's not a bad catch. Get a plus three, get a plus three, man! Yeah, and Ion Deluge on anything is going to be good. And Honestly, again, if you can get the initiative, I would lead with that against most of the Ultra Beasts. Oh, yeah. And I get three uh, Black Africa ones. That's good, good, good. You know what we need more of? Green and pink apricorns. Yeah. There's a lot of pink apricorns in the north. One. There's a lot of greens in the west. Fine. We're going to give up a blue. Because I have a multitude of those. Dark Rye. Believe this one, yes? Our Lord and Savior has arrived. Yes, so Dark Rye appears. I'm first going to roll my power. Alright. Four again. Oh, oh, that's very nice. Catch it. Get Dark Rye. It's so good. I'm going to hate myself, but yes, I'm going to go attempt to catch it. Well, you should probably heal first, but other than that, yes. I cannot I cannot heal first and attempt to catch it if I'm gonna catch it with this card draw. Yep. Oh you're right, you're right. Hmm. I mean, oh, actually, here's a thought. Send out this might actually be a good thing because you'll lose initiative, but Darkrai would beat you on initiative anyway. And he can't inflict Drowsy on Garchomp. Nope. Where's Shogun? Who is, I think, bulkier at the moment. Yeah. Alright, Alpha. Shul Shulgun, You're playing as Darkrai. Shogun is bulkier. Alright. All right. There's no mercy in this dojo. Uh, <laughs> the only uh Probably Darkrai's optimal move is Ice Alpha Strike. Yeah, I'd agree. <laughs> yep. So that's uh, oh, <laughs> five damage. Five damage, which is fine. It has eleven HP. And now just Can you throw imagine it. getting gravitational drag twice on an alpha Pokemon? It would have so many hit oh points. My, God. my one ultimate ball. Yeah. And don't forget you've got the reroll up to four. One, two, three, four, just five. Reroll the status. Yeah. That that has to be it. Just don't reroll into the status. Literally anything else. Oh, okay, you go. good. You got Dark Rye. You got Dark Rye. Silent, I've stolen your lord and savior. Well, we're on the same team, so it's not that big of a deal, right? <laughs> no. Nope. Dark, right, now there that Dark Rye has been caught. Uh, the the token goes away. Cat, get out of the way. And I'm just gonna do this for a sanity. Delete shadow emerges. So it doesn't just get shuffled back into the deck again. The cat keeps trying to catch the hands on screen. <laughs> Here's the dark right token for you to delete as well. Yep, because you're the only one that can delete things. You can. Oh, you got promoted. No, he isn't. Uh, nope, we had to reload the game. Oh, yeah. Alright, at this point, I say we use the Blessing of Arceus again. We avoid an Ultra thing for one more turn. Yeah, I agree with that. And uh, I get the I chance would, to kill at least one of them. I would be willing to take an Ultra thing right now. Actually, it's, yeah, it's not the worst that could happen. And, uh... Actually, I'm I'm no. actually kind of more concerned about Celesteela moving away from me. Let's... Yeah, let's use... No, yeah, let's use the token, just so, uh... Alpha, not all of his Pokémon have some kind of... thing on them. Hmm. I mean, you can put two on the same Pokémon. That's fair. Do we, do we let them move, then? 
what's your call? I'd say let them move. I'd say yeah. either way. Either way. So move, they do. Gonna be. I was gonna say do it. So with two either ways, movement, movement wins. Movement, movement wins. What are we in Madagascar? Okay, let's see. Uh, we lost the green. It's the base. We lost the yellow. The lost. We well, lost, that already had. We lost a blue and a white. Uh, Buzzwolf destroyed a shrine. You know what? I'm actually. I think I'm actually gonna throw this on freaking Mon uh, Infernit. It says reduce. Oh yeah, we gotta figure out where these. Are. Oh my it says god. Reduce the base the base health uh, by the user by two or of the user by two. The user may now switch out after attacks. Initiative is not rechecked. Huh. Considering I know the move for the evolution for this guy. I put oh. this on uh, electric. You know what I'm gonna do just to be hilarious? I got chromatic union again, so Ion uh, Deluge is now typeless but power three. I'm gonna put gravitational drag on Luxio. Luxio now has plus four health, minus four initiative, and always goes first. <laughs> <laughs> I got, uh, rapid, I got rapid strikes. User user always goes first, but yeah. reduces its moves with greater than three attack to mm -hmm. three. Yeah, right. I've got rapid strikes and gravitational drag on Luxio. By the way, can I can I retro this? Because I forgot to grab my stuff and noticed I could do this. Can I go ahead and evolve my electric? I mean, it doesn't matter when yeah, you do go it. Yeah, for it. So, whatever. Uh, actually, yeah. No, that would work. The other Pokemon that you well no that would that would get rid of Alpha Strike. Mm-hmm. Coil and got two legendaries on your team. Oh, Doing very good right now. You're looking at a good position once you heal to try taking on some of the Yeah. Jacob Ultra Jacob beasts. needs to heal like ASAP and then start fighting the Ultra Beasts. I still yeah. need I still want to get that Eviolite for Porygon 2. So if anybody has Three blacks and one white they can pass to me, I'll appreciate it. I have white. Well, I have no black. You only need one black. Yeah, okay, yeah, I just need one white and one black. I have white and black. So if uh, y'all can get together, that Eevee light on Porygon will tank him up. I, I I feel like my team is so much. Where are you, Jacob? Let... I'm south of Conalave. Oh, well, okay. Maybe one day we'll get together then. It's all good. What I'll do, um, that's Guzzlord near me, right? Yes. Yeah. I can Again, heal. I can heal. The, yeah, you're probably the best equipped to take him on currently. So what I'll do is I'll heal and uh, stop by the Apricorn Reef so I can go on ahead and get the white that I need. I I would okay. say I would say just go. And then go for Guzzlord. I'd say just yeah. heal and then go towards Guzzlord. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to reach Guzzlord in time. Yeah, go to yeah. the Apricorn Reef. Go to the Apricorn Reef. Because he can move away. Yeah, if he moves away from you, then you won't be able to reach him for another turn. Get out. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I have a much less powerful team, but I also am incredibly teched into fighting specific Ultra Beasts, so we'll see how this goes. I have I'm gonna go here, but first a team... God, motherfucking damn it. Sorry, well, excuse my I language. get to do the alpha thing. Oh, wait, that actually is not that bad. Yeah, you have uh, Infernape. You have an Infernape. Although, this is an alpha, so it gets the token on it. Yep. Yeah. Infernape. Oh, another thing. So dope. If you catch an alpha Pokemon, it keeps the alpha Pokemon token, but that means it can't use an item. Care about that. Um, yeah, it's just so if an you, FYI, because if it, you mock punch, you can then immediately raging fury before he can even go. Yeah, your best option here is just gonna be to kill this thing. I don't think you have any pokeballs that could even realistically catch it. No, you'd have to roll three crits, and who does that, right? Right? Shut up, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, two four. plus two, so four damage. Mm -hmm. 
So it's down to nine HP. And now no, it's, it's down to uh, eleven. In a, yeah, it's down to nine HP. You're right. One, One two, two, three, three four, four five, six, seven, eight. Six. Eight more damage, so that's you got the one HP, dude. In one 12, go, 12 H, 12 damage so far. All I need to do one, one more damage. One mock punch will do it. Okay, so avalanche would be five, but minus two. I think an alpha strike just as a rock is the thing it would do. Four damage. Yeah. And then just kill it. So you have one health left. Oof. Uh, it, it is dead, but you did have six dice because of its effect. And now oh, you're yeah. confused. Yeah, you're also confused now. From the effect of the move. So uh, you said alpha or alpha Pokemon considered le is that what you said is considered legendary? They are yeah, legendary. that means you get six journey points, dude. Oh, the other thing he can do. Oh wait, wait, that's right. Do you have anything that can learn ice type moves? Yes, he does. You can put avalanche on something. Yeah, you could put avalanche onto <laughs> Trinplop. Trinplop. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of bubble. Yeah, much Bobby. better move for you. Mm -hmm. Um, also, I think I'm also going to turn around and evolve. Uh, hey, wait, where, where's my, where's, where's my thingy at? Bring, bring the Pokeball back. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on, hold on now. I'm also going to, uh, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna gut. Right, yeah, evolve on. Abra. Yep. Probably a good, good call. Yeah. Kinesis, yes. True to the game, the Kadabra line learns a lot of psychic moves. Who would have thought? And that's that's basically it. Yeah. See, I got three fully evolved Pokemon. Or, well, actually, no. I have two fully. Well, two, three evolved Pokemon, not fully evolved though. So I'll take it. Yeah. No. Right. I mean, you have you have bulked up to a very good team at this point. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So then it becomes my turn, and uh, I'm gonna do my job, and I'm gonna fight Celesteela. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm right here, by the way. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> That's where the freaking alpha token was. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with. Uh, 12 HP, 7 initiative. 21 minus... HP. Oh, I, I was reading that upside down. Yeah, it has 21 hit points. Uh, alpha Strike, Beast Boost, Lift Off. Here, slide, slide, slide your hands over. Uh, lift Off. Inflict the burn status on the target. If this move was used last turn, increase attack strength to 5. And Alpha Strike of Steel, Grass, Flying, Fire with Beast Boost. Okay. Oh, I boy. really only have one option to come out the gate with. Ninetales, who, uh... Yup. Well, good news, you won't get burned. Yeah, due to Reckless Assault. Plus four. Plus four, wait. It's a Grass and... Oh, it's a Steel and Flying type. I always get that one mixed up. Yeah. Oh, well. That's, that's, what, that's why I said I was saying Celesteela would be a good matchup for me with my bunch of Electrics as well. Yeah. Should have gone for Cartana, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, Fire Blast and hope for status. Okay, it takes seven damage and it's burned. Luckily, it doesn't earn any rock type moves, which is what I was afraid of. Seven. Oh god. Uh. How big that thing was. Yeah. Did you just just now look over? Yeah. Celesteel is massive. Hey, hey. So, real quick question. Sorry. Like. I was sitting here reading something. So, when I evolve my Kadabra, I can, like, keep teleport and get rid of Kinesis, right? Like, I don't have to keep Kinesis. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. okay, okay. 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 Uh, 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 Celesteela is going to flying type Alpha Strike. Okay. Oh my god! Four. 
I love how it rolled those dice. All right. If if, uh, if, if anyone missed it, look at this attack animation for Celestela. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I take two less damage, actually, because of burn, so it goes down to two damage. Yeah, two damage. All right. Uh, fire blast again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. That's 12. 17, 17 out of 21. 17 out of 21. Come on, Taylor, finish it off. I told you I tech specifically into fighting certain Ultra Beasts. Yeah, go go for it. Lift off. I don't I don't think it would use lift off at this point. I think it would use Alpha Strike. Well no, Alpha Strike's two now. Power so yeah, two. that's his best that's his best option. She no, it would probably still use flying. Oh god. It'd probably still use Flying Alpha Strike. Yeah, that's fair. Either one, really. No damage. Uh, so, no damage, and then I Fire Blast its face in. Okay, eight, it's dead. Four, five, Huzzah! Six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Very nice job, Taylor. Thank you, Nine Tails. There's a reason I caught the Vulpix. And it's not just because I really love the Vulpix line. Like, top ten favorites. Uh, so yeah, I get six mm -hmm. journey points out of that. Uh, should I evolve anything currently? Uh, you also, uh, can anything learn liftoff? Uh, that's a good I good question. Steel type. Uh. No. No, that's unfortunate. That's, uh, that's actually really unfortunate, yeah. Uh, but, also... uh, Silent, I am going to evolve Hound Hour. And Celesteela is down. Yep, uh, it means we move a prism armor over on now. The other side, yep. Yep. First one. And then I'm We're spending at... those journey points to get a Hound Doom. Six, seven, eight. Wait. It's supposed to be nine prism armor at the beginning? Here we go. Another fire type move on the team. Definitely yeah. going to be helpful. <clears throat> Hound Doom less helpful against Feromosa and Buzzswole. Lampin more useful against Feromosa and Buzzswole. All right. Yeah, we're turn. missing a Prism Armor over there. Yeah, I I got it. Okay. All right, Silent, you're up, dude. Actually, there because I like that better. Yep. All right. Uh, uh, we are gonna go. One. Two, and we're gonna search the blue apricorn tree. Okay. Uh. Now the problem here is that would be a terrible matchup for Stack Attacka, and it's going to take me a bit to get over to Kartana. It's I my obvious next target. Guess I'll just fight the Combi. Nothing in your stuff can learn like Razor Leaf. No. Huh. And oh. we're going to lead with Pikachu. At least Alpha, get healed and catch more Pokemon. Uh, that's what I'm going to do next turn. I'm going to go to Snow Point, I'm going to heal, and then I'm going to go hit up this pink Apricorn uh, tree. Okay, well, I'm going to use Bolt Switch, which is plus four with Reckless Assault, so Combi dies. Dude, you know, they did Combi dirty, man. They didn't even give it a female Combi. They just gave it like, here, here's a male Combi, it's useless. Like, seriously, like, you know how many male comb beat shinies I've caught on Arceus? Oh my god. So many of them. They're like male no, salandits. Like, like 30 of them, dude. Like, straight up. And They're like male salandits. You just get too many of them by having one. <laughs> so, 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 that it? Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Silent. Uh, I gained three blue. And yeah, I think that's going to be my turn there. All right. <laughs> 
I'm going to hop down to the healer. So, everybody is healed back up. On your team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I know it's on his team. That's why I said, woohoo, I don't feel as bad paralyzing as Pokemon. <laughs> no, no, you you actually put up a decent fight, dude. I just got hella lucky getting the ele the Electra the um, Electros. Oh, uh... But I did. Just so, you, just so you know, my plan for my next turn is to go to Celestic Heal, mm -hmm. fly to Eterna, and go to the Yellow, and I'm going after Blacephalon. Alright. I'm gonna hop back to the Shrine, and I'm going to spend another blue to refresh my power. <laughs> another four? <laughs> You're not gonna yeah. four. <laughs> so... Oh, guys, we're playing with four more players. Each of these strength blessings, two trainers. Oh, and a oh shit! Okay, let's uh, each of these shrine blessings. Let's retroactively see which ones can oh, we get and just no, randomly assign them. Yeah, uh, a lot of them would impact things from like the discard pile that we wouldn't be able to really go back for. Yeah, right. no, we're just gonna have to keep going. Well, no, All well, I get to I, do... Hold, hold I up, think hold what up. what we do is... One person gets a random Apricorn. Uh, that one we can't do. That's nothing, that's nothing, that's nothing, that's nothing. Uh, Jacob, take one of any Apricorn. Uh, uh go ahead I and get have a... one of any Apricorn, please? I... Um, I oh. really want an Ultra Ball. Uh, yeah, uh, Taylor can grab it. Alright, Taylor can have it then. Taylor grabs um, it. All right. Thank someone you. can take from the moderate. No, can take from the strong down. Uh, shuffle. The alley, no, alley no, no. This is moderate down for shuffle. Moderate down okay. for shuffle. Yeah. Uh, um, but they, I'll take... it, it has to be an exchange. So that would have been impacted by what was there before, so I think we can't really retroactively no, do that. No, it, it's shuffling the deck. Yeah, but it has to be exchanged for one of the Pokemon that was on our team at the time. We're not, I'm not yeah. worried about that. I'm good with what team I've got. Uh, someone can look at uh, strong moves and down. I'm going to give that to... I believe it was moderate uh, that you had at the time. No, it was strong. I put in a tier 2 berry. Okay. Sheldon could use an extra move, but if somebody else could really use no more moves, I'd say, uh... Well, it's either me or you. Alpha can't even get a move right now. I'm gonna I mean, give he that... could, but I'm it would have to replace to... one of his. I'm gonna give that to Taylor. Okay. Uh, what... Type moves can I learn that I have space for anyway? Uh, Hound Doom probably would Poison be a good one to get. Fire. Poison or normal or a better dark type move. And it's the discard, correct? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Walt Taylor's checking that. Any others? Uh, I already got my great ball. Who are you letting upgrade? Uh, I'd say Alpha. Alpha, get another great ball, dude. Well, it's, it's exchange. We're swapping a. Yeah, we're swapping your po one of your Pokeballs for a Great Ball. Yeah. Yay! I got a better ball! <laughs> wow, I have, like, basically no options here. Um, I know Sweet Scent wasn't in the pile at the time. No. I'm gonna put Ember on Stunky. That works! Yeah. Sweet Scent, and I believe Bubble wasn't in there either. Okay, I'm going to take my Vulpix and put it on Stunky. Okay. It's minor, minor bonuses, but every bonus is a bonus. All things are things. And then I just move one space closer to the Guz and end my turn. Alright. May I have the honors of pressing the button? Uh, yeah, go for it if you want it. And gentlemen, are we good with moving this forward one more round before we use the last one? At the very least, yes. Yeah. 
feel like this is... Uh, okay, it's 38%. There's a lot of stuff getting shuffled into the distortion world. One of us should probably go there at some point. Oh, yeah. Not to yeah. mention the fact that we need to, like, you know, fight Necrozma. We do. Um... So, guys, I have a very dumb plan before I kill Cartana. We lost. Well, hold up. We lost. Bad. Lost. We lost a reef. We lost a reef. We lost a reef. We lost a reef. We lost two reefs over here. Yeah, is it Mirrors? Comey still on the battle. Yeah, yeah, that happens every once in a while. Oh, okay. Don't worry that, about it. That just happens. Combi just where you don't want him. That just happens. Uh, I healed, by the way. No, I, I have a very specific plan that I want to implement before I catch or before I fight Kartana. I know what I want my six Pokemon in the party to be, and it's Uxie. Okay. Because Uxie's condition, before you can do anything with it, is that you have to hit it with a move with positive type effectiveness. Yeah. Luxio is automatically going to go first and has bite. Yep. No, I agree with that. Doesn't matter what his initiative is. I send Luxio in as a sacrificial lamb to unlock the ability to catch it. Yeah. And... Oh, yeah. That's just another legendary that we have on our side. Fighting these things and every bit helps, to be honest. Yep. He's still got a Guzzlord if I have to help him with rerolls. Who are you fighting? Probably Sneasel. Are you gonna try and catch him? Yeah. Okie dokie. That's probably a good call. Yep, Weavile is pretty good. Mm hmm. And it's a uh, Dark type, which will yeah. eventually be helpful uh, when we. I am faster, right? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I was waiting for you to you go. Got, you got him! Yay, he got it. You honestly, just more Pokemon in your team, at least half-decent Pokemon, is, is more chances to actually deal damage to things when you fight them. There we go. Uh, there we go. Appreciate I got it. it. Yep. Um, and, and how many things is that, two? Yep. Uh, yeah, it's just two. The The other two that we've been getting are for KOing. Yep. We've been doing a lot of this round for reasons. Uh, uh, well, yeah, we're, I, we're I getting think... up there in breach strength. I was going to uh, say, I, I think we've been killing because we need the moves and the journey points and stuff. So that's pink, yep. right? So I get three pink berries, but if I turn around and do one, two, one, I get to roll, what, three dice? Roll or... three, yeah. yeah. There you go, man. Honestly, at this yeah. point, you're the one I would say would actually benefit from that. So, four oh. journey points. You are and up to. And I can actually freaking already to four. Um, evolve anyone. Uh, I'm going Sneasel. Yeah, just immediately up. evolve Sneasel, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll look more into that as soon as I put it back over here. Nope. God damn it. Sorry. Sneasel nope. Damage. There we go. We're good. Yeah, ice punch. Uh, ice punch. Uh, power four ice. If you roll a status, uh, it freezes. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. You know what I could have also done technically? I could have uh, got a uh, Empoleon and got that water steel. Yeah. Oh, good. You can still pull that off soon because uh, that only took four of your seven. You just need. I, I need three. Oh. Oh, I we forgot something. What, mm -hmm. Jacob? You caught Mesprit, which means we each get one of the shards, which means we each have four movement. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh! It's a shard of emotion for that one, I believe. And that's yet another reason for me to catch Uxie. We'll each have five movement, much better than, than before. And if anyone wants to try and catch uh, Azelf, uh, you, it's immune to capture attempts and all damage until it's attacked with a move that rolls two critical hits. That's just RNG. Just big numbers into Pokemon. <laughs> so we can't damage it unless we do critical hits. Or catch it. You can't damage or catch it until you roll a move that rolls two critical hits against it. Yeah. The well, reason uh, I'm going for Uxie, uh, which I'll be able to do 
like the turn after this. So I'll be one space away from getting it this turn. Um, is because its requirement is do a super effective move on it, and I have a Luxio whose only move is Dark type, but who automatically goes first. No matter what. So, uh. I'm assuming yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna hit the Reef. Wish we had more green up here. I'll get. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. I'll go here. Maybe get another poke. Maybe get a, a Pokemon to swap out for something unlikely. Uh, neither of these are bad. Good move. I could put Crunch on Houndoom. You could also that catch one of them. I mean, it could, but I'm also going to just try and catch Uxie. That's fair, yeah. And I kind of don't want to replace Stunky. Luxio would be the one I'd want to replace, but I need him for the strategy that I'm doing. I might not need him with Houndoom, but... The other thing that you could do, potentially, kill Stantler, mm -hmm. and when one of us gets the shrine for pulling moves from the discard, you could pull Psy Shield Bash onto your legendary. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. I think that's the strategy we go with then. Yeah, I, th I would agree with that. All right, and of course, uh, logically, I'm going to uh, kill it with uh, Barky Barky Darky Darky. Yep. Uh, and so... I out initiative it, and yep. I'm going to use Flamethrower because it's not actually Psychic type. Uh, so that's four and. A status will give you a burn, so that's one, two, three, four damage and a burn. You now do minus six damage to me. Good luck. No, I'm okay with this. Side shield bash. I have no damage. Or minus negative two. Remove a regular hit. Okay, so it's just gonna attack again. Yep. What? Oof. Wow, okay, so one damage. And you literally can't do anything. Unless you roll, like... Nope. Three crits. It would end up being oops all crits. Uh, two more damage. So I think I, that kills I it. I think that kills it, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, which means I get... Journey points and... And I'm assuming you're and not taking Psy Shield Dash at the moment. We're saving it correct. for Shrine Effect plus yeah. Legendary. I get three pink Capricorns and four journey points. Nice. Thinking of all of yet. That's unfortunate. Nope. Well, that's just extra in the bank because if I kill Cortana, then I'll be able to evolve anything. Okay. I go to... Uh, Celestic. I heal my team. Mm hmm. Two. I fly to Returna. Three. Four. Okay. May God have mercy on your soul. While they're setting that up, Alpha, I have to ask Are you planning on uh, oh. going through the distortion gate? Uh, I can. Why? Fucking hell! Wait, do go for it. Do y'all want me to? Uh, I would definitely say go for it because not only will you have a chance to grab some of the stuff down here, but you'll probably have a better chance against the warped apricorn trees since you'll have a choice yeah. of a weak, right. moderate, and strong. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, Alpha. If you want to grab that item and then go through the gate. Stop planning other turns when I'm in a battle with a legendary. Shut up. You know, you've done the same, Silent. Not while other people are battling one of our objectives. No, he hasn't done it this game. That's Not I'm battling an objective, but you've talked over people during their battles and gotten mad when they interrupted you during their battle. 
That's right. Mind, mind blown, though. Wow. Uh, mind uh, blown. I like that Electro. I don't think I've ever seen this Pokemon. You have uh, initiative. Oh, I hope they animated its attack correctly. About to find out. Go for it, bro. It. It's you. It's you. Oh, right. <laughs> My brain is... <laughs> So, mind blown, presumably. Critical hit steal plus two, but you take three for each crit rolled. It's a self destruct. Yeah. Also, I hope it. No, they didn't do it. Okay, in, in, the, That's in not the bad. games, in the games when it uses mind blown, it takes its head off and throws it at you. All right. That's a little bit too much coding. Uh, <laughs> I am gonna go with uh, Ion Deluge. Uh, it's power three type less. Yep, and paralyze and poison. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Okay, that's four. That's four damage, nice. And I get another turn. Because you got paralyzed, yep. Because you got paralyzed this turn. Oh, Creedle Doodles is a durable. Seven in total. It's a good opening from the Electros. There's Paralyzed. There we go. Alright. Uh, how much does Electros have left? Uh, four. Four? Okay. Mind blown. Mind blown. Yep. Ooh, okay, I'll take that three damage on myself, but you're down. Yup. And you take two from poison. Yeah. But your battle fatigue is refreshed when he sends out the new one. Well, let's see here. That's a total of five damage. To you? Added yeah. on, yes. So you have five HP left on Blacephalon. Mm-hmm. All right. Electros is down. Yeah, I know. I'm... Bug on monitor that needed to die. <laughs> I, I just had the same issue. <laughs> Kill it with fire! Yeah, no, not it... on the screen! No, it was a moth. I killed it when it was on the top of the monitor. <laughs> he, said, he says, kill it with fire! <laughs> uh, alright. Hi! Hey. Mantine. Mantine comes up. Uh, and it's faster Ooh. because of, uh, wait, no, it's minus three for paralyzed, right? So it's actually just barely, Lucephalon yeah. is still faster. Lucephalon is just barely faster currently. Yep. Okay, um. Hilariously, I think you could actually win this battle by literally sacrificing all but one of your Pokemon because of the poison. It's just such a good opener on these things. Oh. Uh, six. Six damage. Damn. All right. Uh, and then uh, Placephalon takes two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It has three health left. Yep. Cool. Uh, power little, five literally. plus two for water. Octazuka. Yeah, it's dead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, six 7, 8, eight nine, 9, 10, 11. 11 damage. Why uh, did you not lead with... Oh, wait, no, I know why you did. <laughs> yeah! The paralysis poison combo is really good. That's Go. why. Mind blown. And also, yeah, if you, you have anything that can learn a fire move... Oh, you can put it on Pupitar. I'm putting it on Pupitar. Pupitar can now throw itself <laughs> and explode. Pupitar pulls its, heads off, pulls its head off and throws itself at you with its non-existent hand no, and explodes. No, I, I've got a better one. The holes in its head begin to erupt in flames as it charges. It's an eye laser beam. Yes. Except it also burns his eyes. 
<laughs> Did you get your uh, six turning points? Oh, yeah. Alright. And I'm uh, glad well, I did not have to use any up. of my rerolls for that. Yeah, so you could have all gotten something. 9, 10, 11. Like Pupitar. I was gonna say, like evolving Pupitar into giant Guitar. rock monster. Hold on, I want to take a look. Stone Edge! Ooh! Oh, I like how they did Stone Edge there. Okay, crit hits do plus one, but status symbols do minus one. Yep. Yeah, that's how they do a lot of the powerful but inaccurate moves. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Just um, very swingy, which it really is in the games, too, so... All right. Okay, so I actually do not need to worry about making any additional stops. So... Also, additionally... Another Prism Armor goes over to the Ultra Beasts, yep. and Blacephalon gets <coughs> nuked. nuked. Put it over here on the, uh, on the nuked Pokemon tracker. Two down. Two down. And about, and then, uh, about to have a third. Who are yep. you going after? Who else? Russell? The one we were about, we were talking about a moment ago. Oh uh, yeah, Guzzlord. Look at how much health it has. Oh, um, 23 health has Chomp. My. Alpha Strike, Beast Boost, and it takes minus one damage from every... Oh, yeah. yeah, it takes minus one damage per turn. Yeah. So on turns when it would take damage from things like Poisoned, it takes one less. On okay, your can turn, I... you attack. Oh. Can, I, can I make a suggestion for a lead? Yes. He led with Garchomp, and I feel that's the right call because Dragon Rush. Well, Maybe. Actually, but actually, I do see what he's going with. Either Electros or Darkrai. The that's status initially actually is going. Fair. It, yeah, the initial status is going to be great, especially when Garchomp comes out afterwards, because he doesn't have to kill it with one Pokemon. Did not mean to do that, but we all know I was going for Ion Deluge, so. Two, uh, three, but at minus two because it's a dragon, so... Yeah, there one is damage. Work. One damage one. and paralysis and poison. Yep. Start it early for these things, really. That's that's why I made such a... The fact that two of you have access to that is pretty great. Oh, yeah. Yep. No, it's, it's a huge help. I'm just going to go over here and kill the things that are weak to fire. <laughs> With my stupidly strong Nine Tails Fire Blast. I am now opened up to a ground type attack, so. <laughs> yep. Well, ground off uh, You got. You did what you were supposed to, Electros. Five. One, two, three, four, five. You didn't die. Um. Oh wait, no. That hold up. You rolled a three on uh, Ion Deluge. Yeah. It did zero damage. Oh, yeah. All right, it's because of the one. Uh, minus one. Okay. So that was five damage. And now it takes one damage from poison. Yep. Yep. And I need to put that back on one. Rather use it before the shielding makes poison just not work. Yeah. Now Which I'm going honestly... for coil. Wait, uh, if wait, you... wait, wait. I, I, I'm and I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh, you're good. What's up, Jacob? You were supposed to have a second attack there. Oh. Oh yeah, it, it paralyzed it. So you get one more attack before this one. Okay. Well, uh, two damage two and plus two battle fatigue. Which and then which is one damage. One damage. The armor. Right. And now and, for this turn. Okay, zero damage, zero but it damage. is up to five battle fatigue. Yep. Which is nice. That was the plan. Okay, nice. And now it's going to take four, five damage, so it'll take four. Mm. Yep. But it's probably going to kill Electros by numbing him to death. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a gonzo. Mm -hmm. But it takes four extra damage from that, so... Goes up to six, but it's... Fatigue gets reset by uh, Beast Boost. Yeah, that's still an extra three damage that... 
No, it was still a real. It's a really good opener against these early game. Yeah. Once we kill one more after Guzzlord, that's not gonna like poison. Just isn't gonna work on them unless they also take some other damage during their turn. Okay. With that in mind, should I wait until one of you guys kill a fourth Ultra Beast before going after Cartana, so that you um, have that option on the opener? I feel like. One of us should probably go scout. Oh, but if we die, we are eliminated. Yeah. But we still have one Arceus token. But we kind of want to use that to stall a turn. I'm not super 100% on I that. I feel like we'll probably need at least one revive. Yeah, it's fair. I, I say we take out at least two or three, like, after Necrozma... After uh, Guzzlord, we take out at least two or three. I, I want to have at least, like, five or six shields on the Ultra Beasts. Okay. Well, because cause my my current next turn is going to be going to Lake Acuity. Uh, what about going to murder... Uh, Nihiligo? Nihiligo. Or Cartana. Nihiligo. Nihiligo has a type advantage against most of my team. It's water poison? It's Gentlemen. rock rock poison. Rock poison. Gentlemen. Yeah, no. Sorry, yeah, go ahead. Here we go. Oh, Garchomp is you. out. Bulldoze. Ooh, double Three damage. damage. Uh three damage, yes. Yeah, I apologize for that, Jacob. Yeah, we went off on a bit of a tangent. Just don't get angry at me next time I do it. Oh, by the way, uh... No, you, you have every right to get angry at me for doing it. I, like I said, I apologize. I'll be right back. Uh, the, the, the next attack, uh, this attack right here is uh, increased by two. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, plus the two from Dragon as well. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the danger. So four, five, six, seven damage. Yep. Um, uh, how much, how much damage does he take to do poison right now? Just one. One. Alright, Jacob, Dragon Rush, dead ass. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Four. Yep, five damage, plus I get an extra turn because of Dragon Rush's effect. Combined with Bulldoze's effect. So Two status on the field. Well, no, there, there were already two status on the field. One, two, a status, and then one, oh. two, three, four, five. So it takes four Let's... damage. Yep. Another roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for seven. So yep. four, five, six, seven. So eight, Wait. 19, 20, 20. It is two I'm... health. You're kidding me. It is. Oh my god. It is two health left. You're up, dude. Well, you literally can't lose. Uh, Alpha Strike is power two because it used it last turn. Yep. Yeah. So it's only gonna be four damage on me. Yeah. Which does knock Garchomp out, though, so. Yeah, it's still gonna knock Garchomp out, unfortunately. That's and okay, though. No, he did his job. It has one health after poison. Yeah, you literally can't lose at this point. Yeah. Conversion to one, two, three. It's dead. Yep, it's out. Good Nicely battle. done. Good battle. Thank you. Thank you. And does you right. have anything you want to... Oh my god, go for with Chomp. Yeah? Replacing Alpha Strike for Chomp? That's fine. And and don't forget, Shellgun can also learn Chomp. Do you want Shellgun to have Chomp instead? I think so. Okay. Because he is going to evolve here pretty soon. That is six, right? Four, five, six, yes. Okay. And... 
I need to double check something. I, I just immediately went to Dark Void because I was just like, oh, Dark Void, and then Chomp Spam. Um. But no, like the the Dark Void will start just stacking but, damage with fatigue. Yeah, and that's the thought on uh, Darkrai. I'm tempted to do an Infuse too, but I still want my freaking Evil Eviolite. I'm like torn right now. The Just other, wait for the other thing you could consider getting uh, would be because the the Swiftness Sash could be good on Darkrai, or you could look at getting a Star Shield. Oops. By the way, Guzzlord is vanquished. And starting to uh, heal it. Which, again, okay, I got, I caught on to the swiftness for Darkrai, but what was the other one you were suggesting? Star Shield. Star Shield. During battle, heal one damage at the end of your turn, and mm -hmm. once per battle, you can reflect a status effect back to the attacker only need a blue and a black if I were to do that, and that would go on to Porygon or Shellgon, right? I was suggesting it for Darkrai, just to keep him alive longer for more Dark Void spam against the Ultra yeah. Beasts. Until either, you can get him Calm Mind, at least. Either or yeah. is going to come close to, okay? Yeah, it's just... It's matter, like of fact, matter of fact, I even get one, pink, one extra pink a blue... If I get a pink, a blue, a white, and a black, I can make both items. Yeah. Either Don't way... Two blacks for two items? Yeah, two blacks. But, um... I think I can actually pull it off here in a little bit, because, uh... Okay. I can still get yeah. to the Apricorn Reef, and then the black... I would just need a blue. And now I would be right. able to get that, and with, I can get all that within well, three turns. Let's go for let's it. Let's see if it's still there after we press the button. True. That was the third Ultra Beast. You moved the token. All right. Yeah, I already did. And move Ultra Beasts. Only 3% that time. Uh, wow. Wow. Uh, no, that's alpha. Six, that's 6%. Six what? what? It just kept going. Oh, Alpha. Ignore the item right in front of you. Teleport through the gate. It takes zero movement to teleport, if I recall correctly. And then just start vacuuming up items and apricorn trees. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll grab that item on my way to the Acuity Cavern. Yeah. I think that's that's a better move. And then, then of course, it'll be Shrine Village. Oh, shit! We got, uh, ooh, no. Okay, Nimble Frame, reduce base health by two. User may now switch out after I... it attacks, initiative unchecked. Yeah, I got that. Silent? As well. Silent? Mm-hmm. Nimble Frame? On Darkrai. Not <sighs> terrible, yeah. I mean, he is fast as fuck. I Dark Void, pop him out. And he is a drowsy motherfucker fighting against a strong motherfucker, like, <laughs> Here, hi there. Here's what I did. I got Nimble Frame as well. Uh-huh. I put it on Electros so he can Ion Deluge, immediately switch out, and then I get to go again with my new Pokemon because of uh, the Paralysis. But I can't yeah. replace... A, can you replace ability with ability? No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm saying that's what I did on my Electros. You could also, however... Um, within reason, it would still be within reason to uh, replace Coil with, with it because Coil he's going to go first. Purpose. Yeah. No, I, I, to... I, I would say you're better off putting it on Mesprit or Darkrai. 100%. Hmm. Because getting Ion Deluge and then building that fatigue for the extra damage right now is very good. Yeah, if you, if you outspeed them, then yes. Yeah, that, that's what Rapid Strike Stalin does. It's just yeah, he's always faster, and since both of his attacks are two power, two power, he doesn't really suffer the penalty. Actually, All right. Swiftness Sash would actually be very good on him because then you both go to three power. Maybe 
All right, I'll go ahead and put it on this brick. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, Alpha's taking his turn. He's getting some green apricorns, which he needed. Desp desperately need. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, also... if Alpha, the other thing is, if you can land on the same space as one of us, like, yeah. we can give you, like, berries and pokeballs and stuff. Yeah, but he's in he's in the ultra uh, ultra space right now, collecting items that keep getting teleported there. Uh, yeah, and the warped apricorn trees will give him opportunity to build up his team. Yeah, uh, because uh, we're gonna need all the help we can get fighting Darkrai. I I kind of figure. Well, uh, Darkrai is our lord and savior. Necrozma, Necrozma, yeah. yeah. Sorry, they're both. Legendaries that are colored black, and my Ooh, brain is man. tired. You, you, can't give me my favorite, you can't give me my favorite freaking ghost type and expect me not to go after it. That's no I. Dude, that's like my favorite. What, ball, what's up, what Pokeballs do you have? Uh, I yeah. have Trigger Balls. So, okay. you would need to I roll five or higher on four dice. Jacob has... I still have my temporal power. Do it. I got you covered, bro. I bet. Yeah. And then... I'll go for it. Okay. If you can get this without needing the temporal power, that would be great because that would also yeah. make it better for Uxie. Oh yeah. What, what, what what's uh what's his speed? Uh, his uh, uh, seven. Seven is okay. his initiative. By the way, Alpha Ghost Bros for life. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, right, I would please. say probably send yeah Weavile. Yep. All right. Uh, roll, I mean, roll these some dice, four of them, to be precise. A critical would be real nice. Okay. Oh. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead. No, okay. no. Here's. Let, let me say, he's got one more greater bulk. Mm -hmm. This is another situation where you're wanting to fish for a crit. Yeah. And that's a one in six chance. If he can get a crit, and still needs the reroll, then then that would be better to do it. And also, if you do it next turn. It's you could reroll just as many dice as this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I should be good. Yep. Okay. Ice de Pancha. Minus two. Ooh. Oh boy. <gasps> wow, five damage. Yeah, five da holy crap, Jesus. what the crap does noir? Wrong one. Five five oh, damage. God Taylor. I'm down. I can't wait, stop rolling crit. Wait, 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 wait. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. They're good, they're good. Yeah, reckless assault won't apply here because it's not type no. advantage against you. Alright. Oh, no, that's awesome. I'm rolling another greater ball. Yep. Good luck! Okay, now the reroll right. is. Reroll those, si those two symbols, yeah. Yep. No! Ah! Uh... Did he roll the other symbol? Yeah. Yeah. But, technically, yes, but it bounced off the other one, so. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, wait. It says up to four. Can it, that reroll still happen after this one? Because he only rolled two of the four. Uh, that's not entirely clear. Yeah. Let me look. Uh, reroll up to X dice. Uh, I. Hmm. I don't know. It just says, it just says, it I know I'm reaching. It, it, <laughs> it does mention in the rules that you can reroll dice again. So I don't see why not. Yeah, I'm going to say yes while I post it in the help section. Yeah. Provisional yes for this game or until told otherwise. So you got two more chances to get anything other than a status. Oh, come on, <laughs> Alpha. One more, one more. Just, just, you need one more that gets it. Okay, there you go. That's a one. Two, one, one, and then the one, because you rerolled that one. Yeah. So that's a catch. All right. Barely, with four dice rerolls. I was not going to let you leave without your ghost, bro, bro. <laughs> My ghost, ghosty boy. <laughs> uh, you, you just barely pull that off with four dice reroll. That's, uh, that's a thing. But you know, no Alpha, I, I understand you with the go with that uh, Dusk Noir. Boy, ghost types are my favorite. Gengar is my top. And it's funny because I'm not even like a go like I don't really like ghost type. I just love Dusk Noir. Mm -hmm. Like I, 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 there's just something about him that I've used. All I've right, used that does like get you three journey points as well. How many? Three. three. 
Three, yeah. uh, and whatever apricorns are shown on that weird tree. Dude, uh, you have enough to either evolve Kadabra or Printplop. It's a red and two pinks. A red and two pinks? That's perfect. Because I'm actually about to get more journey points anyway. Now the question uh, is, are you going to make a infused... Yes. yes, yes. Do you? Yep. Nice. Yep. Both if I can get enough... If I can get enough... Oh! Energy, you know, another thing I just realized we haven't been doing. <laughs> we get to remove one of the ultra things for each ultra beast we kill. What do you mean one of the ultra things? Oh, uh, yeah. So I get to remove two. No, it's when one dies, everyone gets removed. Oh. One. We can all remove no. two. No, when one dies, the person who killed it removes two. Everyone else can remove one. Of what? The, the okay, ultra so three? one, two, three... Yeah, everybody gets three. Uh, Taylor gets two more, and I get one. Wait. Well, at, no. the, at the at the end, all of us would have our most recent card still. Yeah. I but uh, I can gravitational drag on Porygon. <laughs> I'm actually, yeah. I'm just gonna get rid of gravitational drag on Stunky and keep it on Luxio. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the gravitational drag on Shellgon. How many? How many cards can I get rid of? Three. Okay, well I'm keep. You're the only one that didn't kill anyone, so you get the base three. Everyone else gets up to four. But I actually kind of need reckless assault and rapid it, strike. I, gravitational drag isn't a bad combo. I will say it, it is a you may remove, so you don't need to if you don't want to. Yeah. I'm going to because these. Where do aren't... we put these? Right there. Ah, cool. We just shove a bunch of cards in there. Look at that. Look, Necrozma Light Dragon thing. All right. Anyway, yeah. um, I am going to one, two, three, four. I'm going to freaking evolve Kadabra. Are you keeping the Reckless Assault? Yes. Oh, okay. The only reason why is because you said something about it being my, uh, my. Yeah, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna keep Kinesis. Um. Keep my recent one, so I'm gonna keep it regardless. Oh, is mm. that is that the last one you just got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then yeah, you would have what to. What about keep this it. one here? What that one? No, no, no. Wait, which one? Uh, I don't know about that one. Uh, that was just there. There we go. All right. All right. Dude, you you you're getting your team, bro. <laughs> I just need one. All right. I just need one more. Fucking Alakazam teleport. Damn right. Yep. Yeah, that's why I could teleport. That's why I asked. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get an ultimate ball. I'm going to change the music. Pokemon State. Pokemon Coliseum. Oh, shit. It's been a, <laughs> it's been a minute. Oh, my Let's God. Dude, it. It's been a minute since I've heard this. Oh, yeah. We're over 40%, man. We're in, like, we need to get our fucking We're asses. in crunch time. Yeah, it's time to get our asses in mm -hmm. fucking gear and do this shit. Given how little other option I currently really have. I kind of feel like I need to evolve Lampant. And I can make an Infused Stew. Do it. Okay, I can make two Infused Stews, actually. Um, three dice. I'll make another one if I need it. Okay, I, I will make another one. It's one plus two. Three. Okay, I get three whole. Wow. Take on the stick, dude. Fire's remorse. Uh, and uh, just just because um, I'm hoping I can catch it with this ultimate ball. Uh, because why not? At this point, actually, I'm going to get three more Pokeballs. Test something real quick. Oh, also remember our stamp rewards. What's the stamp rewards? Okay, if you've had three or more Pokemon on your team knocked out, you get a stamp. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember at all, so... Roll a break, move nine... Yeah, I don't think any of us have gotten any stamps, except... Uh, Jacob has caught a legendary. Yeah. Alright, so I'll get... Means, yeah, you get a red, a blue, and a yellow. A blue, yellow. And I'm about to get that same um... one. 
Uh, I will move up and to the left to get a black apricorn. And I will immediately spend it to make another Ultra Ball. Yeah. Uh, well, that was fortuitous. And what are you doing? I will go one, two, three, heal for Lake Acuity Challenge Buxy. All right. Nine Tails heals, Luxio heals. Yep. And... All right. Upgraded, but not mind-controlled, Uxie. Yep. And it's battle time. All right, I am, of course, going to lead with the Pokemon that will unlock the capability to even do anything to it, which is Luxio. Luxio automatically goes first. Uh, he's going to hit with Bite, which does nothing, but then it super effective attack, so Uxie is unlocked. Okay, uh... Chilling Acuity? And, yep. Okay, four damage to Luxio and a status. Uh, we will uh, apply Freeze to Luxio. Luxio. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Honestly expecting him to be dead at this point. How much initiative does Uxie have? Uh, eight. Okay, I have a plan. Uh, first, I'm going to throw a Great Ball at it, because uh, I don't really want to kill it. Yep. And uh, also, who knows? Um, what is Uxie's uh, thing, though? Knowledge. Six up. Yeah. I, I had to hit it with a super effective move, which Luxio got to do, because Bite. And he immediately went first. Uh, so, four. Nah, I don't get it. No big okay. deal. I wasn't expecting it to. I'm just stalling. All right. Uh, chilling acuity. Yep. This is the downside of the stalling part. Why did you roll six? Because freeze. Increase attack strength of moves against you by two. Oh, so it should be seven. by two. Yeah, it should be seven. Shit. I didn't mean to do that one. Now, you rolled a critical on that one, and you rolled two status, so two get frozen and no, uh, Luxio dies. No, this was a status. Yeah, you rolled a status and a status, and you rolled that, it was a two, and then you re-rolled it. I was just mashing the roll button trying to roll this one. But, either, yeah. way, either way, Luxio that's, is dead. That's fine, yeah. Um, yeah, two we're freezes. going to put the freeze onto Houndoom and onto Ninetales. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to send in Lampant next. Yep. Ties for initiative uh, and fire. Will O Wisp. <laughs> Three damage and you're burned. Right. Which is great because that means a lot less possibility of not getting it with the Ultra Ball. And Chilling Acuity? Yep. Everything's going to end up frozen anyway, looks like. Uh, you don't get seven. I'm not frozen. Oh, you're not frozen. That's right. Sorry. Oh, God. Uh, Three status and four damage minus two. So two damage and... One, two, three more things. Yeah, my whole team's frozen. Your whole team is Good frozen, job. yeah. It's chilly. Uh, ball time? Because status? Yep. Uh, that's, uh, best options I'm going to get, honestly, at this point. All right. Desperate attempt at using an ultra ball. Number one, four dice. Five dice for an Wait, ultra. Five dice. Right. I have to get a six up. Yep. I need literally a crit. Got oh, it. You got, got it. it. Got you it. fucking nice. got it. <laughs> Very nice. Then we get the knowledge shard, correct? Yep, now everybody gets a knowledge shard, too. Yeah. But Uxie is still burned and has four damage on it, and all of my other Pokemon are frozen, except the one who's dead. And was previously frozen. Yes. Which means I get an ultimate ball here. So we have and six. And then I get we have five the movement. shard of knowledge. 
That's a big buff, having having Uxie and the Shard of Knowledge. Yeah, that actually helps me for game. One, my two, three, four, five. It's, uh, and, you, no, it's, and you get a red, blue, four. yellow. Yep, red, blue, yellow. That was the order I clicked them in. But whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna... Well, the decal's working as long as no one deletes it. I'll grab uh, one for Blaine real quick. Oh, yeah, the decal is here this time. Where is it? Yeah, on the left side, near the bottom of the row, is decal. Yeah. <laughs> click on that, and then click on the thing to, to stamp it on your card, yeah. Alright, so it's my turn? I have no idea what... Uh, on the on the left hand menu and tabletop sim, like the bar. Oh, the okay. red stamp. Yeah. And the other ones. Yeah, I never got to three or more Pokemon knocked out. So, uh, yeah, that's you that's it. That. Uh, well, first I'm gonna evolve Lampen. <laughs> that's the better option. Hmm. <clears throat> Unless I want to go after you. Inferno. I think that's going to replace Will-O-Wisp. And then keep Hex. That's probably the, the way I'll go with that. But yeah, it's your turn now. Silent. Okay. I'm going to go yeah. one, two to Eterna. I'm going to heal. Lie to Sunny Shore. For three, four, five. I'm gonna go to the shrine. I'm gonna sack a green for a shrine event. Shrine blessing. Uh, I can upgrade any Pokeball to an ultimate ball. Um, I would say Keystone. Well, up to a up to an ultimate ball. You're right. The the, the thing. And Honestly, Alpha, yeah. Alpha is going to get that as well. I was going to say, yeah, give it to Alpha so he can get a sixth team member. Or at least a better chance at doing so. And No, uh, Alpha, you get an Ultra Ball, not a Greater Ball. Yeah, Ultra. Oh. And sure, I mean, that's not what I was going for or hoping for, but that's still fine. So I don't even have a sixth team member. I just have a decent team overall. Yeah. Um, that's going to be my turn. All right. So I'm up. One, two to heal. So everybody is back up and rolling. We need to burn that. Three to the shrine. I'm going to pop a red. Because i got to hold on to all the others. Regigigas. Great. He can pop on the field, but I'm not fighting him. Colossus Shrine is... Right up here. Yep. Okay. Snow, <laughs> point, Snow Point Temple. Hmm. Bless uh -huh. you. Excuse me. Thank you. And I'm going to stop at this tree and take on whoever's there. Oh, Dragonair. Dragonair. With the Surf. Uh... I highly doubt any of my team can learn Surf. They cannot. They can't. Uh, and Barbarage, unfortunately, I want to keep the coil. So, here. Actually, yeah, Barbarage yeah. would be very good on Electros. Because uh, the Pokemon would be poisoned already from Ion Deluge, and it would be a strength 5. Three. Point. Rapid Strike would turn it into a three. Yeah, that's oh, the problem. Oh shit! Well, you can. Do you? Are you planning to keep Rapid Strike? Kept it on there when we had that reason. When we had the reset, yes. Okay, then yeah. Red no. instant priority on Ion Deluge is too good. Yeah. All right. So just pick one to kill. Ah, oh, poor Dragonair. 
She is beauty. She is grace. She'll She's evolve to have fucking a dead. Face. Wrecked. That's instant wrecked. Yeah, it's yep. instantly fucking dead. Plus, there's an additional surf now in the uh, discard if you get the uh, event silent, yeah. which will allow you to get another surf on your team. No one can learn surf on my team. And I would love to have Psy Shield Bash on Uxy, so if one of us two gets it, that would be the that, optimal. That's what okay. I was fishing for and before. And that was a blue. So that is four points. One more battle, and I'll have my final evolution done. I think we burn the last Arceus Blessing. I think we do. I agree with that. Yeah. That last bump was 6%, and that was fucking bust. All right. Okay, Alpha. Here Five we movement. Here we Run around and grab crap. Yep, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to flip that. Two pink. Perfect. Yeah, just, just pull them all to the side and then get them together at once. Two pink. You already um, took them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I should have three. Uh, go Two, here, here, three. Here, and here only five. so that way I can catch another Pokemon. Yep, yep. that works. And then, then you're closer to the other stuff. Yeah. Two whites in the Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, Zora. Zora. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that foul play is. I'm, oh, I'm gonna have to go with Zora. Oh, yeah. You yeah. well. No, no. All else no. aside, that's going to be amazing oh, against no. Cosma. Guys, I forgot to re-roll my power when I was at the shrine. I re-rolled it. It okay. broke. Uh, well, you get another stamp. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, if you see a move you like, and I believe the week. I believe. It, I, no, it? hold up. Let me double check. It's it is weak. green. Yeah, it's weak. It's except it cool. wouldn't be Willowist because he would have rolled before that got there. So I'm actually gonna throw out. I don't know why. Yeah, I uh, no, that. Alpha. You no, really want to catch no, 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 Zorua? No, no, no. Um, no. The, the, there's a reason I'm doing that because it's not effective. Jacob, you search the deck, not the discard. And I'm not leaving anything to chance, by the way. I mean, you got the ball, you might as well use it. Yeah. It's still left up to chance. It could have rolled very, very low, but it was very unlikely. So yeah, you caught it. Very nice. So my suggestion is, since Necrozma probably has a very powerful psychic move, mm -hmm. uh, evolve Zorua and use Gentlemen. it against Necrozma. <laughs> Gentlemen. Yeah, so, so hold on. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I think there's What's two... up, Jacob? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Teleport on Darkrai. Okay. <laughs> Would that work? Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think I think we said we were playing with what the rules were going to be in the upcoming one. That still is a very good move. It's, it's still very not, good. It's just not as, uh, it's not as stupidly broken. It's yeah. not broken anymore. Yeah, it's not like immediately like oh, and I'm immediately 13 initiative one, like anything else. It just immediately is the opponent's turn. Yeah. Now now that you've got a full team done, you can start uh, fishing for moves to teach your Pokemon. Yep, I just I just had to do that. Oh, one. There you go. I got a freaking Zorark. All right. Oh, nice. Next attack, status symbols, and minus one. Okay. By the yeah. way, dude, your team is looking like it's ready to smack the cross, but down. You, you know what's funny? I'm going to tell you all something, and you guys probably won't believe me, but I've actually used this exact team before. <laughs> You're fucking with me! No! <laughs> and Polyon instead of a Primplop. Uh, kinda. So I caught Primplop, so I was doing a randomizer. I, cur I caught a Piplop, like, way no. later on in the game. And, like, because I went, I had gone back, and I forgot that I hadn't gotten my Lake Encounter on, di uh, freaking, not Diamond, uh, what was it? Uh, Black... I'm trying to think. Anyway, anyway, it was on one of the later games, and I, I ended up getting this, like, legit exact team. Like what, platinum? Oh um, no, I think it was higher than that. Cause I don't even think so. Uh, Zora, okay. I don't even think they were in platinum, were they? I don't think so. So I'm gonna was, move yeah. up to the shrine, uh -huh. try and fish for a shrine thing, uh, and spend seven points. See if I actually have this. Okay. And that's uh, crap. What were we going for? Oh yeah, learning moves. 
Uh, which which one is Psy Shield Bash in? Moderate. Moderate? Okay, then I have to sacrifice the white. my white. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Draw three, pick two. I'm not fighting Regigigas. He can just have that place, and I'll sneak in and touch the shrine and leave. Oh, uh, okay. Game upgrade. None of none of them were what we wanted. I'm going to fully restore my party and move up to four additional tiles this turn. That's great. Somebody else also gets to restore their entire party. Although I don't think the movement works. I don't think the movement does either. So who has damage on their party currently? The only other person is Alpha. Okay, Alpha, your entire team is healed. I got you. Yeah, sorry, I was looking something up. Um, There's so that it was, one. It was black and white. And I would say... Shuffle the moderate deck. See if you get something you want in place of... Luxio? Yeah, he's a lot less useful now. Or shuffle and see if you get something you want in place of Stunky. One of the two. Also, Luxio's okay. not... Unconscious. I'm thinking moderate. Okay. I'll tell you when to okay. stop. Stop. And we have a Steelio, oh, which okay. that's, I can add to my party. Uh, that's some good type diversity. Yeah, that's that's honestly good for me uh, instead of Luxio. Yeah. Because Luxio doesn't do much for me, and that gets rid of two of those. It so. does not get rid of those. It it keeps those. Okay, well, that's, that's different then. Let me... Okay, so it would be plus four HP, but always go first. Uh, and minus four initiative, Actually, but always go first. Wait. Oh, I can't remove it. Why? Yeah, because if they're the, if they have any of those attached, the Pokemon that's attached to them can't be removed or replaced you, by normal means. It says by, means it says by no, it says by normal means. Oh, yeah, oh, this yeah, isn't yeah. a normal means. So, so yeah. yeah, no, I think you could actually replace it and get rid of those. Yes, I think that's my move here for... Yeah. Get rid of these, get a Celio, get rid of Lux okay. Luxio. Okay, does anyone else want to look up in the weak or moderate deck for a Pokemon? Nah, bro, I'm happy with my team. I kind of figured. I'm, I'm <laughs> happy with my team. I just need journey points. To well, I mean, you could just take it. It's it's not replacing a Pokemon on your team. It's just adding it to your team. You could just get a free Pokemon in that last slot. Oh yeah, I will I will do that then. Uh, just tell me when to stop. Stop. Kill in with a Kill in. Uh. Is <laughs> Legion in this game? No. No, no. no, none of the evolutions are in here. Okay. Uh, it's better than literally nothing. Probably. Are we I sure mean, about that? It's fast. Flip, it's fl and it's flip turn, which means it can swap out quick. Yeah. Look, Island, at the very least, <laughs> it's a body I can chuck in front of something to die. I was gonna say, also, you can put distortion cards on it if you don't want them. Yeah. He's got a point. Okay. Uh, it's, it's just distortion breach breach card buffer. It's my so turn. But next. Uh, Wait. no, that was just the first movement of my turn. Second, oh, I fuck. go to the. Second, I go to the village. Third, fly to... Well, I'm going to use the animation because I want to. Fly oh. to Celestic Village. Are you going after Kartana? Yes, but I won't be able to... Fourth, fifth. I'm going to get that Apricorn tree after I do that. And oh, then no, one of... No, don't, don't get the Apricorn. You got the extra movement. Oh, yeah. I'm going to still get the Black Apricorn. You still get Kick the Black Apricorn. Kick Kartana's ass. Yeah, fucking murder Kartana, please. Alrighty. Search. Hold on, let me just, uh... Black, and then, uh... Search. Battle. Wow, it's... initiative do you have? Fucking tiny, 12. Oh yeah, Cartana is literally a piece of paper. It's, it's origami. Um, overcut. If the target faints, any remaining damage from this attack is applied to the next Pokemon switched in. Yep. 
fucking hell. Yeah, burn this thing and get rid of it quick, please. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, that thing's a team wiper. Yeah, it's very good that I uh, specifically what what move types can it use for Alpha Strike? Grass, steel, fighting, and flying. Oh, good. I'm gonna lead with uh, Nine Tails. Yeah. <laughs> um. It's going to get first turn, but it's yeah. Yeah. Uh, power for. Fighting Alpha Strike. Yep. I want to zoom in on this thing to see what its animation is. This thing is so small. Whee! Look at it go! It's a critical, regular status critical, so that's five damage. Yeah. It's a hefty attack, but it's still, uh... Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Actually, hmm... Is a thought, even with minus two damage. Minus one. No, minus one damage against it. Minus two against me if it uses overcut. Oh, yeah. Uh, statistically, it doesn't kill me, so I'm going to take the risk on Fire Blast. Yeah. Especially if it gets a burn, it's... Okay, so now this is plus six damage. Okay, it's burned, and it takes ten damage. Nine tails. <laughs> you smell what the nine tails is cooking? It's Cortana. It's, it's Cortana, yeah. No, it was it was burned to begin with. Okay, so now it well actually it takes nine damage instead of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, nine. Minus yeah, you're right. one. Minus one. Because the shield. Yeah, minus four damage. Yeah, it's gonna overcut. Four, five, so this, so two damage. So two damage. Uh, I have one hit point left. I still think it was probably more damage than uh, Power Two Alpha Strike would do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, murder this fucker. Uh yeah. Uh, die. Holy crap! One, two, three, four. 5, 11, so 10 damage. Yeah, it's dead. Huzzah! Thank you, Ninetales, for being so good at your job, which is killing things with fire. Uh, now you can teach a Pokemon Overcut! Yes, and that's probably going to go in place of Energy Ball. Energy Ball, yeah. There's nothing else on my team can learn grass type moves, and it's better than Energy Ball. Now imagine Chandelure just putting out one of the flames in its, uh, in its uh, thing... To uh, just swipe at it, swipe at a Pokemon with it. Right. And. Uh... Yep. And I get uh, six more journey points, which <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to use to evolve Celio. Actually, no, I'm going to evolve Stunky. Because uh, Celio's new. Uh, but Stunky is Dark type, which is going to be overall better for uh, Necrozma, which we're rapidly approaching that point. Uh, you flipped the wrong one. Oh no, you—that's your Ember. I forgot you put that on there. Yep. Just why not? All right, my turn. Uh, that will make it your turn. Yes, and Cartana goes goodbye bye. I made it go goodbye bye already. All right, and we already did the movement. Okay, yeah, so we're yeah. for prism armor. Yeah, we want to yeah, get yeah. at least, I think, one, two, three, four. I think we should get at least two more before we fight Necrozma. But importantly, it every time we fight Necrozma, if we win, it skips the next Ultra Beast turn. Yes, so I'm going to flip. There's a uh, Ginkjo Merchant just sitting in the middle of the ocean. Uh, I'm not going to use him. May I interest you in our wares? Blah, 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 blah. Two, and... Ah! Wait. Wait. Oh, fuck yes! I just have to get to the Black Capricorn tree! Alright, well... Jacob. Yeah! 
You're in control of an angry uh, tower defense. Oh god. Why is this a Pokemon, by the way? <laughs> I don't because know. Because Mega Block! <laughs> All the old are supposed wall. to be like weird extra dimensional things. Until the user what? switches out, when the user is attacked, positive type effectiveness damage is reduced to zero. Oh, that's that's very bad because fighting type would have been amazing against it, but now it won't be. All right. But you didn't have any, so whatever. Well, it's okay. You uh, speed, so you're up. <laughs> It's okay. Iron Deluge. Poisonize it. Yep, it two gets two minus two to zero. Zero damage, and it's poisoned, and it's paralyzed. I'm going to activate Nimble Frame. Yep. Which skips Stack Attack his turn. And Octazuka? we are going to Octazuka at. Blah blah blah. Oh, this is before it turns off super effective hits. Oh, that's One, two, not great. Three, four, five, six more damage. Minus two, so four. Four, yeah. Not a great attack, but that's okay. But then you get to go again. Because uh, it was paralyzed, so it's. That was the paralysis turn. Yeah. But uh, initiative isn't rechecked. So, what happened was, you used your turn, switched out, it went... Oh, you're right, you're right, it's its turn now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, brain brain does weird things sometimes. No. The flawless wall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Two damage. Four, four damage. Four damage, yep. Uh, that's and now, the super fine. effectives are no longer super effective. Alright, Octazuka... Actually, wait, that last Octazuka had a crit, so it did an extra damage. Oh, yeah, you're right. Add it to the, I'll add it to this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, so five damage. So, six damage to add on there. Wait, six? No. How? Because, one, the, two, uh, three, because four, of the missed, five. because of the missed uh, critical from earlier. No, that's counting the missed critical from earlier. Oh, okay, so five damage. Five damage in total. Nine out of 22 so far. Yeah, it's it's a bulky boy. Yep. Yeah. Um, Alpha Strike Rock. Yeah. Six damage. Six. Uh, that's, that is a KO. That's a KO, yeah. Alright. Um, and I mean, you could... If you wanted to outspeed it with something that wouldn't normally, you could send an Electros to uh, Nimble Frame out for it. You'll you'll take a hit on something though. Um, Pikachu. Okay. Uh, Iron Tail. One, two, three, four, so two damage. Flawless Wall. Yeah. Two, four, five, seven damage. Dead Pikachu. Fuck, well, it... Flawless Wall is way... God damn it, that, that might win it for it, legitimately. Yeah, it's it makes it super, super tanky. Uh, just high power anything that can take tank attacks from it. Uh, flip turn. You know what? I honestly think you probably should have done. That's one damage. Twelve out of twenty-two. Ten to go. Yeah, um, we're halfway there. Yeah. No, not that song. Anything but that song. Whoa. Oh. No. Lemon on a pear. Dude, that is like the one song in Clone Hero that I cannot 100% because I miss the same note every freaking time. Yeah. You completely missed what Taylor said, didn't you? Yeah. Yes. Jacob. I said, I did not say living on a prayer. I said lemon on a pear. Lemon on a pear. 
Actually, it tastes really good if you've not heard of it. Uh, Rock Alpha Strike. Yeah. Rock Alpha. Four damage. You Rock survive Alpha. it. I do survive it. Uh, flip turn. You just gotta chip damage it with your entire team. One, two, three for one damage. That's... Yep. I The loss of super effective I is go. really... It gets... I, I just, I can't see the numbers, so... All right. 13. Nine damage to go. Yeah, for crying out loud. All right. OCD hit sucks. All right. Uh... Wallace Wall. Yeah. Don't forget yeah. Beast Boost. That's a KO. That's a... Uh... Medic. At uh, least this isn't Necrozma at this point. If if Togetic, honestly, if stack attack is too much of a problem, you can just avoid it. We can um, go hit something that's not as tanky. Actually, he might still have it. He might. Okay. Uh, tell me when to stop. Oh. Stop. Right. Wild charge. Okay. A typeless wild charge. It's not typeless. It's electric. Oh yeah, you got rid of the thing. Uh, wild charge at power four. Three, two four. Damage. That's two damage. I'll go put wild charge back in the metronome deck. <laughs> Seven left to go. All right. Yep. Don't forget beast boost. Yeah, it's plus two damage. Rock the strike. Eight it's damage. Eight. That's that's a knockout. That's KO. Yeah, exactly enough. You gotta risk it on mind blown. Electros. Okay. Uh. Uh, Ion. No. I'm not sure what you were hoping to accomplish with that. Like one chip damage. If you'd gotten a critical, maybe. Yeah, I, that's what I was hoping for with it. Okay. It's I, I'd rather try for the one chip damage rather than send out the thing I'm trying to kill it with. One. Two, three, five damage. Why? Uh, yeah, boost five. Uh, I have one health left. Ion. Itch. Um. I don't see any reason to switch out. Tyranitar yeah. already wins initiative. Yeah. Well, it was just if I wanted to prevent Tyranitar from getting hit with a beast boost, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. That's KO. KO. Well, I get a... You get a stamp. I get a stamp for having a lot of things be the dead. You get some berries. Or apricorns. Get out! And fuck, uh, I ran into Yeah, just the loss is super effective. Is so fucking brutal. Six versus ten. You've still got initiative. Yeah, mind blown is probably your best move. Yeah. Mind blown. All right. Tyranitar goes in for a fiery headbutt. Oh! One, two, three, One. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So seven. That kills. Oh my god! Let's go. Tyranitar also takes three damage. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of figured you didn't. <laughs> He's like, man, you think I care about a brutal battle like that? Who can learn Flawless Wall? 
Uh, if anything, on honestly, uh, Tyranitar. Tyranitar can. That you know what it doesn't might honestly need. Be better than bite, yeah. It doesn't need a bite. <laughs> I think the music's glitched. Oh well. There well go. Yeah, you're, you're gonna need some heals. Uh, but it is now Jacob's turn. Okay! More, I, I think... Okay, I'm gonna oh move the prism armor over. God. One, We've two, killed five of them. Three! I think it's time to hit Necrozma round one. Uh, yeah. We might... Getting rid of one would... would One more would be best, but... Also, I'm getting rid of Nimble Frame on... Uh... Electros. Oh, yeah, we can do things. And if oh, yeah, any do. of you want to remove a single... Uh, distortion, you can. I'm good with what I've got. I kind of really want... Reckless Assault on Ninetales. <laughs> It Need serves me very points. well. What's that? Who needs journey points? I do. Uh, I yeah. Actually, oh, hold up. Me. I got. I got six before. Yep. And I would have done I... this before you took your turn. That's fine. Um, because if I knew you were gonna get journey points, I'd have probably saved it for Toka Tick, but I wouldn't have known that, so I would have evolved Pikachu. I need exactly two you. journey points for basically the rest of the game. I need eight more to get Toga Kiss, and I have no fucking clue what I'm gonna do with that piece of shit masculine. Besides, exchange it for something else when I catch something new. <laughs> or use one of the exchange shrine cards. If you're in a pretty good yet. position to get journey points if you keep taking uh, taking out Pokemon where you're at, Alpha. Um... Taylor is in a position to actually use those points immediately, so... Taylor, get three journey. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. on my next turn, Celio is immediately getting upgraded to a Walrine. Walrine. Walrine? Walrine. Walrine. I will move over one. Like <laughs> oh, I also get a red, a blue, and a yellow for having my team brutally massacred. Yep, that Jonathan? stack attack is a thing. Dude, that I I don't even know if we could have killed that thing when it got like minus three, minus four. Yeah, no, that's. I, I now have an outraging Salamence. Outrageous, like yeah! stack attack. Uh, just had so much fucking bulk on it. Yep. Ooh, here, Night Slash. Anybody can learn. I can replace a uh, headbutt with a uh, Night Slash. Or bite. I think either replacing, yeah, replacing bite is probably the move there. Yep. So. Yeah, 100%. Gonna what fight Hunch Crow. Toss out the electric Etros. All right, Alpha gets to make its first night slash. Actually, no. Rapid strikes. I always go first. Yeah. Oh yeah. Forgot so, about that. I uh, for four damage. And it's paralyzed and poisoned. Just so, roll the next attack and see if you roll at least a one. It's yeah, dead. Yeah, okay, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, got, I, I literally turned my camera around, just got there, and I was like, alright, cool. Yeah, no, it, it <laughs> was not a great Monstro matchup. Some of the late late game battles you're just like yeah i'm not even gonna bother unless they they manage to yeah. somehow live no we we legitimately had battles which is like do we want to fight this no okay like here, do, do, you, do you want to fight this garchomp mr Badu? oh you don't okay you think eruption will just kill you there you go and get the into the Dude, that Kibble has been underneath that freaking Garchomp for like the past like four hours. Since the game began, because Since remember, that Kibble yeah. was my first catch. Uh, okay, so and uh, the answer is, the answer is yes, for like the last four hours. So yeah, it was actually okay. like five hours. Come on, 
Hold on. Turn's not done yet. What to do? One, two, three, four. If I'm reading this right, two white and one black. Pass me an Ivio light, please. Ivio light, here you go. I'm exactly the wrong distance from all of the distortion On gates. the party gun? Yes, please. Murder. And one, two, three, four. One, two, and one for a star shield for Darkrai. Okay. Have you oh. light. Uh, also, I get a stamp for two items. When the user is attacked, remove two regular hits. Only works on weak, moderate Pokemon or Pokemon Shoot. that are not fully evolved. Nice. I also have one of each. I, I actually have two stamps because before oh. all this, I oh. actually had one of oh. each berry. Hold up. Yeah. Oh, Hold up. Hold up. You can't put the Eviolite on Porygon Chip. Yes, I can. No, you can't. It reaches one of the two prerequisites. It mm. says it only works on weak slash moderate Pokemon or Pokemon that are not fully evolved. Okay. Okay. Nope, you're right. You're right. There is an or. Mm-hmm. I, I research. I, I, was, I saw that and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> No, nope, it's all good. I did my research. I get to look through the blues real quick. Yeah. Maybe I should see if I can make an item. So I've got a single black apricorn. Spare on your tail. Show sneak. Okay. Uh. Not really that many to really choose from. I do want to replace Headbutt on Celements, because that is a risky move. So, Dragon, Flying... I need a Flying or a Fire move. Oh, I just trust Titar. I think I just have to trust in Titar. For a red? Yeah, I can hit a Shrine and then go to a red for my turn. <laughs> Ooh, the user's okay. next attack. The attacker takes five damage for critical hit is rolled. Okay, that might be a possibility for Shell Trap. What's okay. going on? I, I get to search through the blue deck for a uh, move. Ah. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to try to replace Headbutt. Yeah. Uh, Turtonator, Shell Trap, two power fire what? move when the user next yeah, attack. I don't know what the hell happened. Oh, it silent. Me and you. Get an extra stamp. We traded an item. Oh, yeah, we traded. Which means we each get a weak move. Yay. Uh, I've not had three faint, two items, a break, nine steps or more, or had all uh, of my uh, berries at the same time. I completed that when I finally got my green berries. <laughs> uh, I forgot. I honestly didn't even know what you guys were talking about decal wise. Until oh, I, I looked yeah. over and I was like, Alpha, oh, yeah. have you. You haven't caught a legendary. I have not, no, but I have. I um, have had all my berries. Have you one. had three or more Pokemon knocked out at the same uh, time? No. Uh, no. Okay. Just, just keep collecting items. We're going to be over there shortly to uh, help uh, at least. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Brain work. Very good. Uh, While well, I'm waiting for Silent to pick a move out of there so I can pick a move out of there. Uh, Jacob's ending his turn after this. Uh, we're going to hit the thing. Things are going to move. I feel like our best option is to have one person go directly to uh, Necrozma. Not necessarily Alpha, uh, although he does have Weavile, Zoroark, and Dust Noir. Well, that's a, let, me that's a... count, let me count my moves here. One, yeah, two... I, I, I am taking Bite three, via uh, Bagon for Electros. Okay. Right. 
Yeah, I can go directly to Necrozma next turn. Now that I got my two items. Do it. Do it. Alright. And I will uh, try and kill another Ultra Beast. Uh, if Feramosa moves down, I can manage that. One, two, three, four, five. No, I won't be able to do that this turn. Nor Buzzful. Where are you? Here. <sighs> Yeah, I'm at exactly the wrong... Feramosa might move up. Buzzful might move up as an ant. Yeah, if one well. of them moves up, I can go down. All a right. little damaged on Ninetales, but... So, mm. are we are we hitting... I'm a lot of damage on Ninetales. The Ultra Beast. Beast. We have no choice. We don't have any more. Well, no, I, I, I meant, like, are we ready to hit the button? Yeah, that was the end of my turn, making all those items again and everything. I have to... Uh, I have to find an, uh, a... Oh, yeah, find m find a move. Do you want me to hit the button while you're doing that, or wait? Just hit the button while I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. Ice Shard. Uh, Pheromosa is in range of you, so is Buzzwall. Cool. It'll be a bit more difficult, given that Ninetales is starting out injured, but... You're at 49%, um... so the next movement will give us another distortion. I think we'll I think we'll be good with it. God, I'm just I'm just looking at all of the spaces on the map, and probably more than fifty percent of them are now just fucking nuked. You get confusion. We were we I were like. Get... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just thinking out loud. Sorry, I could get confusion. Uh, I could get rock blast. I was gonna say like we started off thinking like oh this isn't gonna be bad, and. Now they're just fucking, like, half the board is gone. We're doing pretty damn good. Yeah, we just need to beat up Never. Nick Krasma. <laughs> so, Mimic. question. Ooh. I think I asked this earlier, so if, if I go over multiple items, I can flip them. Like, let's just say I, I go over, like, these two items right here. I yeah. can flip all of them, yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I could... So long as you've got movement, you can flip them. Oh, I, I got my perfect, perfect. I could put mimic on something. Well, you don't have to wait for Taylor. Go on ahead and start your movement, dude. Yeah, you only need this if you uh, encounter a green uh, uh, Pokemon. So don't hit, don't hit search until I've finished yeah. with this. Um, that's three, three. Um, uh, then I have to hold up on that. So what was that three green and three blue? Three blue and three yellow. Oh. I. I'm gonna take a okay. I'm I'm done now. I'm gonna take Swinub for Ancient Power on Celio. It I synergizes. I got you covered on those. Incredibly well with Body Slam. Nice. Harum, Blizzle, or Crobat. Ooh. Okay. Wait, actually, this can any of your can any of your Pokemon learn Poison moves? Yeah, actually, a couple. Of them. I think. Yeah, so no, Cross Poison. No, he's correct. You, none of your Pokemon can learn Poison moves. Oof, that's sad. Uh, anything could learn Solar Beam? Uh, no. It looks like this one's going to be a fight just for the uh, journey points, dude. Well, yeah. So pick something your L is definitely certain you can kill and then kill it. Yeah. Cherub sure, would work. I'm gonna say, Cherub Weavile would. Ice Punching into Crobat might not be bad. Yeah. But you already picked, so. It's fine. It can Ice Punch into Cherim, too. Yeah, and just destroy it. Isn't Cher Cher Cherim's a grass type, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <sighs> would honestly lead with Fire Monkey. That's actually fair, yeah. Smack it in the face with a large column of fire. After you punch it. Yeah, <laughs> mock, mock punch then uh, Raging Cherry. Honestly, don't even just bo don't even bother actually tracking damage on it unless you deal less than seven between these two. Yeah. Less than five actually, because the plus two from fire. Okay, that's three. It's dead. You need to roll... <laughs> yeah, you need to roll one on five dice. It's it's so dead. Just one, two, three, four, five. 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's dead. Super dead. <laughs> I got you covered on this. All right. So, how many things do I get? Uh, uh five. Four. Four. Oh, right. dude, I'm one off. I'm one off. Print flop. Give me a minute. Freaking em Emperor Palpatine. Give me a minute, okay? Uh. <laughs> okay. I am seriously using that name on my next uh, Empoleon. <laughs> Give me a minute, Palpatine. I got you. Alright. That is a cool naming convention. I might just do Star Wars names next time I do uh, Nuzlocke. I think if you look into the lore deep enough, you might actually, on a on a sparse Nuzlocke, be able to just do Sith names. Uh, Alright. The shrine is destroyed, so I can't do anything with that. Are you going to evolve Celia? Oh, actually, hold yes. on. I just thought about something as well. I'm sorry. One, two, one. I think I'm going to be able to get Empoleon. So you can infuse! Yep. I didn't yeah. even think about that until just now. Alright, yep. And I am evolving Celio. Four. To a Warring. Blizzard? Blizzard. One, two, three, Makes four. sense. Bliz Blizzard, Body Slam, and Ancient Power. That's a very nice synergistic moveset. Yeah. That's why I pick Ancient <laughs> Power for him. Oh, All right, win. then one, two. And then... Are you going after Buzzsaw or uh, Feramosa? I I can't. Yes. Hmm. I could go after Feramosa. You could go after. Either, you could go after either of them. Let me check some real quick. Guys, I oh. got a full. What the... Oh yeah. Don't look at the moves. Don't look at the moves. I want to look at their initiative. <laughs> Oh, okay. On. I assume that Feramosa is very, very fast. Um, so I'm going to go for Buzzhole just because of the possibility Nine Tails might be able to hit it before it dies. Gentlemen, may we interject real quick? Okay. I got a fully evolved team. Let's go. <laughs> he got his Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard when you said it. All right, it has eight initiative. Critical hits deal plus one damage, and for each critical hit rolled, the user heals two damage. Okay. Uh, but it is initiative eight. Hello, Mr. I have a jacked fucking drain punch. Yeah, it it's outsped by literally my whole team. This was the correct choice. Yeah. Uh, time for nine tails. Uh, it has exactly one hit point left. Okay, I gotta, I gotta say this. The the red, the shiny red on him makes him look like his muscles as armor. Yeah. Instead of, because you can't see it on the on this model, but in the original one, all those spots that are like the metallic red, they're actually clear. There's red fluid inside of him. Yeah, carapace. He's a weird freaking Pokemon. Okay. Uh. I am going to actually, in one of the few situations in which it will be very pertinent, I'm going to use Encore. Okay. It deals zero damage. Yeah. Well, but... I could fish for chip damage. That's all it was. Yeah. Because now I'm going to get to use Fire Blast anyway. All right. Uh... Rock Alpha? Yep. Oh, that punch. Super dead. Uh, especially because it does plus two damage, so it's eight damage. But before I die, I get to use fire blast. a reckless fire blast. One, two, three, One, two, four, three five, four. six, seven for five. Uh, two more because of reckless. So it oh, is seven. seven. Yep. And that's why I kept that. Okay, Nine Tails is uh, lay dead. I'll grab the health off real quick. All right, thank you. You are most welcome. I'll keep those. Maybe dice. I'll maybe I'll get my three po uh, my three uh, Pokemon fainted thing, which will immediately grant me my all berries thing. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what happened to me. All right. Uh, 
Well, what, what to go with next? You know what? I'm going to use Chandelure next. Chandelure? Alright. Since, um, the only... Well, no. No. Yeah, ground and Rock. Yeah. But Ding. Alpha Strike is currently at two dice instead of four. And the Stinging Punch is just something I just very much want to not make a good option. Yeah. Uh, I do outspeed, so I'm going to use Inferno. So, it is burned by default. Yep, and status deals negative 2 damage. Never mind, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage. Damage all together. 10, 10 minus 2 is 8. Yep. That's 5. Oh, I literally kept the dice for this. Eight, that's 12, 15, 14, 15 is 5 health left. Yep. I guess uh, go. I mean... Sure? Uh... It doesn't really have a good option other than... Like, 2 dice alpha strike. 2 dice alpha. It does alpha. add 2 extra damage because of beast boost. So, plus 4, so that's 5 damage. Minus... One, two, three, four. Why? Because of Inferno. You're burned. It's yeah. minus two damage. Oh, what? status symbols for the attack. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I, I thought, for some reason, I thought that it, it said that status symbols on the next attack deal minus two damage. Yeah, no, that would be freaking busted. Uh, I, I, I was wondering about it, but I wasn't going to question it. But yes. No, that's okay. Okay. Um. Speaking of, I'm just not reading closely enough. Minus anymore. two damage for status, plus two for crit. <laughs> so it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, down to four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why don't you get the plus two for fire? Symbol minus minus two, two for status. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, it does four damage. So. One, it's two, got three. one left. I was going to say, there's one health left. <laughs> yep. um, and everything on my team outspeeds it. So it it can't win. Stinging punch. Alright. Maybe it'll heal itself when it rolls criticals. Even if it doesn't do damage. That's nope. actually an interesting thing. So it does negative two damage. Yep. <laughs> it didn't roll it, a critical, so it can't heal. Alright. I'm going to hex just for the fun of it. Alright, it's. It, it is five power. No. No, no hex is just double it's damage. Power three, yeah. One, two, three, four, eight. Eight minus two is six. He's dead. Uh, goodbye, muscle boy. And that's one of the reasons I chose a ghost. I chose Chandular to begin with. Litwick just teched so well into that. And, and Feramosa, possibly. And All right. you have uh, that can learn a fighting move. That's a question, isn't it? No. Nope, okay, goes in the discard pile. But, uh... I think one of the shrines can let you pull legendary from discard for moves. If you put yeah. in the Blackberry, yes. Yeah. It's a, another prism armor, which means Necrozma will only have minus one damage. Making your Electros very good going into it. Yeah. And that was my intent, and that was my turn. Okay. That was literally the reason I fought this thing. Oh, and I get six journey points. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm really just going to use when I go to a shrine and try and uh, sacrifice a black apricorn instead of... Oh, I didn't get three Pokemon knocked out. I'm kind of sad about that, actually. I should have sacrificed something. Oh, well. You know, it would be really cool to have a uh, singing punch on. Like Togetic. That's hilarious, Can yes. Can Togetic learn fighting? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, he can learn fighting! <laughs> yeah. Because of Aurasphere, probably. Oh my lord, that is... Oh my goodness, Basculin, Basculin can learn fighting, too. One, yeah, Basculin could go eat it. Two, I don't really care about Basculin. I know, I know, but that's still funny. 
Nobody cares about masculine. All right, you know, we're just going to do this first. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. I'm going to make myself a uh, blast crystal. That's a good one. And we're going to put that on to Tyranitar. Yeah, it's going to tank the most out of Necrozma, I think. And I'm going to pay a black for a shrine. Fuck you, Celebi. Uh, you want to kill it? Or catch it? Actually, it would make a decent replacement say, to Masculine. I'm, I'm going to try to catch it, yeah. And while you do that, I'm going to get medication so I can sleep sometime before five. <laughs> Leaf Storm and Alpha Strike with Psychic Grass. Um, well, unfortunately, the only Pokemon I have to fight this thing is Titar. All right, Ma initiatives match. You've got first run. Okay. Uh, ultimate it's little, ball. Yeah, it's it's a it's a bit of a hail mary thing right here. No. No. And I'm sorry, I no longer have the thing to help you catch it. Nope, nope. that's fine. All right, here we go. Yeah. Good look at celery. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven. eight, nine. That's nine damage. Uh, well, you rolled a crit, so you take three. Eight. Right? No. Plus one's Plus for one status. status. Nine. Yeah. You take three, uh... Damage back. And well, either either Silent gets a Celebi or he gets free transportation back to his hometown. I'm okay with either. Uh, ultimate ball. Come on, this would be really cool if you got it. Oh, yeah. you got I it! I got it! Goodbye, Basculin. You will not be missed. Basculin, you can fuck off, mate. Here you go, buddy. Celebi and Titar back. Now you actually have a proper full team there. And, and you get a stamp for catching a legendary. I was going to say, give me a second because I'm going to end up with a couple stamps from this. Yeah, you're going to end up with catch a legendary, then get all berries because, well, no, you don't have any red. Yep, no reds. Oh, uh, yeah, I got rid of my last red, huh? Yep. Oh, you need at least fine. one more red to get that stamp. That actually might be worth getting some reds just for that. Yeah. Or a ginkgo merchant if there's one nearby. Alright. That's my turn. Alright. Here I go, gents. Just gotta double check something here. One, two, to teleport... Three, four, five. Yeah. It's going to take exactly five movement. Huh. All right, we've got Nihiligo, Feramosa, and Zerkatry left. All right, well, phase one, let's go. I'm sorry. I must bask in this. Prismatic uh, laser. Health 30, initiative 11. Prismatic laser. Psychic power 7. If two up status symbols are rolled, deal 2 damage to all Pokemon in the target party that is not the target. And then Alpha Strike and Beast Boost. And ah! it knows Psychic, Fire, Fairy, and Rock. Hey, remember ah, when I said... Cold. Remember what I said that foul play would be really good against this guy? <laughs> uh, power 7 dark move. Eat it. 
Seriously, Boy, would... actually, I would advise leading with the e Electros, yeah. Yeah. All right. Music? What happened to the music? It's already on. It's going. Huh. There we go. It wasn't playing on my end. It, like, even I went into the music thing, it, it well, just wasn't playing. I go first. <laughs> yeah. I am the luge. One damage. And it is poisoned and paralyzed, which means I get to go a second time. Yep. And one damage on it. No, it doesn't. It skips its turn. So yeah, it doesn't it's... get poisoned. Oh, you mean from the deluge. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you meant in addition to that. No. Mm -hmm. And then... Coil. Another one damage, and... It's now at two fatigue. Uh. All right, gonna get it up in a punch. And now I am about to get slapped hard with prismatic laser, aren't I? I well, think uh, I think Alpha's gone at the moment. So uh, I'm, I'm here. Oh, okay. Prismatic yeah, laser. Yeah, just... I, I've so... already done the first turn. You are controlling the Crosma. So you do realize that this is the turn after the fact that the paralyzed took effect, which means that he skips his turn. You, you know, already right? did that. He yep. did that. I already did that. I did coil after I owned Deluge. And now it's Necrozma's turn again. Prismatic laser. <laughs> Roll seven <laughs> psychic dice. Oh. And two or more status symbols deals two damage to each bench Pokemon. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But that, that, no. that's a dead, that is a dead Electros! Uh, an additional yeah, one damage dead. from Poison. Yep. Only 27 more health to go, Jacob. Oh my god, it's so dumb. I this... may be visiting the Temple of Sinnoh to get us an extra life. This is phase one. Yep. This is why I got Skuntank and Houndoom, honestly. Chantiller won't be bad either. Honestly, the more dark types we have, the better. <laughs> Ghost is good. Bug is good. The problem is going to be um, phase two is going to be either Dusk Main or Dawn. Uh, um, Necrozma's got um, initiative priority. Yeah, just prismatic laser again. Does it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super slow. Okay, oh, five four. damage. Five damage and two damage to every single Pokemon on your team. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Other than Porygon. Other than Porygon, yeah. Guard Although jump, your Eviolite, you just Eviolite... start bringing health dice down. Oh yeah, your, yeah. your Eviolite makes it three damage. Yeah. Thank you. Fix that up for me while I do this. Uh, spin around. Two and. Oh, yeah, well, uh, did you guys add the the two the two freaking boosts for beast boost? Oh no, no. yeah, it is fine. Yeah, it is so it's back five. up. Well, back hey, you know we were you can't change the past. We tried. I, I just happened to look down at his, at his moves and I was like, oh yeah, beast boost. Dude, this is uh, oh. okay. So there's only one Pokemon that. Uh, is at the Temple of Sinnoh, and it's Sil Valley. Yeah. Yep. Okay! Sil Valley is what, grass and... grass? No, Sil Valley is every type. It's a normal type that can oh, have yeah, the same yeah, kind of mechanic ball, as Arceus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. That might be where I go next, honestly, just in case we need an extra life. Before we go. I don't think I can reach any of the Ultra Beasts currently. Um... All right. Go, I'm checking something about, um... I think just conversion to all six are persistent until a Pokemon can heal them. Yeah, you oh! can't. No, I can confuse them. You can't. You cannot. You psychic type. Oh, okay. And a Pokemon like, that already has a status cannot be affected. Yeah, I was going to say he already has yeah. status. First there's, off, there's two reasons why. I thought you were going to okay. go for some sort of weird thing, but I'm like, no, it's no. Like, just 
negates any shenanigans. Uh, Four damage. That's three. So that's three. Three. Uh, also, Necrozma should be at four damage because of the extra poison turn. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, he's at seven now. That's seven, yeah. So, that's six. Seven. I like this teamwork. Silent, you track his damage. <laughs> Alpha, you roll his attacks. <laughs> uh, that's uh -huh. one, two, three, four, five. Three more down damage. To, down to three more, but also two more to everything on the bench. Yeah. Yeesh, that effect alone is just... And another damage from poison. Yep. Jesus. And what's Porygon's health? 13? Yes. And he has 7 damage right now? Mm-hmm. It's two more. By the way... He's at yep. fatigue now. Yep. He's going to be dealing three to himself every time. That's going to honestly do more than Actually, than hold up. Hold up. Alpha, you never oh. reset his fatigue, did you? No, do I have to reset his fatigue every time? Yeah. When no. when he kills a Pokemon, yes. How many so um, I do. No, I reset his fatigue the first time, but I didn't reset his fatigue. Yeah, because I want to kill one Pokemon. Okay, no, uh, that's... No. No, how many times has he attacked Porygon? You did not reset his fatigue. Yeah, he's attacked Reduce. Porygon like three times. Reduce it by two. Okay. Okay. I'll, well, I'll, um, I'll track the fatigue as well. Two. Yeah. Two, I, plus, two plus one, so... <laughs> I, yeah. already, I already did the damage from your roll. Okay, so yeah, now and it uses... The, and the one for poison? No, no it, it has to, it, it has has to, to go take first. his turn. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, go for it. <laughs> oh three, my god! Three, 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 Quit four, five. killing my guys in the back row! Three. What? Three more damage, and two on everything on the bench. Every, yeah, everything on the bench should have taken six damage at this point. Let's see here. Oh my god. Uh. Yeah. That's, uh, that's yeah. a lot. Jesus Christ. Prepared. I feel like once Porygon actually dies. Oh, that's uh, that's nice. That's three, three no, four damage. Four, four damage, damage. Yeah. That's fifteen. You're halfway there. Honestly, you wanna you wanna know my advice? Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Dark rise down. Dark rise down, and that resets his fatigue. I don't think it counts anything on the uh, bench. From the bench. Yeah. It counts for anything at the bench. Not from the bench. But it still kills Porygon. One, yeah, yeah, two, yeah. three, four, I, five, six, seven. I'm gonna ask that, but I feel like it does because it defeated a Pokemon. It didn't? I wouldn't say that's defeating a Pokemon. I'd say a Pokemon um, fan. There's. Question. But it killed Porygon, so he will still get yeah. his the... beat boost. Question when fighting Rosma if the secondary damage from Smatic Laser KOs a Pokemon does that Beast. Oh, uh, Mesprit is dead too. Mesprit. Mesprit should yeah. be at one HP. No, uh, Nibble oh, Frame. Right. It has seven health. Oh. Right. Uh, I only have Sal uh, Salamence and on a Garchomp and a Garchomp on God. two. Well, I think uh, either of them outspeeds it. Um, so, uh, can I make a suggestion? Either um, Salamence Chomp... Hold up, let, or, me, let, me, let me check something real quick. Let me check something or real quick. Or Chomp and hope really hard for Dragon Rush. Don't, don't send anything out yet. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm thinking on it. We got him down to halfway, right? Yeah, ho hold yeah. on. I'm checking something. It would help to know what you're checking. Well, that's why I'm saying to just wait and let me check this. Jacob, be patient. I know it's hard. Uh, trust me, I, I want to destroy your team with the curve. Even though you... it's a team game. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> some conflicting feelings here yeah i know right that's what i'm saying i was like i want to i want to because it's the charisma and i don't right, ever get to use right. the charisma when you're behind the mind of a pokemon you need to set the team player aside and put on the wreckers hat <laughs> no, essentially, yes yes, yes i want to destroy you because i've never got to use the charisma this is actually the first time i've ever got to either see or use the charisma because i did not know ultra ultra beasts were a freaking thing i knew about you never played sun and moon no, I've never played Sun and Moon, dude. I literally left Pokemon right before Diamond and Pearl came out. And that's why I'm going back and playing all the games. Oh my god, when you play Sun and Moon, I want to watch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to, be kinda... fair, to be fair, I've never played through Sun and Moon either, although I... I want oh, I I to go Shiny Hunter through Wormhole. Alright. So, what's uh, the word, Silent? Bird. B -b 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 bird, oh. bird, bird, oh, bird. What, what, what bird on is silent? the word. What were we on silent? You want to scroll over my team and, and, Hold, and no, see the... No, I'm busy right now. So he's Darth, asking me, what's Darth up? Darth Vader, Jar Jar Binks, we got the Wampa, we got Emperor Palpatine, uh, we got Kylo Ren, and we got Yoda. Sorry, I thought you said silent before that. So no, we're just... waiting for silent. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> I nicknamed my Pokemon. Please tell us <laughs> what you're looking for. One of us might already know the answer. No, I don't, I don't know. You got Star Wars themed. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> oh, you're fine, dude. I mean, dude, have you seen my Ars my Arceus does like all my Pokemon are named after tanks. tanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to really, really. Okay. Oh. Uh. There's no clear answer, so I posted it into the Discord. I'll let you know when I hear an answer, but yeah, go ahead. What? Was this oh. about the f fatigue thing? No. Well, I, I had already posted that. What was this well, about? Uh, how... Um, because the, the rules for Necrozma say... Um... That was a weird clip. Uh, if a trainer is defeated by Necrozma, they are eliminated from the game. But it says you can end a battle early by conceding. And I was just wondering if that counted for the elimination. Oh, words if I ran away. Yeah, it's, it's not specified in the rules, so I'm just going to have to wait to see what they come back with, what Love says. I'm still going full bore here. Yep. Come hell or high water, I'm finishing this fight. Alright, we got a five power chomp. It does say I'm... after one of your Pokemon faints, but yeah, that's unclear. Yeah, that's why I was. Iron Jesus. I don't well... ask much. But what we want is five crits, so thank you. <laughs> Lord thank you. Arceus. Uh, exactly. Arceus Look. is currently bitching out wherever he lives. Oh, yeah. my bad, my bad, my bad. Jesus, I, I don't ask for much, but if you fuck me this time, I'm going to Lucifer and there's no going back. He's <laughs> said this before. One, One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, seven, four, six, six damage. Damage. That's three. Oh, oh, oh. That brings him up to twenty-one. One. Nine, Nine health left. Go. All right. Uh, if he doesn't kill Garchomp with this laser, then you've got a oh, chance. I'm, I'm not using laser. He's going That's... fairy. Uh, four dice. Four dice for Alpha Strike, yeah. I feel like Prismatic Laser is the optimal play, but sure. Uh, I think it's optimal. 
That's a, well, that's great. KO. Yeah, that's I, KO. I, th I think what, I think what we said was make optimal <laughs> plays, but sure. He's I giving me a possible chance. Well, yeah, it's not even that. It's not even that. If you think about it, though, I had a plus two on Beast Boost. I had plus two because he was a dragon type, and I mean. If his, Prismatic laser would still statistically, on average, do more damage, but yeah. Uh, but I mean, if we're playing optimally, then I have to think about PP. No, no. there's no PP. There's no PP in this game. God, <laughs> we need like, to. We're not undoing it, but we're just saying that's not the optimal play. Yeah, it's not, like it's stop for... up feeling bad, play the Pokemon to absolutely wreck his team. Yeah, and then when we overcome it, mm -hmm. it's even more exciting. Lucifer, yeah, RNG has screwed me over. I need two statuses on this world. It, it doesn't feel rewarding if you think you could have potentially <laughs> won, but. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two, seven. four, five, six, seven. It's literally me getting a one shot kill with Alpha Strike Fairy. <laughs> well, yes, but you could have one shot killed you the entire team. You could have one shot killed with anyway. everything with Prismatic Laser. Oh, we haven't been counting poison damage, have we, for the last couple? No, we haven't. Uh, only one turn without poison damage, the last okay. one. So that is eighteen Two HP left. Yeah, two HP, and unfortunately, I need didn't all get status, all status, off, motherfucker! Oh my god, dude, did not <sighs> hold back. Jacob Dude. is eliminated, and I am going to visit the Temple of Arceus. I mean, um, if they wouldn't have mentioned anything about me using Alpha Strike, then I would have done it again. <laughs> no, I mean, still no probably one did, would have killed no Garchomp. Oh, yeah. Y'all did. Y'all said y'all want me to play Optimal, so I went for Prismatic Laser. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. no. Guys, guys, I'm going to say this now. Shut up when the battle's going on! No, they're not wrong though. They're not wrong though. Okay. Uh, I basically took a chance on. I took a chance on Alpha Strike actually being crit. And anyway, with with, with uh, Prismatic Laser, it would have been a one shot kill regardless. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go visit the Temple of Arceus and revive Jacob. <laughs> yep. It's, it might take me a minute though because I'm in the middle of freaking nowhere. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. Does each battle against Arceus skip, or does each win against Arceus skip? Each win against Necrozma skips each the win. Ultra Beast. That means we have to hit the button. Yep. Uh, hey, if you're eliminated, do you get a card? Let's see what the scripting says. I'm gonna bet it's yes. No? No, I did get a card. Rapid Strikes always goes first, but greater than three attack strength becomes three. Magic Union. Uh... I'm going to put that on Hound Doom for now because it only barely reduces the power of Flamethrower. Yeah, I guess I'll put this on to Electros. Uh, okay. You know what I may do? I may, go catch, I may go catch Arbicuno. Yeah. Uh... I mean, if you think you can, that, that might be a thing you could do. I don't know that it'll be much help against Necrozma, which is our main issue right now. Well, either way, I'm dead, guys. <laughs> My light's been consumed. I, I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna bring it back. My light's uh, been consumed. To be fair, <laughs> everything I'd seen about this campaign said it was obscenely hard. And it's a good thing you went easy mode now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, when I when I when I well, I've been looking through the stuff, it's just like people are like suggestions for Ultra Burst campaign. Please give suggestions and tips for Ultra Burst campaign. We just fought like the fifth or sixth uh, Ultra Beast, and it just fucking murdered every single player's team. Can you please give us help on Ultra Burst? We not have I'll be honest, I'll be honest, they need to kind of lower the percentage of the Ultra Burst. <laughs> hey, yeah, no, the, a, a bit slower progression would be my main feedback on that. Um, so, 
Alpha's going to get his turn. Mm -hmm. Do what you do. I have an idea about something that I'm going to bank on being unlucky. If that makes any sense? One, two, kind wait, hold on. In the worst case scenario, I end up with some extra red berries and go to town and heal. Best case, I flip over an alpha, purposefully play bad to get wiped, get a stamp for extra berries, get another stamp to get a move, and then show up at town healed and immediately uh, start working my way towards the Temple of Sinnoh. Oh, oh, thank you. Ew. I'm gonna move that so I don't freaking sit on top of it. Yep, go ahead. Sorry. Is that even gonna oh. be? It's a Sorry, traveling okay. healer, actually, so your team's healed. Well, and it stays there. Yep. The... So that's four. That's Storm. five. Unfortunately, my, I, I don't want to go get my unique oh, move from my noble you because it's kidding? fucking useless. You don't. Know, I'd be curious. I, I love Gardevoir. Um. Uh, I'll wait. Are you gonna fight Nekozma? No, I was no. I'm. I'm He's I'm fighting uh, Gardevoir. Oh, okay. Black, Blackberries. Black, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I um, thought I thought he was in here. Oh hell no! Oh my god! <laughs> after after what I did to Jacob's team, I'm kind of fearful. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Um, uh, fairies weak to what? Fairies weak to poison, steel. Good against uh, dark fighting and fire, and right, dragon. So me, me using a pulley, I wouldn't be. Bad. Well, yeah. Oh, I have to hit battle. Uh, there. Poison Steel is what you want to try and hit it with. Poison yeah. Steel, yeah, I got it. I'll be right back. Yeah, it's it's either super effective or resistant to fire fighting, dark, okay. and dragon. Wait a minute. It's equal to oh, okay, that's kind of cool. I, I didn't so realize initiative that. 10, like... initiative 9. Okay, I get one moon blast, minus two damage. Uh, and minus one regular hit from your roll, so three damage. And you get one less hit on your next roll for regular hits. So what is it, three? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, a two plus two for the super effective is four. Removes the regular hit because of the move. One, two, three, four. Minus two is two. So I literally just need to hit, get a freaking four or more. Three Ugh. regular hits take it out, so it's another four. Oh, wait. I, and now it's dead. That. Yeah. Cool. Alright, let me do that. So I'm yeah, actually you can book going. Moon Blast on something if it. If you have something that can learn it. Uh, was it fairy? Yeah. Um, actually, no. Uh, you put it on Alakazam. I could. But yeah. that would be getting rid of teleport. You should have. You should have gotten rid of reckless assault. Yeah, honestly, I, I, I did, and it came back. <laughs> okay, just get rid of it. We've killed at least one ultra beast since then, and give yourself moon blast. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like I did twice, and it came back randomly. <laughs> Um, wait, where'd you put that? Did you bring it? It's wait. right, it's right next to the board. Oh, I was like, no. <laughs> I yeeted it straight out of the game. Okay, well, that's, that's your turn. Uh, yeah, you uh, get... I, I'm doing one more thing as well. You get six journey points. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three. And then I want, I don't know. I don't think I can actually get anything right now. You can get a burst crystal. Blast crystal. No, you don't have enough red. Never mind. I don't think I can get anything, but that gives me the opportunity <laughs> to get stuff. So. Okay. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Actually, does the Hallow Tower count as a shrine? No, it's just an event location. Yeah. Okay, I get a black apricorn. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to interact with this item. Gosh dang it, it's actually an item this time. I wanted to be an alpha so I could kill myself. Uh, Steel rock. Steel rock core. I'm going to put that on uh, wall rain. Wall rain for ancient power, yeah. Uh, yep, 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 okay. Uh, and then I'll go to that, and then because that didn't work out for me, um, I'm just gonna get... Some more red berries? Yeah. Red apricorns? Just make my way towards town, honestly. Oh, hey, an Eevee! Actually, is there anything in my team that I would replace with an Eevee? Uh, not really. So, how does the Eevee, uh, or how do the Eevee Lucians work in this? You click Evolve and you pick one. Oh, okay, you just pick one? Yep. Oh, okay, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I mean, I could get Umbreon. You could. I don't know whether that's better, though, compared to some of the other things in here. Uh... Especially considering that... Uh, given the current status of the game, I'm honestly probably not the best one to take on Necrozma. At least this form. Honestly, the best one to take on Necrozma at this point is probably Alpha if he got a few more moves. Yeah. Because foul play. Just yeah. a strength 7 dark attack. Yeah. So I think my best uh, role right now is going to be uh, going towards the Temple of Sinnoh in order to revive Jacob and possibly killing an Ultra Beast. So at that point... Uh... So at that point, I think I'm just going to hit up like one, probably this shrine and probably this shrine and then head back. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Then... One, two, or is that two? Uh, one, two, three, four. And then literally next turn, freaking. I could just try to get another move. Uh, you could far. go one, two, three, four, five, hit the Apricorn Reef, and then one, two, three, four. four and then, yep, yep, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that's all good. And then that teleports you here. Five to get to the Apricorn Tree, and then the next turn go straight for Necrozma. Or, um, and here's my thought. Well, I, gotta hit, I gotta hit up this traveling healer too, did so, you, or this one. Did you finish your turn, Taylor? Um, no, I haven't battled it yet. I'm trying to figure out what to oh. do, and I got distracted. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I, I don't actually get anything great out of this. Um, however, Uxie can learn a normal type move, so I might as well kill Eevee for quick attack. I'm sorry. Can we just say it's dead? Yeah, it's... it's fucked. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get I get three red berries and three journey points. We're oh, at and I get the move from it. We're at that point of the game now. Oh yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> yeah, no, we are we are very much at the point of the game where, uh, you mean you want to fight an Eevee with a legendary that has a power five ice move? Yeah, no, just it's yeah. Yeah. Like maybe you took a damage, but it doesn't matter. You also get three journey points. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Killed it. I All would right. say alpha. Um, well, I'm, in your case, I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna go up to the shrine. I'm gonna pay a blackberry for fuck. All right, um, I'm just gonna take the temporal power. Yeah, oh, is a good power to have. You Not go for. Also, and I'd like to point this out, you can force opponent's Pokemon to re-roll. That's why I took so, the Temporal. Yeah, you can force re-rolls on into Krasma Dice roll. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, honestly, okay, Jacob's out, so that's the end of the round. Alpha, ignore the not, shrine. Not yet. It's still my turn. 
I'm sorry, I'm thinking ahead. <laughs> Do the thing so I can be correct retroactively or something, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go to the blue and fight a blue. No, it's a green. No, blue Apricorn. Yeah, but it's a green Pokemon. Um... Hmm. Uh, I'm going to fight against, actually. Might as well get a stun spore on your... Tidiosa. Celebi? For play rough? For play rough. On... Uh, Raichu. Ah, I see. Yes, it will be something that will be more effective against Necrozma if that comes up. Yeah, basically. Uh, it's dead. Cool. <laughs> it's super dead. Uh, Tedios' play rough is going to replace. As much as I hate having to replace this, I really don't technically have to. I hate replacing this. Uh, it's just not as good in this. Uh, I'm replacing Volt Switch. Mm hmm. Let's play rough. Bye, Shanks. You existed. Right. <laughs> so, uh, so real quick before you hit the button as well. So actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna craft that stew thing that I can heal my Empoleon. Mm hmm. I also get three um, journey points because I still need to fucking evolve Pokétech. And then and then I'm gonna go one, two, teleport here, three, four, five. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm just a little curious, guys. I just want to see who my totem is. Uh, for... I... Oh, wow. There is no totem for Ultra Megalopolis. Yeah, you don't get one. You don't get one, yeah. That sucks. But also understandable. Um, You'll also start with Porygon or Poipole. Yeah. With Porygon. Okay, so... Are we ready to move them? Yes. Yep. The other, the other option, possibly, is we uh, we killed two more of the Ultra Beasts, and then the Poison Paralysis on Necrozma is much, much better. I don't know if we can kill two more of them with our teams. It would have to be Feramosa I could probably take out, and then it would be either Nihilgo or Zerkatry. I can't kill either of them. Hmm. That's... Problematic. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if I fought Nihilego, Poison Move is gonna murder uh, Celebi, Togetic. Uh, a Rock Move is gonna murder. Yeah, just uh, go for it, Alpha. Mantine. Yeah, I'm also gonna hit that. Yeah, flip that. Yeah, item. Yep. Hey, green apricorns. Nice. Uh, you, you can't you craft an item before you fight him if you want. You can, yeah. And I would highly suggest it, because I think green gets you enough for, I want to say, the shield or swift sash, one of the two? Two green is uh, enough for lucky a lucky egg, egg. A lucky uh, egg which is useless. Um, yeah. What do you have the most of? Yellow. Uh, yellow. Yellow. Uh, also useful for a lucky egg. Yeah, you you can't make anything right now. That's unfortunate. Yeah. All right, time to fight. All right. Wait, just, what? No, just put it back. No, put it, put him back. Hit search while you're on top of him. There you go. All right, my turn. It's gonna. <sighs> We got up Ooh. to what was would technically be our end game, but I don't think want... we've prepped good enough teams to beat Necrozma. You want my advice? Lead I strong don't... out the gate. Start with foul play. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. And this. You, you get priority. So now you could use a seven strength dark attack. Just overwhelm him with his own raw power. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Six, seven. One makes that seven. Seven damage, yeah. There you go. I will keep track of fatigue. Oh, let me... Well, uh, you mean after, like, a kill. Yeah. Yeah, so... The question here is, Prismatic Laser is minus four. Alpha Strike is not. It, so I feel like I go Alpha Strike and then Prismatic Laser on the off turns. Yeah, it would fairy Alpha. Yep. Okay. Four, five. Three damage. Three. Five. Yeah. Wow, it has one HP left. Oh god, alright. Uh, just another... Another... Power 7 yeah. foul play, yeah. That that out the gate strength is one two three one, four two. five six seven eight nine for eight. Okay, that's five six, and three. So you're halfway there after just Zoroar. You might actually have a better chance here. Yeah, mm -hmm. that I told you foul play was going to be good. I was correct. I'd actually All laugh right, if it didn't minus kill. four damage. Wow. Oh. One, well, two, never three, mind. four, five, six, seven, minus four is three, so it still dies, but... No, no damage to the back row. Yeah, no bench damage. Yeah. Honestly? Uh, That's almost the best case scenario. What to go with next, honestly? Uh, Avalanche is... Base five. Uh, a Raging Fury is base 5, and then a base 6, and then you're probably going to be dead. Wait, 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 wait. Um... On the defensive type chart. Why not Alakazam Moonblast? Uh, it wouldn't be super effective. It'd be normal effective. You do oh, win the initiative, though. Yeah, and Moonblast will make it where he takes at least one hit less damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, it, yeah, plus it takes the initiative, so... There's a good portion of his team takes the initiative, but yes. Yeah, that's fair. Go for it. One, two, one, two three, three, four. For three, so it's up to yep. 18 damage in total. Yep. And you well, lose a... Normal hit roll. Nothing super effective. Prismatic laser is not very effective. Yeah, but I think it's still better than Alpha Strike. Plus it plus two from Beast Boost. Yeah. Minus one regular hit. My gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Minus one regular hit. Minus six two damage. Four. No, that's six minus four. That's two four. Four five, damage. Yeah. Up to two, up to from Beast Boost is six, yeah. You're right. Yeah. So he's dead, but still no bench damage. I mean... Wait. Necrozma's... Dark? Necrozma's Psychic. Psychic. Fuck. Um... Yeah, at this point... Um... Weavile gives some durability, and Polion can just, uh... That's just the effect of Surf. Okay. So, yeah, Avalanche yeah. is probably your best bet at this point, actually. Actually, hold up. A thought. And, and tell, yeah. you can tell me your opinion on this. What's Necrozma's initiative? 11, I think. Weavile yes. Ice Punch. Go for the freeze, which will boost the power of every other attack you do against him by one. That's fair. Actually, it's by two. By two, sorry, yeah. So, okay, yeah, you get, you get initiative. Go for an Ice Punch. Come on, a status symbol. One status symbol. Yes! yes! Yep. So that's two extra damage and a freeze. Oh... I fucking hate Necrozma. Yeah. 
everything. Necrozma is actually cancer. So I have five. Okay. Uh, so it's currently at taking 10 health. 20 damage. It's at 10 health. Uh, it could do Psychic minus four, or, and this is going to make more sense, Fairy, Alpha Strike, which again is pushing it into not hitting the bench. Three, four, One, two, three, four, five, five six. Seven, eight. So, what? Two oh, from yeah. Fairy, two from Beast. Yep. It's dead. Which, yeah, it's dead, but it did its job. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm going to bully him. Honestly, uh, you want my opinion? Go mock punch and then reach and fear. Yeah, and just raw damage capability. That plus yeah. two power from the ice is going to offset the weak. Yeah, that's going to make uh, it a mock, mock, punch. mock punch four and raging fury seven. seven. Yeah, it's, it's four because of the freeze. Oh, okay. So at minus two, but, well, so it did zero damage. Zero damage, but, but was worth a shot for Chip. And now seven dice raging fury. Yep. And then the monkey dies. <laughs> yeah. Assuming that one, two, three, three four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Minus one is seven. Seven. You are one short. I think. Uh, that's Napoleon. No, three, three short. short. Yeah, you need to do three damage. And Empoleon and uh, uh, yeah, Dust Noir lose initiative. That's the only thing. That's the problem. But Inferni now melts. Yes. You're going to be super dead. Poor Kylo Ren. <laughs> Psychic laser. Oh, still no sat no double status. Five, One, six, two, three, seven, four, five, eight, six, nine, seven, ten. eight, nine, ten. Yep, it is super duper duper dead. Dude, Necrozma, Necrozma is brutal. Yep. And this is just the first round. I know. We still have to flip a coin to see if we go up against Sun or Sun or Moon. My question is. Used. My question is. What the fuck are they gonna do to make it stronger? An additional typing. Yeah, but then ultimate form Necroz has got to be ridiculous. That too. Okay, yeah. Necrozma wins initiative. Psychic <sighs> is at minus two. Does it have an alpha strike that's super effective? No. No, okay, so it's just going to do laser. One, Finally two, does two three, damage to the bench. Four. So it's going to be a straight up force and speed boost in the psychic yeah. Uh, yeah. nullification. And two damage to Dusk Noir. Yeah. But I think... Um, and Polion with Avalanche should be able to finish it off. Uh, At, so with Avalanche? No, yeah. uh, Water Crash is going to be better now, right? Why? It's it's just power for water. Oh, initiative of the target round. I thought it was one of the health ones. So then, yeah, so power, yeah, seven dice Avalanche. No. Six. Five. Uh, yeah, it is rounded down. Initiative rounded yeah. down is 11 divided by 2 is 5. Yeah, so power 7. Because what? frozen. Oh, you are correct. So you have to do 3... You have to do 4 damage on 7 dice. I think he got it. He got exactly he got 4 exactly damage on 7 dice. exactly 4 damage on 7 dice. And Necrozma is down. Oh my god. Oh, it's it's the the team, thank you for showing me the way of the Sith. Oh my god. I should here's know. A, here's a fun thing. <laughs> uh, oh, you can't use its move. It's just dead. Yeah. That would be super duper broken. That would be fucking busted. I'm just going to put it over here. Yeah. Okay. So. Wait, no. We have what to. Are we... No, yeah, we're going to have to change the state on the card. Oh, okay. real quick. Guys, um, there's the sun moon coin over here that yep. needs to be flipped. I uh, think that since Alpha, Alpha did the defeat, Alpha he it. gets to flip it. Alpha should flip it, yes. Okay, so Alpha, I'll bring it over what, to you. What are you doing? I was already over there. Yeah, he, was already, he was already hit the token. Just roll uh, Just it. do roll. Oh, roll? Yep. Sun. Sun phase. 
So we got Dawn Strike Necrozma, I think, right? Yeah, and what we have to do is when we do the battle again, we just change its state. I believe it's either going to be two or three. Yep, there we go. Dusk main form. Searing sun, sun rays. rays. Inflict the burn status on the target. If the target is already burned, it does double damage. That's legitimately still better than the laser, though. I don't know if it is. The only thing I know is that my heart is pumping out after after that. Like, just, just forget. Yeah, you need to go ahead and stop into Ultra Megalopolis and heal. Actually... Uh Taylor might be phenomenal at fighting this with his fire team. Fire types, yes. I can't be... My fire types can't be burned and will be super effective, and one of them is also dark type. By the way, have I... Yet? I yeah. don't think I've been revived. I haven't? He has, nope. You have not been. I will get to a town and work on getting you revived while Taylor goes and deals with the evil fucking crazy bitch that's over in the distortion world. Yep, that very suddenly shifted my <laughs> priorities. <laughs> you, so uh, I got a point. You can at the very least get the Ultra Megalopolis uh, this round. Ultra, I can. Place? I can't fly to Ultra Megalopolis. Uh, no, but you have. You uh, are able to get one, two, to the teleport. Or teleports you to here. He could technically go fight it this turn. Uh, I. I think. No, five would get me to the city. Ultra Burst is a separate space that I have to go to for him. Oh. But the, they skip the yeah. next Ultra Beast turn. Yeah, they skip the next Ultra Beast turn, so we have a very short moment of respite before we need so to So actually, this here's a thought. Again. I don't fight him this turn. Because no. if I kill him next turn, it skips another turn of the Ultra Beasts. Yeah, no, absolutely. So I'm actually, my turn, I'm going to go one, two, heal. Okay. Actually, wait, let me see. Are there yeah, any, any yeah. tokens near me that I could... I will say, you could go here, go to the Ultra Megalopolis, and just heal there, and be ready for next turn. Or yeah. just go and uncover one of these, and risk an Alpha Pokemon. Well, four, four will be teleporting to here, because yes. it, doesn't cost, it doesn't cost a move to teleport. Yeah. You're right. So he could move to Ultra Megalopolis and just heal his team up and be ready. If I if I stop on the Hallowed Tower, though, if I go one, two, because the shrine is really my point, three, mm. four, five, then I go one, two, three, four. That's actually fair, five. yeah. No, I see, I see what you're saying. Uh, it, it would still be taking, it would just take an extra round to get to him. No, I was here. Let me just shrine there and then go. Yeah. So, Give me... That would be a better one. Okay, yeah. I'm going to pay a black and seven uh, journey points because I'm going to try and get the best possible thing for us here. You could actually shrine here on Fire Song. Uh, which would sure, still let... But... That would still let you reach Necrozma on the next turn. One five. It's one, Man, two, yeah, three, yeah, four, right. five, yeah. One, two, three, four, five... There you go. Okay. Uh, and... All right. Uh, Celestial Convergence. I... There is still the Rift Die. I don't know that that's actually helpful at this point, though. I mean, if you roll the instant teleport, you can just teleport straight over. I mean, I can do... Actually, I can get there now with Shrine Blessing from Re Revitalizing Trance. Yeah. Hey, hey, Alpha, you want your team healed? Oh, also, yeah. you've had three I, Pokemon faint, so you get a stamp. I could really use my team healed as well. Crap. Uh, Where's that area? Yeah. I, I, I'm hey, gonna go Alpha and... needs to heal a bit more. <laughs> I yeah, don't I know. Well, have I have two po Alpha's oh, yeah. also Ooh. directly next to a healing point, and Silence yeah, yeah, still has yeah, a yeah. turn this yeah, round, yeah, yeah. so Silence okay, will yeah. get the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. okay, my I team will is heal... also really fucked up. I will heal my team and silence team, and I will move six extra spaces this turn. It's so you are going to get into Necrozma. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I right. got to use the restroom. Jets, I'll be right back. Are you going to uh, fight him or hold off a turn to try to get another I'm, turn, Skat? Yeah, I'm going to get hold off uh, a turn, and I'm going to go through the teleporter and see if I can either uh, fight an alpha Pokemon for some journey points or get an item. 
Yeah. That's my current plan. Uh, oh, who's getting the journey points? No, here's here's the question. Do I want the... Yeah, because the power dice doesn't do anything for me. And I can get four journey points. And do you uh, use, use the black? Yes. Can I get those other four? Sure. Thank you. I still need one more point to evolve my final Pokemon. Actually, here's a thought. When you're at a shrine, can I interact with it twice? I don't think so. Okay. But I will have six extra points of movement this turn. Um, I could just move back onto it. Yeah, you could go mm -hmm. off and on. One, two, three, four, five, six, and still end in Actually, Ultimate me, Metalopolis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, mm -hmm. ten, eleven, if I feel like it. I have... Movement. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna pay seven more journey points and another black. Okay. Try and get us some uh, more good stuff. Moltres. Which I could probably legitimately destroy. What happened to the last card you drew? Oh, it went to your hand. It, yeah, it went to my hand because green shenanigans. Okay, uh, fateful experience, more journey points. Chance encounter. Strong Pokemon. I don't. I don't think there's much of that that would help. The journey Pokemon is probably or the journey. Oh, uh, you know what I just realized? I still have an Ultra Ball. What if I just caught Moltres hey guys. or killed it and used it to get a move for one of my Pokemon? <laughs> Ooh, that's I fair. I can put its move on Skun Tank. Yeah. And that would be very good. Okay, so. Forget chance encounter, uh, unless one of you guys really wants that. No, I'm not using I, it. I just need the journey. Okay, four more journey points, and four more journey points for on. silence, so he can finally get a toga kiss. And I guess Flareon's on the field now. No, uh, Moltres, I am fighting. Moltres. Okay. Here, hold on. Uh, Fire Song Shrine, right? Hey, I was on Fire Song Shrine when yeah. I did this. It's literally where you are. <laughs> ironically appropriate and uh yeah i'm gonna have just so i gotta get there and have two extra movement and so it'll be fine okay let's uh let's see if i can catch me a bird and my team got healed and or well. actually no i just i just want to kill it for its move fire blast yeah uh yeah that's honestly better for me right now than catching the moltres yeah fire blast and scum tank Dude, the freaking sprites look so fucking awesome. They really do. The the other thing is, Alpha, there are a bunch of mods for this game. One of them adds like an entire new campaign, which is the the uh, Shuckle Apocalypse that we were talking about before. But there there are also ones that add in all of the Pokemon that aren't already in the game from all the generations, complete with models for all of them. Yo. I'm gonna start with Wall Ring. Does that include Sylian forms? I don't Imp know. Moltres goes first. Uh, let's yeah, that's that's silent. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, fire blast. Right. Burn. Yeah. Yeah. It's neutral against me, so. Uh, four damage and no burn. Yep. All right, a four power ancient power. Come on. That's uh one two three eight. four, eight That's damage. Death. No, it's not. And it uh, status symbol and critical hit gets added to my next attack. Yeah. Now, real quick, how is it not when Moltres only has eight health? Wait, no, that should no, that's a, that's a no. Moltres has nine. Oh, For some reason the uh, loops close. Okay, my mistake. Thanks for correcting me. No, all good, yep. mate. So it's, now I probably it's, just it's just almost kill it. two in the morning for us and almost one in the morning for you. I'm not surprised if we're not reading things a little, correctly. Yeah, a little tired. But we uh, are pushing through to the end of this three, campaign. Four, five, six. Oh yeah. yeah. No, we've, we've been going uh, for almost six hours, but we're gonna exactly finish it. Exactly enough to kill Walrein. 
Ah, oh, fuck. Sorry. You uh, can still well. stop at the city and uh, heal up before taking on the Krosma. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the initiative on on that thing? 11. 11. 11. 11. Yeah, I just gotta go for Shandular. Uh, Ghost. I'm gonna hex you. Sad speed you. Shabla -ba -da -ba. Okay, yeah. you're dead. And that's done. All right, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap out Ember for Fire Blast on Skun Tank. There you go. All right, and then I proceed to the portal. Moltres is gone, and I will heal at the town, and then go for an item. Alpha Pokemon. Okay. Oh, uh, actually, so hold on. on right. Sure. Uh, not correctly centered. Hold on. No, it's Search. fine. I get an Alpha Mimikyu. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow! Okay! And then I'm gonna end there. Uh, Hit battle? But my Pokemon, my Pokemon heal before uh, before it goes to this battle, so... Yeah. You know, Chandler can learn Disguise. That's hilarious. Disguise is a really good move. It just removes all regular hits. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Could you... <laughs> Could you imagine oh. a Chandler actually using the Wait, you know what? No, no, hold on. Oh, we did this wrong. My turn ended when I fought Moltres. Oh, yeah, right. shit. Yeah. I forgot about that. So I'm back here. Uh, yeah. What do you do? Yeah, just grab, grab, your, grab your character, bring him back over to, to the uh, spot he was at. Yeah, somebody's already getting that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'll just just go straight for Necros, but we don't yeah. need to push you for more. Yeah, yeah, no, I was just gonna try to use that extra movement, but I forgot that fighting Moltres would get rid of it. Still the better option, I think, to get fire blasts on Skun Tank. Especially since it's a the the steel form. Uh my turn? Yup, yes. you're up. Alright, right off the bat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're welcome. Thank you. Togetic evolves into Togekiss. Um, this is what happens when we're corp. Oh, you're just going to drop the move into the abyss. Got it. Yeah. No, I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Okay. Um, I did take up all of my black apricorns, though, so I have no items except for the one I found. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so I have a question. Actually, silent. Yeah, would it be better to just go to the town, fly, and then go towards four, it? Five. Yes. And you'd get a heal, but you already got a heal, so. Four. You'll reach a shrine at least. Go yeah. to the shrine and hope for the movement bonus. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Taylor, are those Pokeballs used, or...? No, I just kept them to the side, because, uh... Okay. It's harder for me to keep track of when they're stacked up, and... Alright, great. That is my turn. We do not have Necrozma. Uh, we don't have a, an Ultra Beast turn this round, because Necrozma yep. got defeated by Alpha. So yeah. it is Alpha's turn Alpha's again. Alpha's turn again. Yep. <laughs> Alpha? Okay. Please. Yeah, heal and then maybe pick up some items or find an alpha Pokemon to fight or something like that. You mean oh, like the one funny. right there? <laughs> yeah. One, two, oh. three, four. I would say probably after you heal, check this one here. I would say go for the normal one and then that one. One, oh. two, three, four. And then wherever you want to go after that. Five. You can just come up here and fight the, the Apricorn tree. Well, don't forget, he can also just go to the gate and fight the raid battle, back-to-back -back Pokemon. Well, yeah, you can do that, too. Yeah, you can do the raid battle. What? Where's the raid battle? Uh, so, the, the the teleports? 
Yeah. You can also use them as a battle that's just a weak and then a moderate and then a strong Pokemon. You can catch or keep any of, of them as moves. And when you finish, you get uh, six journey points plus two if you killed any of them. And honestly, it would be really good for you to get some extra moves. Well, before before you go directly to it, I'd say grab this at the very yeah. least. Go to the Apricorn tree, get the item, get the other item that might actually be an alpha Pokemon, and then go to the teleporter. Yeah, I don't know about the uh, Ginkgo. So that's mission. a Ginkgo mission. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Did you get the thing for all berry types? Yes, you did. Yeah. Okay, so you don't have to worry about it. You can swap some around for items, though. See, for example, yeah. you could get some more... Uh, switch some green to pink and some yellow to blue to get a swiftness sash you could uh no he couldn't get no for a swiftness sash but I believe... he changed the page while i was looking at the middle item star shield yeah you could get, you a, could star get a star shield, shield and a blast crystal with what you've for, got currently for what like if if you, uh, if you expend two oh, pinks we, we never told okay so the ginkgo guild oh. lets you trade berries you can trade any one star berry for any other one star berry any two star berry for any other two star berry so I can do this. And uh, pay a green to get a pink. Yeah. And then, and then two pink, four blue, and one black to get a star, makes a shield. star shield. All right. And then if you trade uh, you two go. yellow for two red, then you can pay for a blast crystal. Two yellow for two red? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then four red, two yellow, and a black for blast crystal. And those Honestly, would be. I, I think that's all you can get currently, but you do get a stamp for making two battle items. Which will get you a pink, a green, and a white. Yeah. Which. I, hold on. He can make. Oh, well, I don't know if a lucky egg is going to be worth it. It's no, he can't make. It's, it's not. Can he make a sash if he trades? I think he needs two. No. He didn't. No, he, he never had four need... tier two. Uh, he will in a second because of getting all the, the he stamp. Will, he will in a second, but. Oh, mm. He's already. He's exchanged how many berries? Three? He's exchanged four already. He's, the, he's gone okay, to. Okay, yeah. That's. that's okay, that's then, yeah. True. Done the maximum. That you can get off of that. I feel, uh, and I, then I will say I feel like Blast Shield would probably be best on Duskgore. I was like, if you want to switch it, go ahead. Give me a minute. I was looking myself. One, oh. two, three. <laughs> you want something that can tank so that there's more chances for the enemy to crit? Huh? With Blast Shield? Yeah. Here, here's looking at, here's looking at the stamp effect. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so did you set Blast Shield on Duskgore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if, if the Pokemon is bulkier, it has a chance to live through more hits, which is more chances for the opponent to land a critical hit, which is more chances for the Blast Shield to just straight reflect three damage back. Mm -hmm. It doesn't reflect it, but it does rebuke. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, I need a... what you call this? Not, not don't flip my character. A magma. magma stone that increases fire and Dude, ground type power uh, by one. Two, I mean, like I have, I have an infernity, but too bad you're not like right next to me. I mean, we could trade when I'm good. there. Yeah. So that's pretty good because that means your raging fury is now a power six and starting then, out. And then while I'm standing on here, hit search. Yep. And don't. All right. Don't click L battle. Oh my god. Don't click battle. All yeah. right screws up just drag them in one at a time yeah that one's a bit more here i'll drag oh. to this side so that you can there you can use your side mm -hmm. properly oh, 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 oh he's psychic what's psychic we do dark go uh, bug i oh, so i will say getting... it doesn't so... really matter because you're just going to murder it yes a little alien you outspeed it. Please kill it now. I would definitely say night days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
It did. Yeah, it, it did. Next. All right. Not tell. You can switch Pokemon when the new one comes in, by the way. Yep. Yeah, so, anytime uh, uh, Pokemon faints, you can switch your Pokemon before a new Pokemon comes out. In a trainer battle, this means that they can choose in response to you, but in this case, it's just pick something to kill it faster. Yep. Odd choice. But uh, Power 6 Raging Fury, I suppose. Three damage for the Mach Punch. Or Minus two. Well, no. oh yeah. No, it's normal, normal. normal effective, so three. So that's three. So roll at least five damage with Raging Fury on six dice. Remember, you get one more for the Magma Stone. Okay, yeah. That's it. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the and now you can... the... Yep, there you go. Oh. No, it's the blue. It's a ribbon dog. All right, oh um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I you know, uh, I heard something wait, that kind wait, of ruined Sylveon wait, for me. Wait, what? Wait. Uh, if remember, if this move was used last turn, it it increases oh, in power by that. one. I didn't it increases, even read that. so it's seven dice. But it also confuses you. It does confuse you, but it's it is seven dice. There you go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh. Uh, yeah, it's got two health too left. Too short. So close. And you're confused, but it doesn't really matter. Moon blast. Yo. Uh. Five damage. Five damage. Oof. Hey guys, do you want Sylveon to be ruined for you? No. Rip and tear? No. Uh, I just Word. I just vaguely recall that I once heard someone refer to it as the BDSM evolution. So if if I roll, that doesn't I, make any sense. Where the fuck? It's got the ribbon feeler things. If I do, eh. See, like the yeah, only bad okay. the only bad thing is that if I roll seven dice. Yeah, whatever. Probably gonna kill yourself, but you'll be able to heal anyway. Nope. Oh, no, no didn't... status. Oh, God, what? Oh, you just super murdered the <laughs> Ten more damage. It's uh, um, it's a bit crispy. It's all right. We got, all right. Flash, we got imprisoned. You could use any of those moves, and you get uh eight dirty points. Oh, rotate again. There we go. Uh, until the user switches up, this user attack with the move type A can learn it deals negative two damage. Ooh! Air Slash would be really good on Infernape. Punch Pro. Also can Infernape learn flying? Yeah, Infernape yeah, learn like flying. Aerial Ace. Like Aerial Ace and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I did not know that. Uh, I mean, Yeah, flying. a lot of these, like, the types it can move is its type. It's second type if it has one, and like two types of moves that are very popular for it to have. Yeah. Which is why Alakazam gets Psychic, uh, Ghost, Fairy, and Normal, because Normal is the filler for when they can't think of anything else. What was that other move? In prison. Ow. If I'm not mistaken, I can throw this on, uh... I throw this on... I'll bring this other one over here just in case you want it. Uh, in prison could only go on Alakazam. Uh, I'd say no. What the hell, Arceus? What are you doing? Uh, Moonblast. Are you getting rid of him, Prison? Yeah, I'm getting rid of that in Moonblast. Wait, <laughs> where? Where did my? Where? <laughs> you didn't. You His... never brought it back. I was like, God okay, in Prison's going away. Which means Sylveon goes in the strong pile. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. Drop, drop that. Up there. No, just... Put it, put it off to the side. There you go. Okay, there we go. Now we can take it. Uh... You what, still where's... have both of them selected. <laughs> no. <God damn. laughs> okay. I'm gonna let y'all fix this. Hold on, I'm tired. I'm tired. I hit that wall. All right, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna take my turn then. Yeah, all good. I got it. <laughs> D, D, no. Four to get there and heal, and then I'm going to, uh... There you go. Wait, hold on. 
<laughs> no, don't roll like that. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, I got this. I got this. Yeah, there we go. Wait, I was like... What what happened? Why is it not getting it? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it's it's not <laughs> pulling it out. My magma stone is here too. God damn it. <laughs> Where's uh? Where's what? There we go. Dusk mean necrosma. All right. All right. Time for me to fight this thing. Dude, the oh, model you, is wait, 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 fucking wait. amazing. Taylor, you, you or yeah, you know what you, we should have done first before you did that. Yeah, yeah, I think you were gonna trade with them, weren't you? I yeah, give, give me, them... give me that magma stone, and then you get a stamp for trading. All right, put it on uh, nine tails, honestly. Where, where are you at? <laughs> yeah. Trade across from you. Honestly, if you're going up oh. against, hold up, if you're going up against Necrozma, he should just give you all of his items. Yeah, that's that's fair. I can just give them back if I live. <laughs> yeah, you can just yeah if you live. That's the problem. If what? you live, I I, right. I have I have no left. doubt of your ability. Well, if he doesn't live, we're fucking dead. Oh, that's not you want. Yeah, I think Blast Crystal's gonna have to go on Oops, Chandler's. See? Honestly, uh, no, that... no, this thing is uh, no, yeah, because no, it. it's... It's it uses a steel move. Steel move. Uh, which is super uh, effective against ice. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one red apricorn for all this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> where's the star shield? I could put it on something else too. Just in case. Star shield on skunk tank? Star yeah, star honestly, that seems like the best one. Star shield's on my Empoleon. <laughs> Alpha makes lots of items. They immediately get looted by Taylor. Exactly. You know, <laughs> Just like, running, like, running past. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Emperor Palpatine will remember this. I, I, no, I, I, I will remember it when I destroy his enemies. Uh, I do want to say though, this model is fucking amazing. Yeah, it's. What's your initiative? Twelve. I think beats most of the things I can. Yeah. By the way, out. that is the fusion of the Krosma and Solaleo. Yep. But, how do you say okay. that? I say Solgaleo. I say Solgaleo. And do you have anything oh, yeah. that's super effective yeah, against fire apple. types? Because that's a uh, rock. issue. Rock. Okay, that might actually be an issue then. Um, but it's a alpha strike, so if he keeps using it, yeah. it's going to go power tail. Dude, also, never... I've got eight health on nine tails, plus four on four. Yeah, no, that's average. It'll still get... Uh, Uh, heck, I'll I'll start with Skunk Tank. Yeah, no, that's that's perfect. On one side note, dude, this fucking thing looks badass. I I've mean, we've covered that at least. We've covered that at least twice. All right. Uh, uh, Dark main form Necrozma is going to Searing Sunrays. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, and a burn. And a burn. Which uh, is actually going back on him. Star uh, Shield. Yeah, Star Shield Deflection. Let's go. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he can't he can get burned by his own attack. Okay. Uh, Fire Blast is probably my best bet here. Uh, yeah, 100%. Uh, and I'm going to heal one at the end of my turn, but it probably won't matter much. Because, yeah, poison is minus four. So I'm just going for damage at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, minus six. one is five. Uh, and he's burned. And, uh, and he is burned, and I gain one health back because of Star Shield. Yeah. See, Alpha, your items are already helping me. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Searing Sunrays. Yep. I'm gonna die. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six for twelve. No, uh, six because you didn't get burned. So six damage. Yep. And a burn. Well, he's dead. And you're dead. Yeah, he's he's dead now. <laughs> he has eight health. He already had six damage. This puts it up to twelve. 
you'll get your uh boost. 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 Yeah. But also the burn. You know, I'm gonna go with Shantular. Okay. okay. And gonna get outsped again. Uh, out of strike rock. Yep, beast boost, but then also the burn negates it, so it's just a normal alpha strike. One, two, five. three, four, five damage. Uh, no crits. It's unfortunate that it wasn't the same amount of damage, but with yeah. a crit. Uh, I'm gonna use Hex. Okay. Ghost. One, Regular two, two, three, four, five, six for twelve. Twelve. Twelve damage. Minus one is eleven. But also, holy crap. Six. Six and four, so that puts him up to eighteen. Yep. Uh. Earlier, right? Yep. Uh, I think it's just gonna. Uh, it's gonna. Hmm. You get two dice for no damage modifier, or six dice for minus four damage. Uh, Rock Alpha. I. Mm -hmm. No, Steel's only minus two. Yeah, but he's burned. Minus four for burn. Yeah, I. Uh, Either you get six dice and minus four total, or two dice and. I think. No modifier. I think the two dice. Alright. Uh, yeah. One regular hit, it goes up to six damage. Yeah. And uh, he's going to hex again. One, One two, three, three, four, five, four, five for ten. ten. So, nine more. Six, seven, eight. Nine. Uh, oh, you're right. It was it was two. And no, that's yeah, a yeah, one. Right, you're a right. One, it's two, three, damage. four, twenty-four. Five damage left to go. Yeah. Wow. Looking, you're looking to get him five full sets of six. I, uh, I chose the right starter. Uh, yeah, let's just do the Searing Sun Rays and see what happens. Minus four. One, two, three, four, five. Minus four is one. Two damage And you reflected. take three damage. Yeah. Well, two. But. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh. And then Hex. One, two, four, eight. eight so yeah, seven, he's down. He's dead, yeah. Yeah, no, you had the perfect team to go against him. Alright. Thank I, you I, very I, much for that star shield. Uh, uh you can keep the magma the magma stone and what else? Uh do? yeah, hey, you so can take before, the you, ones before back. you put it to Ultra Necrozma, do we want to real quickly take a look at its other form real fast? Sure. Uh, Just so y'all can odd Photon that. Geyser. Huh. Go ahead and pop it yeah. on the field. This is honestly my favorite of the two. Oh, hello. Oh, oh it's freaking Lunata. Yeah, this is my favorite. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Menacing Moon Arrays. Ghost Type 6. Inflict frozen status on the target if already frozen double damage. And it's a psychic yeah. ghost. Yeah. Would have been much harder to deal with. Although dark types would have been quite effective against it, so that would have been a thing. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, that looked really cool. All right, and then now for the final form, we uh, just change its state and and yeah, just leave it out for Eight, now. Four. Or whatever. Status symbols roll transfer status effect from the user to the target. Oh. Oh. That oh, boy. Burn it. Poison it! Oh my lord! So, the, mighty... the, trans, the translation here, it's it, they added a dragon type. It's just plain psychic in the game, uh, but 
Yeah, no, see... Uh, only use status on it when you can not take that status yourself, is my advice there. Okay, yeah. that uh, that do be my turn. Alright, it's my turn then. Come uh, on, <laughs> get us a Jacob back. One, two, three, four, five. Can you make a Zesty Stew? No. Oh. Uh, white. Shrine. You actually you can. It's two white and a yellow. You can. Two white and a yellow, dude. You got enough. Oh, zesty. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, I can do that. And that gives me extra movement. Yep. Are you gonna do the equivalent exchange, or even see what it is? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna read it real quick. Uh, 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 uh. No, fuck off. Um. Yeah. Anyone, no. Anyone you can't even. In it? Nope. You can't even exchange anything on your on your board for it. All right, you're all cool. too good, too high level. Um, yeah, I don't think any of us can actually use that in any way. Here we go. Oh, well, let me read this. Multi attack? Question mark? Typing of normal, electric, fire, or ice? Choose any learnable type of the user. As type ignores the effects of prism armor. Wait, can we catch this? Yes. Yes! Sil Valley in oh. the game was explicitly, it's like a Frankenstein Pokemon designed to fight Ultra Beasts. And it uh, that would have been really good. It ignores Prism Armor. Yeah, I didn't realize it was Sil Valley until we'd already killed all but uh, the last one that we did. Oh, I said it was Sil Valley at the beginning, but yeah. I didn't I didn't hear that. You I missed, wasn't here you for it. that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Every, no, everything that's... we've killed except for. Buzzswole, I didn't know that Sil Valley was up there, and then uh, I was like, well, we'll go up there if we need to revive someone. Yeah. So, I mean, it'd be good against the three remaining ones if we want to get rid of the minus one uh, from Necrozma, but... Uh, so I just need to kill this thing? Yeah, yeah. actually, you could put multi-attack on one of your Pokémon. Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, Celebi could learn that. Uh... Uh, I mean, it would just replace Alpha Strike. I, mm -hmm. would, I would feel better getting rid of Metronome for it. I yeah. hear you. Alright, well... Speaking of, uh... Say hello to my giant rock lizard. Oh god, it's Godzilla! Okay, sorry. Gojira! Sorry. Uh, okay. Lawless Wall. I'm no longer weak to things. I no longer have any super effective typings coming at me. It's to go. The attack. Face. Take three. All right. And you take three. Oh yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh. Actually, thinking about this, this is sort of a weird sequence of events, but. You know who'd be really good for this next form of it? Who? No. Me? Si silent. <laughs> it's, part, it's part dragon type. And you have two oh, Pokemon yeah. with fairy moves. Mm -hmm. And then a dark type. Yeah. Me meanwhile, I've also got like two dragons. Yep. Honestly, I think after, after this and we revive Jacob... Do you think I should uh, come over and fight the final form? I think we just go full board, take turns smacking it yeah. until it goes down. Yeah, we just keep wrecking shit. But right. we start with Silent because he hasn't gotten to go yet. We had Jacob tried and died. Alpha killed one form. I killed one form. Logically, Silent is the next one to go. Tyranitar! Throw your skull. Kablooey. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, that Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I then you take, and I, then you take three damage. Yeah, and I will take the that. That is going to go on to. I'll take care of the metronome. Thank you. On to Target Uh Do we give my team any items for the fight? Uh, 
Yes, because we'll have to shuffle around anyway before the next one since you just fought. All right, we get uh, a we revive Jacob. Arceus, I'm gonna this immediately a blessing yeah. of Arceus gone and Jacob, you are revived. Hey, 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 hey. Did you guys see down here though where we get a blessing after defeating the temple? Yeah, that's. That's, literally what we just did. That's what we just oh. did. We got the blessing and then immediately spent the blessing to bring oh, Jacob you, back to life. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, Alpha, you can do what you want next turn. Um, but uh, I think we give most of these items to pass along any ones that are useful to him to, to Silent. Let's try to find this thing. Yeah, I'll just go back to the city and heal myself. And uh, and the cool well, thing I'm, is, a, I'm up next now that I'm I'm revived. Yeah. Well, the, the cool thing is, my team doesn't rely on status effects either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my... it's it's big thing of passing status back. Uh, where's where's Necrozma real quick? It's on somewhere in the pile of legendaries. Oh, did you shuffle it? No, it just automatically shuffles it in when you drop it. Uh Weird. It's right there at the top. Oh, Alpha already took the items back. Yep. You have to wait for your turn so you can move to where I am, dude. And also, uh, Silent is going to take them, probably. Yeah. Well, I I'm up next. I'm Actually, going to... <laughs> The blast crystal, maybe the star shield isn't as useful. All right, so I've got five movement. I know what that. I know what that one is. I one, feel two. I feel that the star shield might be good on, like Togekiss. Ooh, a Gato. For now, I'll put it on Mesprit. Nice. Ghost and fairy. Ghost and fairy, which means if Silent gets his ass up here. Yeah, put that on Togekiss. Power 5 Fairy multi-attack ignores Prism Armor. Yeah. Or... You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and uncover this one here. Another Ginkgo Merchant. Cool. Um... Have you gotten your all... Yeah, you've gotten your all Apricorns one. Yeah, I've already gotten the all Apricorns one. The only things I haven't done is, like, the movement, the trade, and... Actually, I need to do one for all Pokemon knocked out, because I just got my shit wrecked earlier. I think you should have gotten the movement, Taylor. Uh, I didn't uh, actually move. Oh. Uh, remember, I had to stop the movement. Yeah. I would have gotten it otherwise. Also, um, not that I'm complaining, but I still haven't had three Pokemon go unconscious. <laughs> I fought Necrozma, and it killed one of my Pokemon. He's silent. Aside from the uh, sweet gato, what type of uh, item do you think you need? Uh, looking at my team, probably realistically, blast crystals and, and star shields. Okay, star shield, no Dash. swiftness dash. Uh, I don't really have a Pokemon it would be good on because it's power two and under moves, I believe. Or is it okay. power three and under? Yeah, you just resist the urge to lead with the Electros is the main thing. Yeah, Electros is the only, like, I I can't use his... I mean... actually just barely have enough berries to make you an extra star shield. So I'm doing that now. Uh, okay. Do you have anything with Cho a rock? Choice Band could also be very good. Uh... I did not have enough bar two yeah. star berries to do a choice band. I'm sorry. No, yeah, that's fine. It it's had to be good. four of the one stars and two of the two stars. Dude, it, it's all good. We have more than enough items floating out there for me to shove stuff onto my team. Mm hmm. Yep. And then if you die, uh, We're we fucked? just. <laughs> yeah, well, that. But also, uh, we just take turns banging our head against the wall until one of us gets luckier, we all die. <laughs> Pretty much. That's the stage right. we're at right now. One. So, here. Ghost so, Fairy. I really have in no. In all Pokemon. honesty, it wouldn't really be smart for us to put all of our items on one team because we can't trade when he's dead. 
Well, that's why yeah. I'm kind of making extras here. We don't have to give them all the items, just some items. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Like, like, I'm not against give, uh, obviously giving them items, but I was just saying, like, I, I feel like, like everybody should have at least one item just in case type of thing. Yeah, well, honestly, out of his team, I think Electros and Celebi are the ones that don't really need items. They don't Electros really need, kind no, of need know. items. I, I, I'm not uh, great anyway, and Celebi's. I, I could, yeah. I could take the Gato on Togekiss, uh, Star Shield on Mantine. Mantine. Uh, wait, didn't Manton, yeah, Manton has an item. He has a Seafarer Egg. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I could use, like, a Star, uh, star Shield on Togekiss and, like, a Blast this... Shield on Celebi. Don't forget, there's a sweet Gato that'll uh, upgrade one of your Ghost of Fairy-type moves. Yeah, the Gato on Togekiss would probably be better than... And I'll just, uh, then what, a Star Shield on Celebi? Mm -hmm. Or a blast, bla shield. blast shield, probably. It's more of a sacrifice at that point, just because the typing of the thing. Leaf yeah. Storm isn't great. Yeah. Yeah. But at the and also you can probably use the other Star Shield on Electros to kind of, you know, keep it alive. Yeah, it's yeah, not gonna happen. No. Because really, only items I'm gonna end up using if I go in there is my Eviolite on a Porygon. And a star shield on Darkrai, and praying for the best. Magma Stone and Steel Rock is a good combo for me. Other anything else? Yeah. All right. Uh, whose turn is it? It is it's, uh, Alpha's turn. Alpha's it is our first victory skip. Well, Actually, our second. Go. You weren't paying attention to the first one. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> you are dead. Here. Are you gonna flip Actually, the? Flip all right, that? you're gonna flip the alpha. Well, yeah, but actually, let me do this first. Heal yeah, first. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go fight the alpha. Yeah. Heal, yeah. Definitely big right ball. Yeah. So, so you hop like... up to me, grab your items back, heal, and then go to the alpha. Yep. Oh yeah, but yeah. I need. Yeah. One, oh, two, three, three, four. Thing, I, said, I, I, I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it. Yeah, go ahead and flip it. Whatever. Yeah. Just uh, um, toss your character on it when you're ready, and search. Will it be an Alpha Mimikyu, which would be really amusing to me? No! no. Alpha Pro... Alpha, uh, Alpha. Alpha Nose! <laughs> oh. I am the Alpha Nose! What, uh... Oh wow! The uh oh, there it goes. Yeah, yeah uh, it's be, it thirteen health and seven initiative. Yeah. What would be Inferno? It, monkey, either monkey or the Empoleon. Probably. Uh, monkey more than Empoleon because uh, Empoleon would get wrecked by that Zap Cannon. The monkey will do plus four with Mach Punch and neutral with fire because of the steel. Yeah. It'll, it'll dish a lot of damage right at the get-go. Mm -hmm. I want to check something. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait. Yeah. Out of 13. With a mock punch. And then... Yeah. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> uh, you gain six journey points, and you can teach something Zap Cannon if you want. I said lead with the monkey, and I was correct. I don't think I can teach anything Zap Cannon. Nope. Uh, no, unfortunate. <laughs> but you do get six around. journey yeah. points. Oh. Dead nose. You know, you know what I was actually thinking about doing? Mm. I was actually thinking of going back to my hometown and fighting the noble. Yeah. Dude, the I mean, nobles could... are so cool. Yeah. I mean, you'll get, what was your hometown? Uh, water? Yeah, it's uh, totally. Really good. Almost like a flail effect on top of what Empoleon normally gets. Yeah. See, your closest teleport would be this one over here. Yeah, but oh, yeah. battle means your turn ends for now, so. Yeah. Yeah. Take your unscathed Infernape back, and, uh... 
Provopass is so dead it doesn't even know it needs to leave. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, are we gonna have the battle? Why am I see through? <laughs> Why am I starting to fall through the... Wait, what's going on? <laughs> Why are uh, dark types super effective against me? <laughs> Alright. Why can no one hear me? Taylor. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna back up half a sec to, uh... Heal. My, my one fainted and one damaged Pokemon. That was honestly an underwhelming fight after the first phase. Kind I mean, of, uh... Really, you know, you just had the perfect team to hard counter that Necrozma form. Yes, which is good. Um... So, two, three, four, five, or... No, is there a, is there a gate that's next to a shrine, is the question. I... No, the shrines are destroyed. Okay. <laughs> There's this one that's two away from a shrine. Sure, I'll do that. Uh, what is it? Uh, that's three. That shrine is dead. Um, Silent doesn't need any of my items, so I'm fine. Uh, uh yep. No, I do not. Okay, that's. One, two, three, four, and then I phase into existence, and, uh... You could do the Regigig. No. The, Regigig. the, one, I the one item that doesn't fit those. No! Uh, I'll destroy a blue Pokemon for some pink Apricorn. Sure, why not? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Murkrow, and it's just going to die because I'm going to use Chilling Acuity on it. And, uh, you know, those it's just like, oh, <laughs> it outspeeds me so it can do some damage. <laughs> the nose pass. Oh. <laughs> uh, He's like, no, I'm not going to be It's my turn. <laughs> okay, Murkrow gets to attack first, Silent. It won't be very effective against Provo Pass, but. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this. Uh, we might need to manually place a card there. Yep, okay, there we go. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wing attack! Does a whole three damage. Three damage. You just hear the purple pass. Why not be? Alright. You would die now. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's frozen. Also dead. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Which takes priority? Freezing, dead, or shattered ice sculpture Murkrow? Uh, did get wing attack? Do I have anything that's even vaguely interested in learning that? No. no. I don't okay. think any of your Pokemon can learn flying. Alright, uh, so I get four points and pink berries. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. If Silent doesn't get into battle with Necrozma this turn, uh, then we'll have a thing going on. But also, I'll try and see if I can skim oh, the... Uh... I don't think I have any way to get into battle with Necrozma this turn. Okay, cool. But... I'm going to see if I can get the... trying to spew out one of those uh, I'm gonna do learn that. moves from dead things at events so you can get Psy Shield Bash on something. Actually, we'll have to see if I can fight Necrozma this turn as I take the Spatial Die. All right. Actually, no, I'm not going to take the spatial die. I have the temporal yeah, die. The floor reroll is better. So, yeah, no, that's useless. But one, two, three, four, five. All right. And then next turn is one, two, three, four, five, and heal. And then I can fight him the turn after. 
Okay, that gives me some time to try and spam the uh, shrine. Yeah. I've got pink berries. That's good enough for what uh, I need. Jacob, you're up. Uh, where are you right now, Silent? Right there. Middle of the map. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. Green portal is too far. If you want to trade items with them. No, that's what I'm thinking on, but give me a second here. One, two, three, four... Okay, yeah, I can make it. So I'm going to boop here. Double tra transport. Two, three, four, five. And bam, I am right in the silent, along silence. What? Wait. Oh, I'm not. I'm a little still outside his way. Where, where did you come out? Pretty much, uh, I was right next to the point. ice portal, so I went to the, through the ice portal, over to Snow Point, and flew to uh, Nieberg. Oh, you should have just gone through the the grass portal, because that's where I'm heading to. Yeah, yeah. I may have to retract my move here. Let me swing back <laughs> over. Um, one, two, two, three, three four, four, five. I would be putting myself right inside the dark. Yeah, portal. yeah, you could teleport there. Uh huh. I love that little sink and it pops out. Now, real quick, guys, I've got space for two items while I'm passing y'all by. All right. Uh, um, I'm not there anymore. Um, Any items, Alpha, that you want me to pass over to Silent? I don't think you can reach Alpha. Yes, I could no. along the way. Uh, he's... One, uh, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you could have. He's along, along the way. way. Yeah, that's fair. I think... I think actually what you've crafted for him is already enough because you're going to give him the star shield and the gateau. Yes. Yeah, that's. And yeah, that's that's yeah, enough. That's enough. All right. All right then, and then just for the points, I am going to go ahead and do the fight. Oh yeah, no, that's. Ah, oh, you can get a poison jab because. That's super useful against a psychic dragon demigod. Iron Gale yeah. might be good, though. Let's go get through the fight first. Uh... Anything on here? Learn? Nope. No steel type moves. So, uh, just murder all the things. Yeah. Yep. Alpha, you good to play these? Yep. Cool. That's me trying to be subtle about asking if you're still there, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm here. I'm just chilling. Yeah, I know. Just sometimes, I know, especially when a turn base game like this, sometimes I'll just step away from the TV for like 30 seconds because it's not my turn and then something needs me there. Yeah. Well, two damage. <clears throat> Plus uh, two on the. Uh... Wait. Oh, yeah, it's bug not. Yeah. Yeah. Three damage. It's dead. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. Pika, 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 blue. I would say I all speed or Pikachu all speeds. Yeah, go ahead, go for it. Pikachu is priority. Actually, for steel, not for electric. Yeah, it's neutral, I believe. So, no, it's still nope, minus two. two. Okay, so just three I didn't, damage. I didn't remember that steel was weak to electric. Steel is resistant to electric, but electric's also resistant to steel. I knew ele I knew steel resisted electric. I didn't remember it was the same the other way around. Mm -hmm. I think they added it as a debuff to steel when it became too powerful around Gen Four or so, five, uh... six, somewhere in that range. Okay. Oh, that's all right. 
you get one damage, and you're now poisoned. Oh no, it was six. That was when they added fairy types and shuffled the type advantages around to make dragons less prominent. That's why I didn't know it. Because <laughs> I don't really use many steel types outside of Nuzlocks. I don't really Nuzlocke that far sure. up. I normally Nuzlocke the earlier gens. So, that kills. never dealt with it. Yeah, they changed a lot of steel... Uh, and then added fairy. Steel wasn't and even it made that it... strong. Steel just no, it was durability. super bulky. Yeah, it was it was super defensive and didn't get enough uh, coverage. I think was what they did. So they added some offense, added some resistances to steel. Oh, and then what? took a couple of steel's resistances away to make it a bit more balanced. But probably See, I, gone I, out the window since then. I like steel's focus on being super I'm bulky dead. and like not very offensive i like i mean that. if you look at the card steel still resist one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten uh it, it resists ten types normally and it completely resists <laughs> poison so it it's the one they needed to use two rows for because it's so ridiculously defensive it's still <laughs> high in defense. They just took away like two of its defenses, defensive types. Yeah. Mm. Which I think was like a water and something else. Two, two, I three, mean, it made four, sense five, that it resisted water. Six. Kind of. Just six damage. Barely living. And like, not many steel types actually resisted water. Because they a lot of steel types are also like rock or ground. Poor damage. Lot, that's true. Yeah. Like a lot of them were neutral. It just prevented super effectiveness. Mm-hmm. I am dead. Fun. Okay. The music changes something not really badly, but it's fine because it's already dead. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. Okay, so that's uh what eight journey points. Yep. Oh. Yeah. And I believe it's uh, Jacob of After Me if I fail to kill Necrozma. Mm-hmm. Probably. Right. Well, I'll put you up. Well, not yet because. Yeah, we do. We do have an increase because we didn't uh, kill a Necrozma form this turn. But okay. we should all start making our way back. It's oh, it hits 60. at sixty. Gravitational drag. I I've, I've gotten like five fucking chromatic union cards. Sure, okay. fuck it. Well, have have fun, Celebi. You now have chromatic union. Chromatic union too. I'm debating on putting it either on the spree or dark rai. I got gravitational drag. I'm putting it on Uxie because it's kind of slow to begin with. <laughs> and now so it's now just it here. Now it has 15 health, and I'm going to stick uh, an item on it if I get one. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, rid of Coil, because uh, Coil's not doing much more. And Poison Jab losing just one attack is not going to be that bad. Yeah. So. Are you uh, using any nobody... of these? I'm double checking just to be certain if anybody can use them, but. Uh. No, it doesn't look like anybody else can learn steel types or bug types. So yeah, these are done. So that's a blue and that's a green. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put Chromatic Union on Mesprit. Steel type Iron Tail for freaking. Dude, I I wish I'd gotten the gravitational thing. I I like I, I've gotten just a stack of Chromatic Unions and like one of the nimble. Like fragile things and like one reckless attacker. Mm. Oh, Credence is a doofy doofer. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? Sorry, I'm talking to the dog. Oh. <laughs> Credence is such a derp. Look at the floppy face. Uh, got what you doing, Alpha? Face. My turn. Uh, one, two. We've got like two Alpha. turns. So everybody just come oh, back and keep silent. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting ready to come for Lucario. Huh. 
That could easily, like, replace Mock Punch or add, like, a fighting-type move for um, Weavile. What is it? What is it? One of each to get a great, a greater, or Ultra Ball, right? Well, you'd have oh, to you're do trying that. to catch. You'd have to do that before you... have to you, do that uh, before you reveal it. Yeah. Oh, we, we have literally been doing it the whole time. But it's any time during your turn, but... You know yeah. what? If you do all yeah, three of your blacks and all three of your yellows, that gets you... Uh, I had four. Yeah, go ahead and grab yourself four of the graders. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ultra this ball. doesn't feel like something you use a temporal die on, but sure, if you want to get it, it's not a bad Pokemon. Oh, I'm not using my temporal die on it. Yeah, I didn't. The temporal die is better for Necrozma in this case. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Ooh, that means I have to play Lucario. Whenever you I hit. I know what my turn is. One, two, three, four, five. Back up to the gate. Hit that battle button. Who who would you even replace we with Lucario? Really? Yeah. An okay. Alpha Lucario? Yeah. I'd say not Weavile. No, that's... Yeah. Necrozma's a dragon type. Yeah, that's <laughs> terrible. I would yeah. say Infernape. I wouldn't even no, catch never... it. I'm gonna catch it. It's freaking Lucario. Yeah, but it's fucking trash. I mean, it's got the same health and initiative as Weavile. It's just that Weavile has much better typing. Better typing, better I'll be moves. honest, if you were to replace a Pokemon on here... Zoroark would probably be the better. Well, no, no psychic. Foul play. Yeah, yeah, foul play. I'd and still say can't... either Alakazam or Infernape. I mean, when was the last time I actually used Alakazam though? I'd honestly say Dusk Noir. You can. Mm. He's got. Ta he's tagged with. Uh, I. He's tagged with. Uh, oh Distortions. Yeah. Okay. I mean. Well, I mean. Wait, when did Alakazam become? Oh, never mind. Um. Yeah, no, I, used, I, I mean, honestly Alec have not used Alakazam in like a hot freaking minute. Dude, yeah, yeah, I would say Alakazam like, would be I, the best swap. Here's the here's the problem. If you end up against <laughs> Necrozma because we lose, Lucario is going to do nothing, be a massive liability, and all of your other Pokemon are going to be better against Necrozma. Well, he's going to be at health 9, initiative 12, able to use a Steel-type Alpha Strike. Speaking of which... Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, uh, Aura Sphere. Set of symbols deal plus one damage. One, two, I mean, three, four, eight. If it wasn't four, an alpha, I wouldn't really care, eight. but because of the fact that it's... Yeah, it just knocked out Weavile. Well, well, it disappeared anyway. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's considered a legendary, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You got more chances to get it, dude. I'm right back, guys. Gotta use the restroom again. Yeah, worst case scenario, you end up having to just kill it. Kill it, yeah. And then heal. Uh, it outspeeds Empoleon. Uh, uh, Aura Sphere with Beast Boost. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 damage. 10. Uh, yeah, Empoleon's dead. Yeah, this is very good against a lot of things, and it's just that, uh, they happen to that... be Alpha's team. <laughs> yes, and not the Necrozma. Uh, it's still or or a sphere. <laughs> it's still on speed it's... Inferno. It doesn't. Uh, oh yeah, it does shit. That's right. It gets plus one initiative. Uh, or a sphere doesn't super effective, but a psychic uh, Alpha Strike does. So oh. plus four because Beast Boost. Two, three, four, eight knocks out Inferno. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you might get a full heal out of this. And a trip yeah. home. <laughs> Your team is not good against Lucario. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> okay. Uh, 12 versus 12, so you, you went the speed of you the initiative the this time. <laughs> it decides over here like Lucario's trash. Why would you want it? Sweeps half of Alpha's team. <laughs> yeah, like, it like, is. Tra it's trash against the Crosma. 
specifically. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four damage out of uh Why didn't eight? you throw a ball at it if Nine? you want it? Because I don't know. I don't know that was super my team. I'm not I'm, I'm kinda of having hatred towards it now. Hold on. Hold on. Uh it's I, I, want, I want this death, death, death. I'm gonna kill this now. I changed my mind. It's gonna die. No, no, straight up, like literally my first Nuzlocke run ever. Okay. I literally was like, "Wow, it does one damage." No, I minus two, just, plus just two negative. for beast boost. Yeah, it's just one. Oh, oh wait, that, it doesn't do that. Yeah, damage? it does. It does one damage <laughs> because of beast boost. Wow, well, yeah. Why do I keep rolling all the symbols? Like, why can't I just roll ones? You freaking tabletop sim. One. Two. Uh, it's up to six damage now out of uh, nine. Okay. Uh, I guess. Uh, steel alpha strike. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Five uh, out of six damage. I don't think you have a reset. It's fatigue. It should be at two. Oh yeah. Which is three on the dice. Yep, array start at zero. Yep. All right, <sighs> I'm back. Wow, you missed uh, you missed something. <laughs> what look happened? At, look at Alpha's team. Oh, he didn't he didn't faint the uh, Weavile and the Empoleon and the Infernape. <laughs> Those are all fainted now. Uh, you using teleport? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, it's at seven damage. We were using the thing that they're changing it to, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's gonna. Cario be gets the next turn. turn, and then you get the next turn with whatever comes in. Okay. I did use Alpha Strike last turn, um, but minus four is such a strong <laughs> penalty that it's gonna do two dice. Right there. Do do do. One damage. I was all for catching this thing and then started destroying my team, and I was like, uh, <laughs> it, like it literally reminds me of like OG Nuzlocke, and I was like, oh yeah, fuck that. You should have just led with <laughs> Duskador. I should have. Or Alakazam. Or Alakazam. <laughs> Alakazam should have been the leader. Okay, uh, it is dead now. Oh my god. Not all, all of right. the not all of the things that it could move. Right, right. Uh was it uh, <laughs> status Yeah. yeah. Oh, Which I'm is being... status rolls being plus one is how they do they do the accurate moves in this. Yeah. Because it's mm -hmm. reliable damage. Right, well, what uh, is that? Fighting? Yeah, yeah. it's fighting, fighting type. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Weave off. The person I was gonna freaking sack off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, straight up. I was going to sacrifice you for this Pokemon, but he angered me, so you shall have his corpse. <laughs> okay, my turn. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> listen, I'm I'm like literally running like off the last like 48 days. I've literally gotten like three hours of sleep. So like, in three hours of sleep in 48 days? That doesn't sound healthy. 48 hours. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> you said date. Uh, I'm going to go one, two, three, oh four, God. five. I'm going to sacrifice a pink and seven and then get a shrine and then do the same thing again. Yeah, in 48 days, guys. Oh yep. He hasn't slept in 48 days, everyone. I'm laughing so hard, the shaking from my mouth just shuffled the deck. <laughs> Three hours of sleep last 48 days. What the? Cresselia <laughs> shows up if I want it to. Um, chance encounter or ancient wisdom. There we go. Uh... Oh. I will say myself and Silent can both learn a move from up to strong. 
What type of berry did you give? Pink. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't. I don't have any more blackberries. Like. Oh no, no 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 no! I didn't want that. I didn't want that. I swear I didn't want that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Uh, uh, Sci shield bash is in moderate. Yup. So I think I'm going to take that one for uh, Hooksy as I plan to. And then you basically get the run of any of the three. I'm taking uh, Moonblast in place of Play Rough for Raichu. Actually, thinking about it now, it's probably not the best thing to put on Uxie right now. Because I want to fight a Psychic type. Yeah. Let me, let me look at some of these other ones. Uh, I could get Leaf Blade uh, or Zap Cannon. I don't have anything that can learn Zap oh, Cannon. No. 48 days. <laughs> <laughs> bite. Solar Beam. Uh, headbutt. Bite. Uh, do you have Sleep Powder, man? I was slept at like 48 days. Turn. <laughs> Flame Wheel. Wing attack. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I want to move out of here. I just wanted this for silent. <laughs> hey, I, I got a better... Uh, a better uh, fairy move on Raichu, so... They both what move a regular... Freaking... They both move a regular hit from the roll, but it has one more die. I can put Metrodome on something. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to. I don't think But I could. Probably well, not uh, the best decision. Don't, don't be playing uh, I could put a dark move on Ninetales. That might actually be a good idea. Or a actually, ghost move. What else is in here? Ghosts? Okay. I might have been a bit preemptive in that. I was not. I lied. I was right. I could mm -hmm. give it bite instead of. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give my nine tails the ability to, to eat. I will say this. This mode is very fun. It plays very different to the normal game. It's a lot yeah. more fast paced. As you're on a very tight timer to actually win. There. Uh, now, now nine tails can bite things. Now no, I have no, two Pokemon no, no, whose no. entire thing is fire and dark. <laughs> I mean, it worked, didn't it? Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. What's the other thing I want out of here? Uh, chance encounter. Uh, either. You might as well just let Cresselia come into existence. Cresselia, congratulations, the world is ending. Here's your house. <laughs> okay, uh, second second time I hit the uh, thing, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to spend seven points and a pink. All right. See what happens. Uh, did you get rid of Encore? Yes. Uh, Bye, Cleffa. Hey, I could get a space dice. I'm going to get a space dice. Unless there's something really good here. Ancient Wisdom, learn to move, unexpected gift, gain any two Ooh. apricorns. Ooh, can you share that with me? Yeah, okay. Okay, what do I need for the movement? Uh, white and yellow. Ah, oh, shit. Can you fit a ginkgo merchant somewhere in there? Jacob, do you have a yellow? Uh Fuck. Uh, here's no. a thought. Go to Nesbergville. No, you'd have to go to one of the portals, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah. You still want it? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna get the space dice. Where's Alpha? What? Uh, Go looked, space dice. He's, he ended behind the crow's. Oh, I got the spatial power. I can teleport anywhere I want. 
Whatever y'all do, do not hover over my weevil. Well, that's exactly the way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Fuck it. I might as well tail it. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna. Uh, I was gonna start randomly like typing that everywhere. I'm gonna go on my one Discord that I'm in. Just type in. Oh, you took. Okay, I can literally just do what I want and teleport. Uh, over you, there. You, wait, you have a yellow. Yeah. Uh, teleport right here. Right next to the, uh, portal. Right here in my path. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah sure, okay. That's actually perfect. Why not? I'm, uh, I'm, a. Uh, instead of going for that spot, I'm gonna go for the healer. And then teleport over. Yeah, that's fine. Yay, Uxie is healthy again. Okay. Alright. Is that your full turn? Yep. Okay. Uh, and I just need to remember how many this lets me move extra. Uh, three additional tiles. Alright. Uh, one, two, three... Hi, Taylor. Can I have a yellow? Thank yes. you. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a total of eight movement. So that's three. Uh, four. Hi, Jacob. Yo! Give uh, him a guitar and a star shield. I'm taking the guitar. Here's your star shield, too. Uh, and if you could just put all the items on one Pokemon. Do you need any black berries or a white berry? No. Alright, you're good to go then. Alright, that's four. Teleport. Five. <laughs> We're Wait. going to full heal. And then he made the soup so he can travel farther because that's how food works. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <Yep>. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's win this battle for 48 days. You know, my, my weavile. <laughs> okay. Here, I'm just gonna... Uh. Boop that right there, because it doesn't automatically get it for whatever reason. Also, look at this. Oh my god. He's kind of big. This is what happens when Ultra Necrozma... Necrozma. Yeah, that's what happens when Necrozma consumes an entire dimension's light. In this case, um, so the Leo. Is that a 15 initiative? Yes. That is indeed a 15 initiative. And how, is it still 30 health? Yep. Uh, um. Psychic Fire Fairy and Rock for its uh, Alpha Strike. Which That's means it's also what it is on the other one. Yep. Well, at least it doesn't have the uh, screw your entire team laser. It's have a lot more health, though, and nothing is going to outspeed it. Yeah. Ugh. What is my best Honestly, lead here? Well, here's a thought. Um, it can transfer status effects to you, but... Yeah. Considering how much damage it does, poison's not really a huge problem for you. And if you lead with uh, Electros... Yeah, if you lead with Electros, it can't get the paralysis back. Same with Raichu. I get down to 12. It would still have to be my whole team. Yes, but I'm thinking more skip a turn and uh, the paralysis is difficult to reflect. Alright, if mm -hmm. uh, if I get a turn... Yeah. I don't necessarily agree with this, but go ahead. You will get something paralyzed at some point, but... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, no, that's that's probably not, not a great lead, but... 
you can still throw it out to bite, but that's not a great thing either, because that just gives it a beast boost fodder. And it has chromatic union, so that doesn't even get super effective, or, well, it would get cancelled anyway. Nope, it's dragon, not fairy type. I am talking 500 miles an hour with zero gas in the tank. Uh... Dazzling Gleam? Multi-attack? Yeah, just roll low, Jacob. <laughs> I mean, it's still... either four dice with rock, or six dice with... Rock. Type... no, typeless. It's it's just typeless. Oh, okay. See, Alpha Strike specifically says you yeah. can choose a type. Photon Geyser doesn't. Okay. We're going to start with an Alpha Strike Rock, plus two damage. Okay. That's six. Six right off the bat. Yeah. Could be worse, could be better. Alright, um... Multi-attack. And it's fairy, if you're choosing that, so that yeah. it goes up to strength 5. Strength 5, fairy, multi-attack, that ignores prism armor. Mm-hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, six. 6. 7, seven eight. 8. 8 damage. No prism armor reduction. Oh, it's out of the way there. Almost. Geyser. One, two, three, four, five. Five. That's a knockout. Probably should have gone with Daz and Gleam, darn. It would have brought it down to three, you would have lived, yeah. I'm, Hindsight, though. I'm thinking... Almost there. Let's see if we can get some ship damage down, Salibi. Okay. The storm's not bad. Actually, no. Not Celebi. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that might not be a good plan for Celebi, because uh, Alpha Strike Fire plus four, dude. Alpha Strike Fire doesn't do plus four to Celebi. It's plus two. Oh, uh, with Beast Boost, yeah. Yeah, not worried about that, but... I have a different reason for holding Celebi in reserve. In case you need to reflect a status that's reflected onto you? Yeah. Uh, that's fair. You could... Raichu could lead out with Thunder, would be minus two, but Chance of Paralysis is pretty good. Uh, and then that would lead into Celebi. You could go Mantine, Octazooka is the obvious one there, even though, again, it's minus damage because Dragon type. Mm -hmm. And then there's Tyranitar, Flawless Wall, Stone Edge, or Mind Blown are all good choices, I think. Yeah, Mantine. <laughs> okay. I mean, so all we... right, <clears throat> Alpha Strike yes. Rock. Freaking big this thing is. It's gonna be plus four with beast boost and type advantage. Two, four, six, that's ten. Oh. No, fuck you, reroll that. It's Yep. Reroll nice. reroll four. Just straight up reroll the whole roll. 
One, two, four, three, five, four, six, seven, eight. seven, eight. You've survived my two damage with that. <laughs> Grabbed the wrong one there. Oh. And also, it's Battle Fatigue 1. Yeah. Alright! Your turn! Erk to Zerka? Erk to Zerka, yep. Five dice, don't forget. Yep. Um. And. Crit steal plus one damage. So, hope. <laughs> okay, it does two. It does zero damage. Well, no, but that's when I it, Yeah, it does zero damage. Okay. Yeah. Hold on a moment. What? Critical hit steal plus one damage. So that goes up to three. <sighs> minus two for type disadvantage. Minus yeah. one for prism. That's okay. That's such a ridiculously unfortunate. However, now when I do a, a roll, if I roll any sim status symbols, it's a minus one. Yeah. So what you're hoping for is a neutral roll, and then... Or at least... Full time. Yeah, oh, no, that's it's, dead. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, Silent! <sighs> It's 9 out of 30. You've got it practically one-third of the way through. With one-third of your team. Yeah. Dude, Mantine, that was so disappointing. You know what? Fuck it. No, it's not Electros' time yet. It Fuck it. Right, right, you. All right. You're up. You have priority. The problem is this thing's priority is stupid high. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Five, six. Four. I I live on one again. Actually, Beast Boost, remember? He's dead. Fuck. Yup. That priority is just killer. I'm now very thankful I have Rapid Strikes. <laughs> oh no. Fuck it. Black Joss. Go ahead. Hey. Yep. Yeah. No, I'm gonna lose this fight. Actually, last time we beat Necrozma, I think I want to take Reckless off. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's dead. Yep. Salivate. <laughs> Wow! Okay, that's only five damage. You have a chance again. Ow, that's a stretch. Um. I mean, a five attack power with, stat with uh, status symbols plus one. Six power. Yep. Uh, yeah, Leaf Storm. Typeless Storm. Two, three, four, five, six damage. Down to five. And I heal one. So you have two and... No, one and six. Alright, we're at 13. 13 out of 30. Yeah. Eesh. Photon Geyser. Oh my god! Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. No. Oh. I am gonna lose this. So sorry, silent! No, that's... That's how it goes. Alright. Yeah, it's a fairy. Alpha! 
Five. Five. Yep. Oh. You're up, dude. How much damage can you theoretically do with Mind Blown? If you rolled six criticals, you would do 12. Eight, not 24 damage. Yeah, but I would faint and would lose. Yeah, that's the problem. Theo, oh my god, he is your last. Yeah. How much health does he have left? Uh, he is at 13, so he still has 17 health left. Alright. <sighs> and you know which attack's coming up next. Um... Mind blown. No. Earth. Stone Edge. <laughs> hey. Four, five, eight. six, seven, eight, minus two is six. Two, four. Hold on a moment. You also have to remember criticals get plus one and status deletes one. I counted that. Okay, how much damage was that again? Six. After the prismatic thing, yeah. Nineteen damage on it. She'd had a... Yeah. Hope few... it, uh, pray it rolls statuses only. I, just, I couldn't get any attacks off the path of my fucking Pokemon. Uh, you, had, you had to say something, Jacob. Pray it only rolls statuses, immediately rolls half crits. Yeah, you take three damage. I die. Now question, does the Krozma keep that damage? No. Nope. Silent is permanently dead. Yep. We literally have no way to bring him back, and the Krozma's still there. It's gonna keep him on the field. Just swap him over here. And it's immediately uh, at 63%. No, it's uh, my turn, turn now. Yeah. No, we immediately hit the button. If he wins? Yeah. Yep, take an extra turn immediately. Yeah. Which means we realistically only have two fights left. Yeah. Huh. Uh, my lord. Okay, um. Teleput? I don't know, between the three of us, which are the two best. I think Jacob definitely... I'm not sure about between Mir... Alpha with foul play, though, that's... Yeah. I'm gonna heal. Uh, I'm gonna stop by that city before... Yeah, him, obviously. all I'm of like, us I'm, are. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do this before I even get there. I'm just gonna stop there to make it like part I of my move think, or whatever. I think the best two is gonna be... Alpha and... And Jacob, and yeah. Alpha and Jacob, yeah. Okay, Alpha, on your turn. Assuming that Jacob doesn't win, go Guys, to the portal. Actually, sure. we might be losing if I lose, because remember, the beast turn happens after my turn. I lose. That's a double hit. Well, yeah. So, wouldn't it just be smarter for him not to face Necrozma? Yeah, I think we wait for Alpha to face it. Um. Hmm. Because. Here's yeah. the question. Mm hmm. Do we just have Alpha face him? Or. Because you can get back in there. <clears throat> Do we have Jacob face him and the. Three of you spend your turns trading your fucking Pokemon between each other to give Jacob the best fucking possible team we have. I was just taking that too, yeah. Yeah. We. I will, I will camp at my town then. Yeah, we say fuck trainer loyalty on the Pokemon and we just min-max his fucking team. Yeah. Finally, you're the sunny short trainer, right? Yeah, I'm done. 
Yeah. All right, yeah. Just, just, just Let's pull this off the field for a minute. Yeah, I'm sick of tired of that music there for a minute. <laughs> okay, oh, so... I'll just set it. it is a dragon and psychic type. Yeah. Which means... Uh, well, let's see. Firstly, we... Me and Alpha probably just both go to that town. Oh, yeah. Maybe I go in the portal... Into the town, and yeah. pick up an item... And then go to the two, yeah. three, four, five. So if I need to, I can Ginkgo Merchant. Oh, it's just red apricorns. This one here. Uh. I mean, they're all apricorns or or a heal or a Ginkgo Merchant. They're nothing. Yeah. Do you want another blast crystal? That's another question. Uh... Current. <laughs> currently, I can get you either another star shield or another blast crystal. Star shield. Mm. Star shield. Star shield. Star shield from Esprit. All right. Then I trade for... <laughs> Wait, for Mesprit? Either Mesprit or Garchomp. I don't think Mesprit's going to be on your final team, dude. Regardless, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure we'll out... We'll get that, it figured out. We'll get it figured out. Figure out the configuration, and we can do whatever we want with that. I think, um, I think Oxy... Oxy would be the best option. Yes. Wait a minute. I mean... Have, have lead like have lead with Uxi and use chilling acuity, get the freeze, and then mm. as soon if as soon as he pushes the freeze back, just reflect it right back to him. Yeah, pretty much. Besides, yeah. I can't get frozen if I'm part the uh, part of the element that uh, it's supposed oh, to be. Oh yeah. So then, whoever your second Pokemon is should have the second. No, you could have actually. Two, you could have two... We need it. We no. need it to be on Electros. No, you no. I, I don't think you should bring Electros. Uh, there are many better Pokemon out here than Electros for bringing. Um, All right. Well, who on my team are we going to want to keep on here? Garchomp. 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 Uh, okay. And probably Darkrai. Probably Darkrai. Yeah. Beast Boost isn't great on Darkrai though, but that teleport. No, that doesn't help much either. Actually, Darkrai might not be the best choice. Darkrai might not be. I think... Wait, what is going on with Porygon? Oh, Sorry, I... You, you pulled the... card out. I think... Garchomp, for sure. Okay. Salamence, for sure. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Uxie, for sure. Zorork? I think Zoroark is too fragile. It's too fr yeah, he's too fragile. Unfortunately, yeah. I think almost Empoleon. Yes. I honestly, my, a lot of my team, the the dark moves and the and the ghost moves will be fine, but the fire moves will be so weak against it. I'm almost thinking Walrine. I, I was gonna say I'm thinking Garchomp. Salamence, Uxie, Walrein, uh, Empoleon, and Porygon. Yeah, if if you can get some status, actually, it might be better. I don't know, because Porygon's already at thirteen hit points, but uh, hmm. I mean, he ne he negates two normal hits with the Eviolite. Uh, Garchomp and Salamence can be given star shields to reflect. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't forget, uh, per Conversion 2 makes it where uh, I can't get uh, super effectively hit. Yep. Uh, Which Walvain doesn't and, matter too much with the Charisma, so... Walvane and, and Uxie are both immune to having the uh, freeze. freeze reflected back to them. And the Ice type is good against Dragon. Yeah, the ice type is an advantage of chilling and lack uh, acuity and, and blizzard, and then I think just Empoleon with avalanche. That sounds solid. Yeah, I think that's our that's our only shot. Let's do it. Uh, how do we move over for a minute? I'm gonna move Darkrai over here. Yeah. Just shove them uh, into the other teams. 
for Electros. There we go. So that's three out from my end. Let me grab the Star Shield off of Darkrai, pop it on Garchomp. Yeah, Ele Ele okay. Electros, phenomenal at dealing with the Ultra Beasts. Fucking awful against Necrozma. In this particular instance, yes. The first Necrozma, it was all right. Yeah. All right, so uh, that means that by merit of trading away a fairy, I get one of the sprites. Um, the star shield needs to go onto Salamence. And I'm just going to take Dark Ride. I'm double cool. checking a couple things here. This does count as trade. I completely forgot. I got a trade stamp. That means I get to choose a uh, strong move from the set. In case that... we need to do any changes. Uh, grab uh, that honestly, crystal. I was going to say, my my first thought is get a Steel-type move for Warring, but that might not be the best. Um, I might need to get rid of Confusion off of Porygon. Yeah. Yeah. Give him, an ice, find... give him an ice move. Yeah, like Blizzard or Ice Beam. What's mm -hmm. in the strong deck? I'm going to open it up as well. There's Ice Punch, there's Blizzard. If you're going for raw damage on him, Blizzard is going to be better with the power 5. Just uh, move Confusion off. Alright, can I make a request for this? Go ahead. I want to be Necrozma. No, I'm not going to argue that unless Silent wants to. Because he is technically supposed to be my the one who handles my opponents. Alpha is. I am. Um... Oh yeah, Alpha. Nah, I'm good. Freaking... Yay, I get to be the bad guy. <laughs> oh, As a God. DM, I don't know nothing about this feeling. No, you never get to play the villain. <laughs> Oh, shame. Boy, such great ones. Yeah, uh, no, just Han Jacob. Do you want me to grab any any random Blizzard? Uh, Blizzard is the strongest ice move. Yeah, that there. can go on Porygon. Porygon can learn ice my, ice moves. Uh, and just five stra. Yeah, use conversion two to get rid of you. Hey, look, wall read again. <laughs> yeah. Use conversion two to get rid of any chance that. Well, actually, that doesn't have any moves that it's weak to. So conversion two is moot. Yeah, just just blizzard it to death. Uh, All right, gents. Hold up. The star shield needs to go on to go jump. Sure. Then I feel the star shield should also go on and pull on and the blast yeah. Crystal the big on. the big thing with star shield is reflecting the reflected status right back onto it. And yeah. Otsi doesn't really have to worry about that because of ice, ice type. type. So yeah, okay. I, I I think the lead is and Otsi. It's it's slow, but that doesn't matter here. It's super bulky because it has 15 health now. Now really Last quickly, crystal, really quickly. Yeah, this is a turn around, so the Ultra Beasts get a turn. They go up to 66 percent. We are no, they go up to 67. We are in the red. Uh, yeah, Jacob. Yep, yep, things. Okay. Jacob, uh, I'm just gonna grab Necrozma. Gentlemen, the Necrozma's already over here. All I have to do is hit battle. Oh. Alright. So I'm assuming we're doing this as our final stand? This yeah. is our final it's, stand. It's... We either win or we lose with this. Yeah. Because Jacob ended his turn, they went up to 67, so anyone loses and it's over. Well, not if Necroz well, not if Necrozma loses. Well, then it's over in a good way. Yeah, but I mean, if any of us lose, it's over. If Necrozma loses, it's over too. But we'll leave like, with Uxie. We 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 All lose right. if. Uh, well, kind of have to go with Rock type Alpha Strike. No, could do Fire. Sure, why not? 
One, two, two three, four, five, six, eight damage. Eight. And you take uh, two. Yep. And that blast shield already coming in handy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Killing acuity. One, Get two, frozen, three, bitch. four, five, six, six seven, seven, seven six, down to six, six, and freeze. And freeze. Okay. I wasn't expecting all my fairy type users to just get blown up in one move. Get wrecked, right? Strong Pokemon, yeah. Jacob rolled really hot for all of his attacks. I would have needed right. to. Uh, so yeah. after strikes down to two, so Photon yes. Geyser. Here we go. Yep, One, that's two, dead. three, four, five, six, seven. So you take seven. another two. Two damage from Blast Shield. Yep. So that's ten. Yep. And it's still frozen. Oh. It rolled no status, so it can't even just get rid of it. Which yeah. is what I think happens if it tries to move Freeze onto a frozen po onto an ice type. I think it just fails to move it. That's also fair. Uh, just wall rain. I or think. Empoleon. Or Empoleon. Actually. Yeah, Star Shield the Freeze, and then if it manages to get rid of it, uh, then you can pull in Blizzard from Wall Rain. All right. Yeah. You're still okay. got you still got initiative. Okay. Any types that give bonuses? Mm. No, I don't believe so. No. So, Photon Geyser with Beast Boost. Two, One, two, four, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's death! And it tries to move the Frozen, but I'm assuming you... Well, ...out the back. Yeah. Gosh dang, what is with the Crossbow's rolls? Alright, uh... Pretty sure it's gonna use its Rock-type. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Plus four. One, two, three, four, eight. Okay. Walrein is is alive. Uh, power. F uh, power seven blizzard. Oh, thanks for catching me on that. Yep. Calculate this real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, eight nine, ten. Nine, ten. Reduced down to nine. Okay. <laughs> yep. Give me one of those. That's Take why that's up. why freeze is just phenomenal for this. Six and then two makes eight, and then another damage dice goes to two. We're down to the last two health bars, guys! What are you doing? Uh, 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 sorry. I tried to pick up a dice. To move it, and it didn't... Okay, so, it's uh, down to 10 health. Yeah. Yep! Stop. That was a 6. Yeah, I know, I'm just trying to... You're up, Taylor! Back on. Alright, uh... Rock Alpha Strike was used last It'll time, be... so... Uh... Photon Geyser. Murder Bolt. And Immunity. Uh, yep. Yep. Can't pass it because ice. Okay, we're a lot for last time! Uh, uh... Salamence or Garchomp? Yeah, you don't want the freeze going onto Porygon. No. I would say Garchomp. Yeah. Alright. All right. Charisma has priority Fairy Alpha. Yeah, Fairy Alpha. So, plus four. One, One two, two, three, four, four five. five. So that's nine! Nine. 
barely living. Yeah, just you have one hit point, and it's going to go down to eight at the end of your turn anyway. How, yeah, you're right. Power seven. Dragon Rush, yeah. Dragon Rush. Awesome. And Power hope seven? for the do Frozen. Freeze. Oh, right. One, One, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, seven, seven, eight. eight. Reduced to seven and another turn for Garchomp. Just another power seven dragon rush. Fuck One, two, off, three, Necrozma. Four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. It goes up to nine, which Imagine is those claws exactly. as middle fingers, because they are high in the sky! <laughs> 24, 25, 26, 27. Uh, it's, it's, way, it's way dead, yeah. Behold, he is destroyed by the most powerful Pokemon in existence, Garchomp. <laughs> Who would have thought? At least according to this game. Hooray, we win! The world is saved! It's just like a pockmarked apocalypse skate now. <laughs> look, look at how many spaces are blotted out. 